Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you join us this weekend on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. Your deal of the day on Saturday is the most amazing strand of Tanzanite. Uh, your deal of the day on Sunday, we've got the most beautiful selection of diamonds. Plus, also on Saturday with Xena, we've got a big reveal. It's going to be a really special surprise. It's all coming this weekend on Jewelry Maker. Can I, can I just quickly say, I really look forward to coming um, onto Jewelry Maker, not only to work with you, lovely lady, and all of the lovely team here, but as the first cup of tea of the day, you cannot beat Dan's no, tea. No, it's so true. Because I leave so early it in the morning. It is so true. I don't get time to make a cup of tea, so. <laughs> So it's the best cup of tea and the first cup of tea of the day. It's and and, the and it's, he's, he's, well, he's a good egg, isn't he? He's amazing. He's a, he's a real good egg. First thing amazing. he said to me this morning, I was like, morning, I'll have a nice couple of days. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. He's a good egg. It's so lovely to have you here. Thank you. So lovely to Bless have you, you here. Bless and you. all these beautiful, beautiful makes that you have. Well, I've been off for three favorites. weeks. I've been off for three weeks, and apparently last week was guest designer favourite week. It was. And I missed out on it. So they've kindly let me have Mark Smith's favourites today, so which is you, lovely. Would you mind yeah. sharing with the group what your favourites are? Jasper in the nine o'clock hour, and Kumahimo, beaded Kumahimo in the 12 o'clock hour. Awesome. Can't Absolutely wait, wait, awesome. Yes. Um, so if you don't know, if you don't, have, if you've never ventured into Kumahimo, then today is the day. Mark's your man. Mm. Beautiful kits, full of colour. These are amazing. Mm. Old school kits. Really good kits. Yes. Yeah, so we've got a bit of sea beading there. So you're ready to go for your kiss cross, 
your, your, um, your pearl knotting, everything. So I'm, I'm doing, lot, as you can see on the right, all different sorts of techniques. And I'm going to do something today that I've only done once before on the show. I've been asked, somebody missed a demo I did on my last show before, okay. before I went away. So I'm going to repeat it today. Oh. I know. So this demo is? The this necklace one. to your right. Now, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew it because I have seen lots of your beautiful Lots of people names. have been coming through yeah, with it. Yeah, on yeah, Wall so, of Fame, etc. Yeah. Can you see it there? Shall I just pull it? Shall I put it round? So with the uh, original demo, I, I showed you how to do it with six millimetre rounds. And today I want to show you that you can use any size round. And you just need to up or down the size of the amount of seeds you're not, you're using. Oh, we're giving it a little wobble there, yeah. aren't I? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so you're not restricted just to no, the six mils. So you can scale not. up or down. Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I'm so excited. So, yes, awesome kits in the nine yeah. o'clock hour. Awesome kits in the 12 o'clock hour with lovely Mark as well. Um, the Jasper, we've got, uh, have a little look at this tea bar because this is all coming oh. up today. To my knowledge, it's a, it's a launch. I it's might amazing. be wrong, but I don't recall ever actually having the grey picture just I think before. I've seen once before, one strand of six millimetre rounds, for example, but I saw the little VT of this on the show yesterday and the shine and the polish yes. and the high, the high gloss is just beautiful. Well, it got, beautiful. Me, it got, me, it got me reading. This is coming up in mm. this hour. Um, got me reading about Jasper. And, uh, oh. you know, we always say about how un underestimated it is. A yeah. hundred million years. I'm just going to put that one out yeah. there. Amazing. You know? um, yeah, amazing. Right, should we get cracking? Because, like I said, it's going to be a fabulous, absolutely fabulous Wednesday show. Starting with your beautiful creations on the Wall of Fame. I'm going to share these out as well because we've got a nice, um, a nice draw busy today. morning. Oh, and it is. I forgot about that. Abroad today. Totally forgot about that. Starting us off this morning is Christine. Good morning to you, Christine. You're number 329. Beautiful colours. Uh, this is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A long and short chip necklace in Amazonite. Thank you, JM team, for the great deals and all the designers for their work. Good luck in the draw. And to you, Christine, you never know. We could be lucky. 330 comes from Jackie Davis. Good morning to you, Jackie. Oh, they're oh, pretty. Oh, they're that cute. Lovely colours. Uh, hi all at JM. Here is my entry to the WAF. It's a pair of earrings with garnet and phosphosiderite. I swear you make it, just so I have to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> um, micro faceted rounds on silver plated wire hooks. All products are from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like them. We love them, Jackie. They're beautiful. Number 331 is from Dave uh, and Leslie. Oh, wow. Uh, is that a little bit of you there? I think it is, isn't it? Let's have a look. And she says, hi, jewelry maker. My wife, Leslie, has been busy again, and here's her latest wonderful creation. She made from shell pearls and seed beads from jewelry maker. She does love it, and when you show her work, uh, uh, and always comes as a nice surprise. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So this is a, a, the demo that you're going to be showing, I think it? it might well be a version of. Yeah, a version beautiful. of it. Really yes, lovely. Yes. Uh, number 332 is coming from Erica. Good morning, Erica. That's beautiful. Okay. Uh, that's a double simple spiral, I think. I think that, beautiful. Erica, you've got to wear that on New Year's Eve or something gorgeous, like that. Isn't beautiful. It? Yeah. Uh, hi, my entry this week is a, rope, a spiral rope just doubled in the middle section of, of the necklace. All components are from JM. Good luck, everybody, she says. Good luck to you. My first entry is number 333, and this is from Kayla. Oh, look at these. Wow. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone is well. These are two guitar brooches I was asked to make for friends. I don't think they're too bad. They're obviously far from perfect. Well, I think they are very perfect. Definitely. I could never do those in a million years. I had the rectangle pearls a while back from Jewelry Maker, and I wish the many colours and shine came through on the camera properly because they are stunning. Good luck to everyone in the draw, sending you all love and hugs. And that's from Kayla. They're oh, amazing, they're so aren't beautiful. they? Beautiful. Number 334 is from Nicola. Aha. Amazing. Hello to all of my JM favourites. Please find attached to my latest Wall of Fame entry a malachite. This is what it's all about. A malachite and galvanised gold seed bead kiss cross bracelet on memory wire with matching earrings. This set is one I will be keeping. That's just beautiful. That's perfect. Love, that. Love to everyone, and that's from Nicola. Number 335 is from Teresa. Oh, look, how cute is that? Aww. Oh, look. Hello, everyone at JM. Here is my entry for this week. It's a bee pendant made from black obsidian, bumblebee jasper, very apt, 
and wire, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everyone in the draw and love to all. And that's from Teresa. That oh, is so, so cute. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, shall I read this one? If you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number 336 is from Jackie Bunce. Good morning to you, oh, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, and she says, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame, a tiger's eye bought as part of an assortment, uh, sorry, an assorted JM Allison Tarry Cabochon bundle. A while ago, I wrapped it with silver color coated copper wire. The light really plays along the stone. I've made a variety of pendants from the bundle and still have some left. Good luck to all, says Jackie. Jackie, that's absolutely beautiful. Number 337 is from Angela. And Angela says, hi everyone. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a seed beaded necklace using super duos, Amazonite rounds and golden pyrite. All components from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all fellow Waffers and thank you all for the recent bargains. Beautiful. That's a necklace that I would make. All my favourites, Amazonite, Pyrite, Sea Beads. Oh, yeah. It's just perfect, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, perfect combination. Do you want to read the last one? Okie doke. Hello, everyone. This is number 338. This is from Anna. Oh, this is intriguing. Ah. Hello, everyone. Please find my entry for this week. It's been a while since my last entry as I seem to have lost my mojo. Looking through my vast collection of gemstones, I came across a lovely, irregular, top-drilled garnet strand that I purchased from JM quite a while ago. These stunning garnets inspired me to make my pendant. I've always wanted a, aha, a pomegranate ah, pendant. Perfect. So I made my own from silver clay, paste the stunning garnets and two round beads of purple rhodolite garnet, all from Giselle's. Hope it will be good enough to be shown on the Wall of Fame. Good luck to all fellow Waffers, although I could do with a win myself. Many thanks to all at JM for making life pleasant and fun for working so hard. Take care, very good care, and keep safe. And that's oh, from bless Anna. Bless you, Anna. That's, that's wonderful. I love that. Well, I Silver don't think clay. I don't think I've ever seen a pomegranate before. It must have a meaning, mustn't it, a pomegranate? Well, great. Uh, the, the, the garnet. Mm, cool. Uh, yeah. It's very pomegranate colour. Yes. Sorry, just yes. all of a sudden. Do you ever get it where your hair is in your uh, hair is yes. in my eyelash? Um, amazing. Good luck, everybody. Right, are we going to make some... Tombola time. Tombola? Is it behind me? Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. He is gorgeous. <laughs> we call him gorgeous Dan, by the way, because he has got the most smouldering eyes. <laughs> Celtic eyes. Is that what we say? Yeah, they are a lovely blue. He gets very camera shy, though. Take you do, oh, you do the winner. I'll do the runner-up. Okay. Ladies first. Yeah, I'll give it a good spin. Good spin, good spin. And stop. And stop. Let's see. Hammer time. Hammer time. Yeah, let's see. So this is for £100. £100 being credited to their jewellery maker account. Ready? The winner is... Oh, it's close. 341. Gail Birch, well congratulations, Gail. You are a Wall of Fame winner. hundred pounds That's being credited amazing. to your account. It's not bad, Let's is it? Let's do 50. hundred pounds. Not bad, not bad at all. Get some nice gemstones with that. I topped up with petrol this morning. It's gone below £1.70. I've noticed that. It's gone down, down again. I did think of you, actually, when I looked at it as I well. Do, but I do mither about petrol, honestly. Well, it's, 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 yes. it's a waste of money, isn't it, almost? Number. That's strange, isn't it? <gasps> So the winner of £50 credit to their account is number 314. I don't think we could have done that if we'd nope. have tried. Uh, Lorenka Rato. Lorenka Rato. Rato. Congratulations. Well done, well done. You're our runner-up. 341 and 314. Goodness Perfect. me. How good was How that? How good we have done that? <laughs> How good was that? Right then, um, like I said, a really, really, really exciting show planned for you. All This hour is all about your beautiful introduction with your grey jasper. Um, but we have um, loads of, of other goodies to come along. Last in stock opportunities. So text in, come and say hello to us because there it is in my ear. There I was waiting for it. Ross went fast and pisey. Um, that's what, 30 minutes into the show. Fair enough. Um, OK, we haven't got many of these available. I know that they've been Fair absolutely. Absolutely um, flying yeah. out. Why would we use coloured thread instead of maybe just a sort of standard tiger tail? Well, I particularly love using this. Do you remember there's a, a macrame technique that I do called Saturn's rings? Do you remember where you have the gemstone in the yes. middle and then you have concentric circles? Well, that macrame technique you can only do with beading thread. And because it's different colours, you make a feature of the thread, you see, and it goes with every sort of bead, or any coloured quartz, any clear quartz yeah. running through the centre. It's, yeah. just, it's just lovely to have different colours in your staff. Well, it will compliment, won't it? It will compliment the gemstone. Seven ninety nine oh. gets you all five colours. Um, so it's 50 metres on of each colour, by the way. Yeah. 50 metres of each colour. So what we're looking at, 250 different metres, um, different colours. Amazing. Amazing. How many do we have of these in stock? 
Single figures. Oh, gosh. Less oh, than no. five. Well done, Denise. Good morning to London. Good morning to Christine as well. Nice to have your company. Uh, Christine in Devon. Yeah. Lovely Christine. autumn colours. Just been talking about Devon. We have. Yeah. How beautiful it is. Uh, Caroline in Northamptonshire. It's on the verge of selling out. Yeah, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you this morning. Shall we do some beautiful pearls? Oh, look at these. Not one, but two strands. Oh, I'm, I, I, I need to dedicate some time. I need a couple of hours to sit down so I want to make myself some nice pearl yes. jewellery to go away with. Mm. Well, that'd be nice. Yes, that's having the time to do it, isn't it? That's <laughs> the thing. Two little people running around. Yeah. Um, two strands, beautiful cultured pearls. Big sizes as well. They're lovely, aren't they? Look at that lustre. Wow. Um, of the virtues, we always say this, but the, um, many will agree that the luster, the exterior reflective beauty of your pearls is the most important factor. Straight away, we're in single figures. I actually launched these, and um, my goodness me, £7.50 per strand. Um, That's ridiculous, isn't it? All but seven that we have remaining sold out. Not Imagine Christmas launch. Day. Mm. Okay, you all sat around the table mm. and you're all your Christmas crackers yep. and you pull the crackers and inside is a homemade pair of pearl earrings. I know. Imagine. Not a black moustache, not a floppy fish. You or, know? But you know the worst, I think, oh, yeah. that you can find in a, in a cracker? Mm. A tape measure? Oh, I find that quite handy. My favourite is the little pack of screwdrivers. Yes, I keep those. Really They're great handy. for doing the watch uh, batteries and things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to take measure on Christmas Day. No. That's the one <laughs> day I definitely, definitely don't want to take measure. <laughs> give it to give it to me the day before. That's fine, but not on, not on Christmas, Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, hundreds of these flew out the door on uh, on launch. Yeah, I mean, I'm not for so one much. strand, that's incredible. Exactly, isn't it? exactly. Two, that's and that, and you know, that's the joy of jewelry making is the fact that you can make that luxury mm. Mm. and give to Honestly. your nearest and dearest. I mean, this will make a multitude of those pearl yeah. earrings, wouldn't it? Incredible. You need to be uh, need to be quick though. Good morning, Liz. Hello to Christine in Essex. Um, yeah, uh, oh. not many of those available. So, and always compliments other gemstones, particularly this next. Love it. I think this is one of my favorites of this year of all the launches. I'm going to agree with you. I think it's so beautiful. I had my eye on this when I was yeah. over at Tucson. Oh, Gosh, as if that's almost nine months ago. Um, yeah, That's I had my beautiful. eye on this. Mm. A spiny oyster alongside turquoise, pearls. Incredible, isn't just it? Just look beautiful. I love that orange undertone to it. It's just beautiful. The finest quality has the brightest oranges and red mm. colours. Spiny oyster is a mollusk, effectively, and also a food source. Um, it is farmed in exactly the same way that your pills are, basically. Um, and as you can imagine, it's got this really spiny uh, shell. Um, this is reconstituted to complement so beautifully your turquoise. You have a little work of art. Quite Gustav Klent, isn't it? I think, mm, looking at this. Yes, actually. Um, now, I know we haven't got many of these available. I know we haven't got many spi much spiny oyster in the entire vault, to be truthful. We're at £49.99. There's five of them available. Literally just space this out where as it is. Ross wants to be crazy. I'll just, I'll just pop it onto one single piece of necklace memory wire, clasp at the back, nothing else, nice. just one piece, just sat in the nape of the neck. Look at that, that's gorgeous. It is beautiful, that's a lovely idea, because yeah. then it's like, yeah. that is the star of the mm. show, isn't it? Yeah. Five of them exist, Ross is being crazy, he says. Oh no. He's still in barley mode, honestly. How's it? He hasn't clicked out of barley mode yet. <laughs> 1999 oh. only. This would look lovely with those pearls mm, that we yeah. had. If you haven't got any turquoise, if you haven't got any, um, oh, what do we think? Another orange gemstone, maybe a carnelian or something mm -hmm. like that. That'd would be amazing, work. wouldn't it? Five nice. of them are left yeah. and straight away loads of you there. Good morning, Anne. Good morning to you, Devon. Good morning to you, uh, Tanya and Torvine. I, oh, oh they've sold out. Well done. Wow. Well done, well done. Um, okay, moving on to. Two f oh, these! Oh, I mean, there are only ten of them available. Um, obviously, when a pearl is cultured, it still has to form within the mollusk. And when you start talking about irregular, if you're if you're aiming for a shape, is what I mean. Mm. You know, sometimes those little oh. mollusks don't play ball. So it's very, very, very challenging to get anything like hearts. Oh, now we only have a couple of these left. They absolutely flew oh, out no. the door. They're through drilled. Oh, they're sweet. They're cute, aren't they? I don't oh, know many those. jewelers that actually offer no. heart-shaped pearls. The, the top left-hand side of one of the one of the hearts, 
I don't know what you call that. Cleft. Curve, the cleft, yeah. Just if you insert a little little gemstone using your Dremel, oh. just just place a gemstone in the oh, corner of a birthstone or something. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Beautiful. And you do get the two natural in colour. So these, I oh. mean. You, uh, You've wow. spoke, we've spoken at length about naturally coloured pearls and how rare they are. What's that price? Who, who launched these, Ross? Ross says it wasn't me. Oh, we did not launch ridiculous. them at nine ninety nine. No. No, that's a giveaway deal. Um, I want to get some of these. Literally, just pop them on a featherweight head. Mm. Wrap loop. Away you go. Yeah. Away you go. They're have, amazing. When you say, have we got quantity? Ten. Only mm. ten of them available. Lots and lots and lots of goodies that we can show you today that will complement these so perfectly. But yeah, even the most simple of design. No way, Ross. I don't believe it. He's saying I launched them. I don't believe him because I would. I'd remember You'd these. You'd remember these. I would. Yes. I would. Yeah. I don't believe you, Ross. I reckon someone must have logged in under my name. I know you don't lie. Yeah, but I reckon, I reckon that information must be incorrect because I would remember heart-shaped pearls. Naturally coloured heart-shaped pearls. I mean, I know I, I, am, I am a little bit of a scatterbrain, yeah. but not that much. That was very it's... profound for half eight in the morning. What's that? What Ross just said. What did he just say? A truthful man has nothing to fear. It's very true. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Yeah. And he is honest. Mm. He's very honest. That's very true. I think that goes for goes can go for it to everybody. Everyone's going to apply that. Seven ninety nine. They've almost sold out. Well done. Well done, well done everybody. Congratulations. <coughs> Ooh, jade eye earrings. Now, ah. oh, my niece has her results tomorrow, and she's very nervous. Apparently, it is tomorrow. Yeah, GCSE. she's very nervous. GCSE but, results. Yeah. And I said to her, the, uh, I said to my, my brother on the phone yesterday, I was like, listen, tell her not to worry. I said, look, it doesn't matter if you don't get the results that you that you had hoped for. All is not lost. It's not the end of the world. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> because I was that student that just didn't try. Um, anyway, here we go. Look at these. So beautiful. Right. And I mentioned my niece purely because she's obsessed with jadeite as well. And this would be a really lovely They're gift lovely. to her. There's little stones in the centre. Look, I amazing. know. Are they citrine in the centre? They look like some really beautiful, round, brilliant cut citrine set into some sterling silver, if I just turn them that way. Um, and of course, hand carved jadeite flowers. They are complete. If you want to deconstruct this, right. you absolutely can. But for me, just put those in a, a, a luxury box and away you go. £20, seriously. Wow. <clears throat> I, I went shopping a couple of days ago and costume jewellery mm. is that price. These are wow. genuine type A jadeites. How on earth are we doing them at £20? Goodness me, that's a, that's an incredible deal. Nice little drop as well. I like that. I like yes, the, I like the yes. twist of uh, um, the mm. modern yes. and then the pretty. I, I think they look like cosmos. The flowers. Yes. They're yes. Beautiful. Yes. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Um, I don't yes. think we've got many of these available. If you do love jadeite, then we have got the wonderful Jake Thompson. It's my first show with Jake in absolutely ages. I've not seen him for a while. Ages. Mm -hmm. He's been on holiday, I think. Right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, ages and ages. So if you love jade, then make sure you're with us at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, okay, loads of you there. Wow. Let's move on to... I have my eye on this strand. I did wonder what it was. Isn't it pretty? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at this. This would look lovely with a spiny oyster. It would actually, yes. And with a jasper. Ah, totally <laughs> natural. Name a flower that has pink opal colours. Well, rose. Oh yeah, the English yeah, rose. Yeah, English rose, that would be really nice. Um, yes, you get many um, flowers that are pink. Very cosmos, powdery pink. You get pink. a cosmos powdery pink, yes. They're so pretty, aren't they? Naturally coloured, so not dyed in any way, shape or form. Beautiful faceted saucers. I think I just turned those into like a really simple stretchy bracelet. What is that? Goodness me. Oh, £4.99. pence. <laughs> it's genuine opal. It will be in October before you know it. That Absolutely. month's birthstone, of course. Yes. And this, most people think opal is just all about that play of colour. But actually, opal comes in so many different varieties. This would also look really beautiful with your showcase, uh, um, your your jasper that's coming oh, up Oh, the grey and pink together. Grey and pink. Lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely. Yeah. We're busy this morning. 
Shall we do not one strand of pearls, but five? It's been on air once. We had 200. We've got the last seven. That's how popular this bundle's been. Ooh, the glasses are going on, Mark. New glasses. Very nice. Mm. Very I'm just, nice. I'm just, getting, I'm just getting used to them. Did you yeah. break your other ones or just fancy your treat? Do you know what I did? What did you do? I've got to stop doing it because the optician got really cross. Because I went, because I broke my glasses. Mm. I went in to fix them because mm. I thought the little pin had come out of the arm. Yeah. But the whole arm had snapped off. Because what I do is when, when I'm talking on the telephone or, or something, I do this. Which I bet a lot of us do. And I'm sort of getting a bit overzealous with it and actually snapped the entire arm off. Oh. And, oh, it was cheaper, and it was getting... cheaper to buy new glasses than to get new frames for the uh, old lenses. Yeah. So I just thought, well, I have new glasses. Oh, so he's getting cross with you. And I chew the ends, which yeah, he thought I... was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I had a real telling off. <laughs> Go to choose another optician. I yeah, think. I would. Goodness <laughs> me, you should be grateful for the money. Um, yeah, I, get, I, I do that with sunglasses, actually. Yeah. I mm. do the same. Um, five strands of beautiful, genuine culture pearls. Not shell, not faux, not glass, not wow. synthetic, not plastic. Genuine cultured pearls. In all of these beautiful colours, I've got a favourite. Have you so got a favourite? The dark one. Ooh, that one's mine. Oh, the dusky it's, pinky. Normally pinky we pink. go for the same, yeah. but I quite like that dusky pink yeah, colour. That's lovely, isn't it? There are five remaining. We had 200 originally. Oh, my word. The deal on this is brilliant, says Ross in my ear. Ooh. I mean, that's metres, isn't it? If you literally put them end to end, that's metres and metres of, of pearls. Mm. I almost said curls. 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 <laughs> really? Six pounds. That's ridiculous. When did that, when did that become a thing? That's the norm now, isn't it? Like six yeah. pounds for oh. a strand of pearls. In a bundle, granted. Six pounds. Because I was saying only the other day, literally, take the ivory colour, the classic pearl. Mm. Literally, walk, next time you walk down your high street, press your nose against it. Well, not literally, but have a look in Ernest Jones or one exactly. of those. You'll find just a traditional strand of pills at, what, 150 Yeah, at least. You're yeah. getting five strands for 29 99 There is only one of them left, though, so well done, Joanne, Christine, London, and Hayley. You've got yours. We've got multi-buyers as well. I think it's all oh, right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Deals, 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 deals. Uh, OK, moving on to... Can we have a look at the white topaz earrings? Oh, gosh, they're so pretty. So pretty. I do love these. In fact, I need to oh, buy these. Because I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of half-drilled pearls. I'll pop them in the air just so you can see. Um, I've got a couple of half-drilled pearls that I need <sighs> earring findings for. 925 sterling silver. Look how beautiful. They're not cubic zirconia, that is, that's, that is topaz. And obviously, this is, they're going to look a little bit unfinished, and that's because they are, basically. They're waiting for you to put your, your oh twist, your, uh, um, your creativity. Don't they look beautiful in the ear? So you have topaz, round brilliant cut topaz within that little daisy flower. The most beautiful, delicate little drop, and then you've got the peg. Um, so obviously, put the, your half drill pearl, whatever gemstone you wish on there. They're coming up in about... What time did you say? About five minutes time. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up on those. Okay. Um, also, <clears throat> the coral bale. Yes. I do remember that. Yes. Yes. I've got it here. Well, I've only got one. So this is how they come. They actually played quite late in the show when we were originally launching them. Oh, um, and to be honest, we didn't give them the time that they actually deserve. Um, we've had 300 of each of these, and even in that short period of time, they flew. Um, actually, over 200 of each. So we've got them in the aquamarine. And what was the other one? Opal. Opal, that's right. So both of these are coming up as well. Um, over 200. I've got less than 100 of each of those designs. Um, and they go under £10 each. So if I just turn that one that way, can you see it's like a pinch bale? Right. So it literally goes through into the gemstone. They're coming up, not just yet, though. Wow. Not just yet. Just giving you a little bit of a heads up on those. Um, <clears throat> 12 colours of, of a beautiful thread. This is nice. With oh. the big eye needles. Ooh. Ooh, it's elastic. This is a longer elastic. Elasticated cord. Oh, look at these. Multi-strand elastic cord. Look at these lovely colours. <clears throat> All in 0.7 millimetres. Oh, 
They look, they're so beautiful. I don't, right, this is a, a sentence I never thought I'd say. I don't think I've seen elastic look so pretty. No, no, you could, no they're amazing. They, they look like satin yeah. cord, don't they? I like they? this one on the top here. It's, it's dual colours, so when you're, if it's pink on one side, if you tip it over, it's blue. Look. Blue so on when the you, other. when you get that sort of ombre, oh, they're all ombre, aren't they? I think. Yes, that one is. They all is. look ombre, don't they? Yes. Oh, yeah, the oh, blue and the grey. Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 0.7 millimetres. You're not just getting these three cards as well. You do get, I, I think this is genius, your big eye needles, which just revolutionise stretchy making. Um, so if you're like me and you're quite often, you thread them all on, then you pick it up and they all fall off mm -hmm. again. Um, it, that's going to change that because you put your gemstone straight onto the needle and then literally pull the, pull the, the, the elastic through oh, the centre. Oh, that yeah. I've not seen them before. Because you've got this little hook. Yes. You've got this little hook at the end. Now, for all of these colours, in terms of metres, what am I looking at here? Into 12 colours and... Four times five metres. Four times five metres. 60 metres there. 60, oh yeah, oh yeah, it says on the wow. bottom of the card there. Wow. Uh, 60 metres of elastic, goodness me. And the needles, 59 pounds and 99 pence. Again, if you're working with certain colour gemstones, it would be ideal really to complement mm, it with absolutely. the colour of the elastic. We're not closing there. Um, we've got 14 chances oh, no. remaining. I remember these actually being launched. They flew out the door straight down to 11. No one is paying £59.99. pence. comes with those three needles as well, which are genius, by the way. I didn't think a stretchy bracelet could be made any easier, <laughs> but it does. £29.99. Awesome! There are nine. When we launched this, 240 wow. of them sold out. Very, very, very popular. You know, for example, I don't know, Rose Quartz. You've got a colour here. Kunzite, you've got a colour here. Lapis Lazuli, you've got a colour here. Yeah. Appetite, you've got a colour here. All your Jaspers, you've got your colours. So you can compliment them, can't you? Absolutely. Perfectly compliment. Yes. Make sure you check out though, Christine, Eileen, Ruby, well done to you, Helen, new customer, Samantha, Channel R, Sylvia, Jane, uh, Christine and Patricia, if you want multiples, we only had we only had 14 at the beginning of this auction. So originally there was 240, but yes, been very, very, very popular. You know, with all of the skills that, that, that you know, yourself, Mark, and all of our lovely viewers actually have in terms of uh, techniques, and, and it's been wonderful to see the progression as well, hasn't mm. it, over the no, years? It's been amazing. You still can't beat a no, stretching. Absolutely not. No, no, one of the simplest things to make. And as, as you said, using because you've got the needle now, you, you know, pretty much all of your gemstones you'll be able to use. Yep. And they're, they're quick makes. And, and, you know, if you wear them and wear them and wear them, and they start to start to stretch out of shape, you just make another one. I mean, make it five up. minutes, it's just, I love them. That's one of the joys. Mm. That's one of the joys of stretchy bracelets. It's literally a yeah. quick make and it's it's perfect, yeah. isn't it? Um, well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines for that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I do have some amazing <laughs> harama. And this reminds me of the first entry, actually, on the Wall of Fame that we saw, which, uh, was it? Was that Larama? I think, I feel like it was. Or was it turquoise? Might have been turquoise. Anyway, had a tropical vibe about it. Look at this. From one location, beautiful Larimar on an endless strand, totally and utterly natural. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, it is beautiful, isn't it? It does conjure yes. up images of beautiful tropical mm. islands and crisp white sand. Ah, uh, Larimar, all the way from the Dominican Republic. Um, that's the only place on this planet that that actually forms. It's a rare variety of pectolite that uh, um, unknown geological conditions created or transformed, I should say, this beautiful, it's normally white or grey, into these wonderful lagoon-like blues. There are only a limited quantity, though. We don't see oh, Larimar wow. very often, and we particularly don't see it um, at under £20. Like I said, this is a gemstone that forms in only one location, one oh. square mile in the entire planet. It's, it? it's mind-boggling, yeah. isn't it? You know, we think about tanzanite as being remote. This is a fraction, probably about 10% in actual fact, um, of the scale of, uh, of mining that you see there. And when it's gone, it's gone. They can't actually predict how much left is actually under the ground. Um, what I can predict for you today, though, is that we only have 22 available. Yeah, and we're not even stopping here. We're not even stopping here. Ju Julie, Ruby, London, Caroline, Patricia, Wiltshire, Angela, Jennifer, Dorothy, Julianne, Anne. If it, 
Oh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Just After the, everything just, you've just said. <laughs> just the ticket itself to the Dominican, surely. You know the um, the jadeite pendants we get, the carving, oh, the yeah. tigers, and all the. I'd love to do things like that in Laramar. Oh, yeah. But, but there's probably just not enough of it to warrant making things no. like that, is there? No, oh, unfortunately, no. Uh, and and likewise, very difficult mm. to carve. Yeah. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I do have some rose quartz. Should we do it now? Graduated strand. It's really pretty and would go lovely with Mark's kits and also mm. with the grey uh, grey jasper. I mean, look at that. Or the Laramar that you've just had. I've got less than 50 out of 300. Can't beat Rose Quartz. This is real old school, isn't it? It is, classic. Yeah. We need an old school show. We really do. Back to basics. Should we all come in like in our dungarees and things like that then? Dungarees? Well, I'm just thinking about You can wear like your schoolboy dungarees and a little flat cap. Right. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'd wear. <laughs> but yeah. It's Trinian's day. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we should go back to the yeah. old days. Um, we don't see we don't no. see rose quartz very no, often. We don't actually. Um, in, no. Not anymore. Or we used to once upon a time, but really lovely to see it uh, back again in a beautiful graduation. I had a strand like this about um, how long ago? I don't know, probably maybe a year or so ago. And all I did was um, add some spacer beads to it, and guess what? Put it on elastic. Mm, yeah, it was yeah. a stretchy necklace. Yeah, absolutely. Super easy to wear. So I'm going to worry about clasps. Even if we were to stop here, given the fact that you've got 125 carats of beautiful peony pink rose quartz, the gemstone of love, friendship, we're not stopping there. <laughs> the next price is not even what you're gonna pay. Knot it with your marlas. Natural Brazilian rose quartz. Remember, not what you are paying. That's not what no. you're paying. So you know, whilst we were saying old school, <laughs> we wouldn't, uh, that no. wouldn't have been an old school no, it price. Wouldn't. No, you're right. It would have been more. Mm. For sure, it would have been higher than 7 99 but that clock is ticking away. Ross, I hope we've got quantity. <clears throat> A little bit more, he said, than I thought. There's 60 of these available. I wonder, can we do a Rose Quartz showcase? Possibly mm. not, says Ross, yeah. Mm. I don't know if we'd have the quantity. We might be able to do Rose Quartz and Lemon Quartz, maybe, if like as an hour, the two of those together. But mm. we don't see it that often. In 22 seconds, as if this is going even lower. So talking about the olden days, Mark, 6 99 that was a price point we weren't allowed to drop below, was it, on the That's right, show? I remember, yes. Oh. Apart from DVDs, that was the only item, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Not allowed to go yes, below six pounds and ninety nine pence yeah. on air because it was it was it was classed as non broadcastable. That's right. Yeah. It could go on the website, but couldn't go on the live show. How those how times have changed? Because look at this. <laughs> six pounds and forty nine pence only for beautiful natural, delicate rose quartz. And we've broken that rule. Helen's, Bristol, Sylvia, Sarah, another Helen. Hello to you, Liz. Hello to you, Kamar, and Caroline, Patricia, Robert, Christine, Elizabeth, Ruby, Eileen, Rita. Nice to be with you. Uh, Rhonda Cullen, Taff, Abby. Hello to you, wow. Dorothy, Gillian. See, it, it is one of those that, yeah. that we just love. It's nostalgic, I think, oh, those amazing. courts. Have you got three, three strands? You've got your three marker beads there, haven't you, with that large central mm. stone there. You can graduate from sm small to large or large to small and just have a, you know, a focus pendant or a tassel at the bottom. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And also, again, all, across all of your kits, I'm literally mm. across all yes. the different colourways, this, yeah, yeah. this would be an, a welcome addition. Mm. That necklace nearest to you on the top with a purple tassel. This one. Yeah, that would work really well with, with the rose quartz. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's just lovely. Yes, Perfect. beautiful. Hello, Sarah in Warwickshire saying, uh, the studio is full of beauty today. Ah, oh, not just Elle, but Mark and Wondrous Creations too. Lovely to have you back, Mark. Oh, Bless totally. Thank you. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Um, hello to you, Helen. Good morning, everybody. I have those rose quartz ah. and it's stunning. Thank you so much, Helen. Beautiful. It is beautiful. And so so workable mm. as well. No, absolutely. The job's done for you, isn't it? It's a simple restrand, pop some spaces in. 
Put some little seed pearls in between. That'd be yeah. lovely, wouldn't oh, it? Yeah. yeah, little seed pearls. Or you could go gunmetal, you know, be really Ooh. retro. That would be really nice. Well, you said gunmetal. We've got mm. that lovely grey jasper coming we up have. as well. Oh, perfect. Which Actually, the six mil rounds would work six beautifully mil. with that. Those two there together. We go. Perfect. Yep. There we are. They do, don't they? It they makes just... it go pink, doesn't it? The, yeah. It makes the grey go slightly pink. That's why I love grey. I think grey is yeah. one of those gem uh, colours that really complements mm. everything else. Well yeah. done, everybody. Congratulations to you all. Um, we've got awesome kits as well coming up with Mark in the next hour. So honestly, a, a show that is completely and utterly jam-packed. Right, should we do those beautiful earrings? Should we do these? I mean, you don't have to be a jewellery making genius to make luxury jewellery with these. No, no. That's why I want them. <laughs> um, because I am still the mo one of the most basic jewellery makers that's out there. Um, all I need is a little tiny, tiny, tiny touch of your jewellery making glue and one of your half drilled gemstones. I think pearls would be the most perfect addition and you've just made ultimate mm. luxury. These are not cubic zirconia. They are topaz adorned and they're next. So pretty, these. So, so, so pretty. Have a little look. Just the delicate, just the delicate movement that you get within that sterling silver. Just imagine, visualize a perfect pair of half drilled, I don't know, pearls. You could even use your fully drilled, actually. It doesn't have to be half no, drilled. No, absolutely not. No, no. Because um, you could you could always remove that little uh, little peg if you wanted to, and then create maybe a fabulous pair of uh, of waterfall earrings. Three carats of beautiful white topaz set within this pretty pretty little daisy uh, daisy light design. I love that. It's a little bit boodles. A little bit boodles in that you've actually got that bubble style inspiration. I'm going to offend you now. Oh. Do you know what I would do? I'd cut the post off. I'd cut the butterfly back and I'd pop them on a shepherd hook and hang them with the flower down. That's not offensive. That's what I would do. Uh, the, the, the movement would just be <laughs> extraordinary. If you, if you didn't want to do the, the half drilled, so take the little bale off. Well, you could probably... Save it for yeah. another day. Yeah, you could, you could cut it and open it like a jump ring and then cut the post off. See, this is yeah. the, that's the thing. See, Mark, yeah. you're a talented jewellery maker, so you do think outside the box. I look at these and go, ah, mm. a little bit glue, job done. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference between you and I. Um, absolutely beautiful. I mean, yeah, deconstruct it yes, if you wish. Yeah. Now, these have been on air once. Three and a half weeks ago. Wow. And they absolutely flew. They've been incredibly popular. We've got the last remaining quantity, which is not huge. Not huge at all. Perfect for those of you that do things like bridal commissions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Or maybe for something like your bridesmaids or special occasions. Just because, to be honest, well, here's me trying to sort of mention events. I would wear these on a daily basis because they're not massive drops, are they? They're very delicate, aren't they? I love them. Me too. I'm, if there's any of these left, I'm going to be adding them to my order as well. Really beautiful. I've got the half drill pearls already, literally in my kitchen. I, all I need to do is just glue them into place and away you go. There's luxury jewellery. Beautiful luxury jewellery that, uh, <coughs> that can be worn on a daily basis. How many, when you say we've got the last remaining quantity, Ross, how many? Okay, double figures. <coughs> just under 100 of these available. But they're super quick makes. And I'm not surprised in the slightest that when I look at the call screen, straight away people are getting twos and fours. Um, I don't blame you. I would be doing exactly the same. I don't, some people don't have the time to dedicate and commit hours, one hours on it into every single technique and medium that, um, that certainly we broadcast here. Um, and sometimes you might just have an event that you're going to and think, I've got just the pair of earrings for that. Just the pair of earrings. Literally, if I make them now, I can wear them the following yeah. day. And I think they're forget-me-nots oh. as well. So you've got that, that little sentimental meaning alongside as well. Imagine just a little <laughs> blue pearl. Oh, yes. Because yeah. you do get little blue colours, mm. don't you? Mm. No. Well, that's not the price. No. Oh. <laughs> In fact, you're half that price. Really? Shall we? <clears throat> I'm not sure even our sister channel could match this price. No. 
That's November's stone, isn't it, Topaz? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. £19.99 <laughs> only for a beautiful, beautiful little forget-me-not uh, forget or daisy encrusted with genuine Topaz. And that's still not your closing price. You know what, Ruby, you'll be ever so pleased that yeah, you multi-bought. Yeah, I was thinking that, yeah. Uh, Sussex, you'll be ever so pleased that you multi-bought. You're not alone, by the way. Loads of people have joined you. Heather, Lynn, London, Eileen, Charmaine, Mary, Angela, Oxfordshire, Candy, West Midlands, Eileen, Robbie. Nobody is paying 19 99 because we're going even lower. Um, you can see why they absolutely flew out the door. The movement of them, I just love it. Again, they scream boodles to me. £14.99. <laughs> What's he doing? Can you hang what the other one you've got? Can you hang it? Sure. Where that I would. Uh, Ross, what are you doing? <laughs> really? He says I will squeeze every single penny out of these that I can. Right, hang on. So I haven't got the best tweezers. Hang on. There are fifty-nine of these available. So what would you do? Say it so again. I would cut the back. I would cut the post off. Cut the post off. Yeah. Right. And then I would take off the little bale with the pin at the bottom. Yeah. And then I would turn it round 180 degrees so the flower was at the bottom. So you'd have the two. So you would stones. hang it. Yeah, that way. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Bear with. Like I said. I see what you mean. So these would be the. Dro oh, that's pretty. Yeah. So you'd have right now, you've got me multi buying, Mark, because that's a really lovely I think it's idea. So beautiful, and you get that. You get that movement then. Obviously, the back would have. I love that. I think that's so elegant with oh, those two little stones. Oh, gorgeous! As well. yeah. Not fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's beautiful. Where's a necklace pendant drop? Yeah, I mean, that'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? That'd be so bridal. Just a simple little delicate drop. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. They're absolutely Honestly. skyrocketing out of the vault. Well done. That's Not a bottle of Harvard's Bristol Cream Sherry. Do you, are you a sherry drinker? Andrew loves. Yeah, I'm not, I, likes, I'm not a sherry Bristol. drinker. I'm a port drinker. I have to have something like that, port. Yeah, mm. I'd far rather a glass of wine. Mm. Oh, yeah, port and cheese, though. That is good, yeah. Yeah, port and cheese. With a nice blue cheese. Mm. Christmas cake and Stilton is a lovely combination. Sounds a bit dodgy, but it's really nice. Christmas cake with what, with slices Stilton. Stilton on top? Yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah, so, so cut a, a slice of Christmas cake, like a cracker, yeah. and put the Stilton on top and just mm. eat it as though it was a cracker with yeah, a nice glass of port. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, Mark, you do Christmas well. Yeah, that, that's, that's how Christmas should be done. Oh. You'll have to bring the girls over, actually, over Christmas. Oh, we'd see the love grotto. that. <laughs> oh, we'd love that. We'd love that, yeah. definitely. I mean, they are funny at the moment. Yeah. Tiggy is hilarious. She's a proper kamikaze terror. <laughs> You've got Willow, who's a real dainty one. Mm. Um, she's the proper girly girl. And then there's Tiggy like that. Rah! <laughs> the Tasmanian devil. Um, there's, oh, four of oh. them left within the vault. Hello. Um, well done to every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a real pleasure. What beautiful, beautiful beautiful goodies you have in store for you. That beautiful coral pendant is coming up. We've got it in white opal and we've got it in the aquamarine. There are literally just two of these remaining, so um, don't leave them in your baskets. Otherwise, it's going to say, mm -mm, sold out. Um, believe me, um, we're massively over allocated. Right, let's do that beautiful coral pendant. Imagine these with the Larimar. Mm -hmm. Because it's all oh, oh, the spiny oyster. So you've kind of got that under the sea vibe as if these were launched a month ago i'm intrigued i've not seen these so which one am i starting with the, this is pure white opal so we're starting with this one look at that that's linen white isn't it yeah i love the shape as well we don't get this shape very often do we no like a lozenge like a lozenge yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um and then obviously drilled through the top and if i Australian opal. I'm just going to pop this down for a, se for a second um, because just here you have your bale. Now, if I show you a solid 925 sterling silver, um, so this is how it's going to sit. And if I just turn it towards you in this direction, can you see you've got like a oh, pinch right. bale? Yep. Um, so basically you'll gently coax it open, pinch it around the actual drill hole within, uh, within your opal. I mean, it's not a necessity. I personally would glue it into place. 
Mm. Personally, yeah. um, and then you've just made that's it. It's that simple. It's it, that's professional jewellery. That's n no wow. different to what many of the big end, uh, the high end luxury jewellers will do. I love that beautiful coral leaf inspiration. Just so pretty, and it's obviously going to sit um, on the front. Uh, front of your opal. Now, in two minutes, that's all we were able to dedicate to this auction, um, basically because we ran out of time on one of our shows. And in that period of time, over 200 of these flew out the door. We've got the final few. That's natural Australian white opal. Still has that legacy Australian opal. So maybe you've been to the Barrier Reef. Maybe... Pardon? You're joking. Yeah. What? That's maybe... for both pieces? Oh. That's for the opal and the and the bale. And we're not. Not twelve ninety nine. See, nope. this, is it a coral? Did you say? Yeah. See, I see a tree of life. Yes. I see an antler. Yes. So there's a lot of different different sorts of things you oh, could yes, use. Little flames. You yes. could use it as all connotations, couldn't you? That's true. That's very true. Do you want to see another price that you're not going to pay today? That's the, the price of the Australian opal. opal. That's yep. the price of the opal on it. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely the price of the opal. Not paying $9.99 either. <laughs> I mean, it, this, this is, I'm even, it's that simple. So you would obviously use your tools. You literally, see if I can do this. I, I, t I like to put myself under pressure, Mark, don't I, clearly? Helps if I go in the right end. <laughs> so you would just put like so, and then obviously I'll just hold it like that for now. Oh, but that's what that. it's going to look like in, as a finished article. But yeah, just literally close the other side down. You, I need some pliers to do it, but close the other side down over that's your beautiful so opal, and that's the finished pendant. It's, there could it, be a whole range with different bales, couldn't there? The same size gemstone, but different bales. Yeah, gorgeous. You could have all sorts of things. Earrings, they could be turned yeah. into earrings as well, couldn't they? Yep. I like the stag inspiration, because mm. uh, certainly at this time of year, you start yeah. seeing the stags, right. don't you? Yeah, yeah. I drove past one once. Did you? It really took me by surprise. They're so big. Mm. They're absolutely mass uh, massive, aren't they? And just... It did, what didn't even flinch, was it didn't move, not a muscle, just stood by the side of the road, of all majestic. Seven pounds and 99 pence, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, literally, um, what you'll do is oh just God. squeeze that round. I, you do need to do it with pliers because you've obviously got quite a lot of sterling silver in that bale, but you just literally pinch it round through the drill hole. Seven ninety nine. How many of you are, speaking of Christmas and that time of year, how many of you are uh, already shopping? Have you started your Christmas shopping? Stephen, come on. Yeah, yeah, I started months ago. I know it's August. I started making my Christmas cards. Have you? Mm. Oh, are you doing everybody handmade? Oh. Mm. Yeah. 123 days till Christmas. Oh. It'll fly by. It will. Does. I find yeah. that come September, come September, that's it. I'm in Christmas mode then. Mm. Full on Christmas mode. 7.99, 7.99, you... God. That's an absolute giveaway deal. <laughs> Adam's like contesting in my ear saying, it's still <laughs> summer. It might well be, but I'm doing the preparation for Christmas. Yes. You know, you're pickling your onions, aren't you? And we're picking, uh, so it's the, the Strictly Launch show. We, yeah. we pickle our onions. Is that what you do it? Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's Absolutely tradition. Love and it. then the Christmas puddings and the Christmas cakes and all sorts of things. Do you do your own gherkins? We've never done gherkins. Oh. No. I'm gonna, I reckon after a show one day, we all need to go from here to, um, there's a place that does bagels and they do sell frickles. Um, frickles are, are like tempura battered gherkins. Oh, oh my not God. Not very this. healthy then. No, but no. they are absolutely <laughs> delicious. Frickles. Hiya, June. Good morning, Alan Mark. Morning. I bought this last time it was on. It's so pretty, isn't it, June? It's stunning. Really simple, and I think that's why I love it so mm. much. I, mm. I, I'm visualising this on quite a long line chain as well. At £7.99. Did they make pence? a good um, tassel mm. on the mala? Yeah. Having one of those at the bottom instead of... That would be quite nice. That's nice. Yeah. I like I that. would go red at the back, really dark, dark red, and then into orange, into yellow, into white, and then have this at the bottom with the flame. It'd be like a, a flame. Fire opal. Yeah, that would be lovely, beautiful. wouldn't it? That's um, beautiful. Okay, so what colourway would you do with the aquamarine? 
I would go along sort of antique bronzes nice. and coppers and that sort of thing. Ooh, I think that would be really nice. Case? Yes. So maybe looking here. Uh, go oh, I like this one, to be fair. Yeah? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like that with the aquamarine. Yeah? I really like that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So alongside mm. uh, some of Mark's gorgeous kits that are mm. coming up in the next hour. Now, pardon? Jumped up in carrot way. It's still the same size, but obviously di gemstones have got different densities. Natural Brazilian aquamarine. So you've got those really beautiful azure blues, summery blues. But at the same time, one of the joys of, uh, of aquamarine is it can actually be sort of twisted into something that is very, uh, very uh, winter-like, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, with a bit of uh, maybe silver or whites in there. I didn't really notice on the opal, but you see that chamfered edge yeah. all the way around. I mean, attention to detail. It's That's amazing, a good word, isn't it? Chamfered. I love the word chamfered. Chamfered edge. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. We have matched the price <laughs> tag. Both ge totally natural gemstones. Both birthstones as well. Mm, absolutely. You know, if you do commissions or if you do do your mm. um, if you do uh, if you make to sell I mean it's not breaking the bank at 7.99 you can probably double that price it's taking Easy. you what five yeah. minutes to make yeah. that's a good return isn't it and I'm definitely mm. thinking about Christmas gifts earlier on in the show Mark you were saying about pulling your Christmas crackers yeah. and getting things like the the, 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 the curly fish and mm. and the very useful little screwdrivers yeah. <laughs> I do like the useful little screwdrivers and that's that awful spinning top thing the hexagonal with the numbers on. Like yeah, a, oh, nail yeah, clippers. Yeah. No nail clippers. Again, not something I really want on, on, my, on my Christmas dinner table. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, instead of all of that, how about literally just twist them open and re replace the, the yeah, present. That's what we do in our house. Yeah, yeah. Seven ninety nine only. Hello to Christine, Heather, Margaret, London, Julie, Caroline, Caroline, uh, Cheryl, Vivian, Eileen, Candy, Vera, Robbie, Gary. Hello to you, Pat, Karen, Ivy. You're there as well. Look, they're absolutely flying out the door. You like the curly fish. What does the curly, what, what's it all about then? What does it do? It tells you your personality and your mood, doesn't it? So whether you're, whether you're a, an, an angry person or a tempestuous person or, Ooh. or a sexy person. Oh, mm. do we need a curly fish to tell us <laughs> this? Or? <laughs> <laughs> or could we just uh, to say it ourselves? Yes. It, I know it's all novelty. Tiddlywinks. Oh yeah, that's another one. Little playing cards. Play, oh, the little mm. mini ones. Yeah, I like those. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Um, okay, it is time. Right. It is time for your early bird. Um, uh, are, we do, are we doing it? In size order, I personally have never seen Picture Jasper look like this before, and it's, I'm completely and utterly smitten. So beautiful. It's like a soft, delicate cashmere grey um, in ascending size. They are available on pre-order. We've got 100 of each, brand new today. It's your early bird. <laughs> So um, last week we had um, a week of on. Oh, can you see what they got me to dress up as? Got a few of my favourite things. Did you not see me dressed up as Julie Andrews in the worst outfit ever? No. Oh, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. I'm game for a laugh. But I was like, seriously. Uh, who was uh, in the astronaut costume? Uh, I, I don't think there's many people who haven't been in that astronaut. Oh, right. uh, I've right. seen Toby in it. I've seen Alan in it, and I've seen Carol in it. <laughs> um, and that is actually for my show. So Carol oh. sent me a message saying, I'm, "It's not even my show." Well, um, anyway. We had a favourite thing show where all the guest designers spoke about their favourite gemstones. Um, and I think most of us know that Jasper is a firm mm. favourite of I yours. love Jasper. Jasper and the Agates. I always, I always feel as though they're sort of, they're forgotten about mm. because they're so readily available. They mm. sort of, they're not special in a lot of people's eyes. And I love them because they come in all, every colour of the rainbow. They take dyeing really well. So lots of the agates. We've got an agate coming up in the 12 o'clock hour today, an agate bundle. Yeah. And um, look, at, look at all these jaspers in front of us. Every single colour you can possibly imagine we've got. And we've got them in frosted as well, which just yeah. adds that extra little look to it as well. 
but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They really are, and, they've, yeah. uh, and Jasper is, a, is probably the gemstone of the most varieties, I'm mm. going to put, yes, because, yes. Um, and also people sometimes refer to the same variety of Jasper in dis mm. different ways. Mm. They are often named after, well, basically it's down one of two things. So they're either named after what they visually look like um, or the location. So for example, Ocean Jasper um, was obviously mined uh, on the ocean, mm. is now but mined out. Yes. But you've just said there, it, it's more readily available. Certain mm. varieties of Jasper absolutely aren't because like Mookite, for example, course, one location yeah. Yeah. and actually only two licenses remain of Mookite. Mm. I learned a huge amount last night when I was prepping for uh, this little early bird because I, like like so many, um, I was like, ah, oh, picture Jasper. Yeah, that's the one that look, literally looks like yeah, sand that's, dunes. That's right. yeah. um, but even then, it comes in different variations of. Um, but yeah, uh, picture Jasper. It's like a, a landscape, mm. basically. It and it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. And nobody could paint that. I don't think anyway. It's Mother mm. Nature that has created these beautiful, beautiful formations. Um, also, you know, with gemstones like we've got jadeite coming up in a few moments time. We had ja we had amber the other day, and we speak, we we always shout from the rooftops about the age of these gemstones, don't we? Mm, like amber, yeah, oh my yeah. goodness, you know, millions, hundreds of millions of years old. Um, well, picture jasper is another one of those gemstones that is literally hundreds of millions of years old. So, you know. Um, we kind of underestimate it. I, I think you're so right, mm. Mark. We underestimate it. So here's a, and by the way, this article was lengthy. So I've literally just cherry picked some um, of the uh, of the paragraphs. Peter Jasper's remarkable colours are because of its high iron content and the level of minerals and impurities present in the stone. It has different shades of brown. So you get um, a stone that's brown with some blue, black, tan, or ivory shades present as well. Picture Jasper is a relatively rare stone that forms in extremely ancient volcanic ash beds that date back to the Upper Caucasus period around 100 wow. million years ago. You know, 100 million it's years. Terms, you can't get head around it, can you? you no, know, and, and we bring it to where at like ridiculously low yeah. prices. Um, it was formed uh, during a period of intense cataclyst. I can't say it. Cat, catacly that's cataclysmic, there we go, <laughs> activity which resulted in alternating layers of various types of ash and burnt debris uh, being oh. deposited over many thousands of years. But you can visually see that, can't you? Absolutely. You can actually see yeah. almost the, the dust settling within this gemstone. Picture Jasper is said to represent a rainbow bridge connecting heaven and earth. It is a stone of happy dreams as well as bringing calming reassurance to periods of stress and worry. Um, do you know, to be honest, um, there was loads and loads of metaphysical connections with mm. this gemstone. Too many for me to actually put in a PowerPoint. So I was like, it ch pretty much every single walk of life yeah, yeah. Um, picture Jasper relates back to. Some varieties of picture Jasper may contain organic material, which could possibly include prehistoric plants or animal matter right. that existed during the Caucasus period. So again, we think of amber, don't we? Yes, yeah. But actually, here's another gemstone. Uh, there are many different forms of picture Jasper, including banded, concentric, and dendritic. It is considered rare. I wish they wouldn't use the word quite. Mm, yeah. No, 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 it's rare. <laughs> don't, don't sit on the fence. It is rare. Uh, but it can be found in many locations around the world. Picture Jasper can contain yellow, gold flecks or banding called cheesewood, oh. um, as well as red, pink, cream and brown, which is referred to as mutton fat due to its resemblance to mutton fat jade. Um, you can, yeah, look at this one coming yes, around, actually, yes. on the recording. Just and. Yes, the bands, yeah. Look See those that. lovely bands? I love that. There's those sort of greenish yellow colours. Yeah, you can see that lovely connection. Uh, some forms of picture jasper may be uh, heliotrope, which is uh, purple with green banding. Um, it can contain yellow or black spotted patterns sim similar to leopard skin jasper and white alabaster-like stones resembling the moon and stars. Picture wow. jasper is also found in shades of grey. You can tell this is an American article, can't you? Um, as well as uh, dark red, blue and green. It can be found in a variety of different patterns, including plumes, mm. dendrites and other unusual forms. 
And finally, like all Jaspers, the rich design and colors of this opaque chalcedony first made it um, a highly popular ornamental material for vases, mantles, etc. Today, it's an ideal gemstone for jewelry with a southwestern look. Um, absolutely love it. And, and much, I'm so glad, Mark, that we are actually including your favorite things because it has always been <coughs> your favorite here at Jewelry Maker. I personally have never seen it in this lovely cashmere gray before. It's so beautiful. And you can put any color with this, can't you? It's a much softer way of actually wearing, um, wearing your black stone. So I'm going to drape them all, yes, across the back of my hand. We're going to start with the largest of size, which is the 12 millimeters. Mark's just handed me <coughs> um, the red, uh, red Mayuki, which look, look, you can see just that little pop, that little lift of color. Imagine like a canary yellow. Imagine like a powder pink or a soft blue or a black or a gun metal all of the above it's going to look absolutely beautiful now starting with your 10 millimeter uh, sorry 12 millimeters we're going to get these under 10 pounds not stopping there everybody will pay the final low we have a hundred of these available. I love this because you've got your concentric you've got your dendritic you've got your beautiful mottled patterns within. Picture Jasper normally is that kind of tan, beautiful tan colored stone, quite desert-like. But what I learned last night was actually it comes in a multitude of colors. Not stopping here though, we are going even lower. I love that banding, absolutely it, love it. It's like yeah. a storm, isn't it? It seems more vibrant in this color, doesn't it, than the ordinary picture? Yes, yeah, yeah, the patterns are yes, much more yes. uh, visible. Completely and utterly natural. This hasn't been dyed, completely natural. It is like literally, you know, if we were to be perched up in space sat on a satellite yes. looking down yeah. at the eye of a storm, you can almost see those wonderful swirls, that chaos, if you like, being um, building within the gem. Listen, even though these are the 12 millimeter size, we're not going to stop here. And that does have a knock on effect, obviously, because I've still got the 10 mil. I've still got the eight right. and the six mil to bring. Can we look at the strand? Sure. Let's do any, it. Any special ones? Should we work, work our way from end to end? Let's put my specs on. Oh, look at these. Nobody is paying $9.99. Oh, they're works of art, aren't they, individually? Look at that. So you wouldn't see that generally if, you were, if it was the, the ordinary picture, would you? Look at that. <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh, I love the fact that every single stone is completely different to its There's next There's those yellow neighbor, tones. It? Yep. It's all natural. Beautiful. They do look like alien planets, don't they? They do. Look at that. Look at, oh, that's my favourite so far. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, these are amazing. You can lose yourself in, in a gemstone-like picture, yeah. Jasper, can't Completely you? Completely unisex as well. Yeah. I'd happily wear this as, on, as a bracelet. Totally. It's just lovely, isn't it? Look. Well done, everybody. Already loads of you darling through. It, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a grey malachite. I'm not saying yes, it is. Absolutely. Visually, yes. I'm saying it's very similar yeah. to sort of the formations and patterns mm. that you might find within a beautiful malachite stone. Oh, wow, that's look, my favourite. Look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Look <sighs> at that. Ross, this is the 12 millimetre, you remember. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, just, yeah, he's away. Strand of each. This will make the most incredible gents marla. Oh, my word. Oh, which are coming into fashion as well. I've seen well, lots of gents wearing marlas. Week before last, I was supposed to be on a show and we were doing marlas for men, but obviously I wasn't here, so we're, mm -hmm. going, to, we're going to feature it um, at end of September. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's, is that that date you just asked? Mm, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but end of, end of September. Yeah, we're going to try and feature it. And the bigger again, sizes yeah. would be perfect for Absolutely that, then, wouldn't amazing. they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if my Tom, for example, was wearing a Marla necklace, he would probably need the bigger sizes because mm. um, he's a broad chap. £7.99 yeah. only, well done. We had 100 of these available again. We've still got the 10 mil, we've still got the 8 mil and the 6 mil to bring you. What was that? What, one yes, on a, yeah. Just one on a piece of leather. Mm. Yeah, gorgeous. Amazing. Really gorgeous. You could choose your favourite then, couldn't you? You'd sp probably spend a while, take some time uh, choosing and selecting. Um, but again, they'll complement all different colours. You know, even if you put something really vibrant and contrasting, like a lime green or oh, yes. a fuchsia pink. Fuchsia pink would be amazing. Or yellow. You're a fan of grey and yellow, aren't Love you? Love grey and yellow. Yeah. Love grey and yellow, yeah. I've, uh, I, you know, I, I, I realised that I was, my house at one point, there was three bedrooms, uh, sorry, three rooms that were decorated grey and yellow. And that is at that point, oh. I was like, ah, oh, 
and it wasn't wasn't planned i just clearly like that colorway right. it does it does uh, yeah it, i just think they work so beautifully together we had a hundred they are getting quite limited now and a load of you still have it in your baskets allison in worcester wants eight uh diane uh, diane i can see there elizabeth another diane susan jane carol anne in county wicklow jillian mary and jerry elaine trisha and nancy do make sure you check out your baskets because i've already got um two full rows of names all of them are on pre-order so you know that it's effectively an avalanche isn't so we it we know so what happens the smaller we go yeah so you know that the 10 mil is going lower than 7.99 so you can shop ahead and save yourself uh, I, would, you I would go online and, and snaffle all the six mils by and now two ah oh. i would i would do that straight away well, three that... strands and this amazing kiss cross necklace in this pattern Ooh, what, would be what, what incredible would black just black just keep it really simple it's like a spider web. Maybe the red as the kiss <gasps> and black as the cross. Ooh, that would be incredible, wouldn't something it? Something for Halloween. Yes. Let's do the 10 mil rounds right now. I loved our Halloween show before lockdown, do you remember? Yes, I do. Mm. That, that popped up on a memory. Did it? Yeah, it popped up. <laughs> Uh, I think it's us this Halloween as well. I oh. don't know if it's your work in it, but I'm on Halloween. Oh, I'll try and uh, wangle it. Trying to see if we can wangle yes, that one. Yeah. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence only for the ten millimeter size, um, and then obviously we're bringing you the uh, the uh, <coughs> eight mil and also the six mil. So if you want to do things like Marlas, if you want to do macrame, kiss cross, we've made Amazing. one on a leather yes, leather yes. cord. So much inspiration. I have never seen picture Jasper with this lovely grey before. It is natural. It's not dyed. Totally and utterly natural. So wait, I can get the 12 mil and the 10 mil for less than 15 pounds today. Look at these, they're incredible. Normally I say, if, if you've got four different sizes like we've got on here, mm. the larger strand are always better value for money because the larger surface area and you can see all the patterns and, and bandings, but every single one of these strands the, I mean, the six mil is intense with banding. Yeah. As the twelve mil, isn't it? It's I, incredible. I, I would get them all because actually, yeah. these the twelve mil, which I might not wear as a necklace. That's just me personally, but I would use them as tops of tassels. Yeah, absolutely. You could grab like that rose quartz necklace we had earlier. You could replicate that three or four oh, times. Lovely. You? Yeah. Lovely. Uh, keep on dialing mm. through. Now we start getting serious Here because as soon as we start talking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, I knew it. As soon as you go into the realms of eight millimeter and six millimeter, people are like, yeah, yeah. they're very wearable, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Look at the photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet the six mil is even more. Probably. <laughs> Desert Island size. Yep. Oh, look at these. They are beautiful, aren't they? You know, it's going under ten pounds. Well, it's going under £10 and then some. Should we work our way across the strand again? Look at these. I, I, like, what, I like what you said, actually, about the grey malachite. It's perfect, isn't it? So we're going down in pound increments. Are we all the way down? Uh, that means the six millimetre, though. That's going to sell out before we bring it to air. You yeah. Can tell, you can tell a mile off. Look at these. Oh, it's not far off selling oh, out no. now already. 65% of the stock has gone already. Look, Look at, at that, that one. That's the problem with a strand like this. It takes you hours to actually start making jewellery because you just you just spend hours looking at just everything. Looking at it. If you've got your eye loop at home, oh. you know you can just really delve into it. And, and now we know it. how it formed. Literally yes. hundreds. Oh, that one. Look, Look at, at that, that one. Um, hundreds of millions of years ago, literally uh, at a period wow. of well volcanic what was it volcanic debris and yes, ash that yes. settled and remember you can find organic matter within your um within your picture jasper so i mean who knows you've got patterns in here that might have been created from i don't know flowers plants Absolutely. animals that were present you know we assume and myself is absolutely included in the we we assume that's only really applicable when it comes to gemstones like your amber but no not the case on oh the verge of selling out, so well done to those of you that got hold of those. We've got. You, are you ready for this? Hang on. If you, if any of us does this, we're going to miss it. Do you want to know how many's left out of the hundred? Wait and look at the screen. There are nineteen left. Left. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. No, oh, fifteen no. left. You've got to be. You, you're going to have to be. Look at this. Super See what I mean? Even though they're small size, every single yeah. stone, it's as though all the banding has been squashed and condensed down into the stone. You said it earlier on, it's much more, oh, it's gone. 
It's wow, much more amplified in the grey colour, mm. isn't it? Do yes. you love it? Yeah. Do you love it? I think we need to speak to Wayne to get some more of those. I do as well. Yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome kits. And if you wow. love that showcase, you're going to absolutely love Mark's kits uh, because it's all about the beauty. That is Jasper. We've got Mark in the studio. And, of course, wonderful demonstrations, beautiful creations coming your way after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Make sure you join us this weekend on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. Your deal of the day on Saturday is the most amazing strand of Tanzanite. Uh, your deal of the day on Sunday, we've got the most beautiful selection of diamonds. Plus, also on Saturday with Xena, we've got a big reveal. It's going to be a really special surprise. It's all coming this weekend on Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. We've got some beautiful kits 
some of Mark's favourite things. And I tell you, a feast for the eyes in terms of colours. As I said, every colour you can possibly imagine. Is here. Got in these kits. I wish I'd had that green one. I'm I just... know, that's gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Now, there's a lot. That's another reason why we should always, <laughs> always uh, love a bit of Jasper is because you get a big carrot weight with it. Now, I'm going to start with the biggest and then we're going to sort of go down, not in no particular order, I suppose. All about the blues and purples, though. Absolutely. This kit. Yeah, yeah. And the mat. You mentioned the mat. Yeah, so with this kit, I made the purple tassel necklace. Yes. So showing you sort of the blue and the grey, the necklace nearest to you, and then um, the top bracelet on the duo bracelet set there. So as I said, and I had, I think I've still got five strands left out of this bundle. It will go a long way. A long, oh yes, yeah, bracelet yeah, just yeah, there. Yeah. Um, yeah, because there's an enormous carrot weight, and we'll work it out at the, uh, you know, once I've shown you all the mm. gemstones in total, what you're actually getting. Um, lovely different colourways. It's all and really subtle. If you're, so if you're ombreing. It's the perfect kit for ombre. It's just lovely. You're a big fan as well of matte stones, aren't you? Love frosted. I absolutely love frosted. What I find with, with frosted gemstones is every single gemstone that we bring to air, a lot of them are overtly feminine. Mm. Like we we'll use rose quartz, for example. As soon as you frost a gemstone, it becomes completely unisex. Whatever yeah. gemstone it is, it just it's just the texture turns it into a more masculine look, and I, I love that. I, I agree, I agree. Mm. But um, I also know that it's much more technically advanced to frost a gemstone yes, than it imagine. is to polish them. That's right. Yes. Um, because you've got to have that frosting all the way around. Now, already, I've got, what, one, two, three, four strands on the back of my hand in various different mm. colours. These are the 10 mil, but you don't just get those. No. You've also got four strands of your eight millimetres as well. So. Mm. Even if you took, I don't know, let's just keep it really simple to work out, but maybe your 10 and your 8 mil, there's one necklace. Yeah, absolutely. A full necklace mm -hmm. too. Yeah, absolutely. Or a full suite if you wanted. Um, you've got that in, in, like I said, four different colours. So uh, within this, you've got your Amazonite Sesame Jasper, Frosted Blue Spot Sesame Jasper, uh, Frosted Pink Jasper, Frosted Sage Sesame never Jasper. Never seen before. No. no I, I, I guess that's this yes, one here, yes, isn't it? That lovely yes, little green. Yeah, yeah. Um, frosted Light Pink, Frosted Jasper, Frosted Lavender Sesame Jasper, uh, Frosted Teal uh, Sesame Jasper. And we're still not done because you've also got your Mayuki just here. The mm. Mayuki are Amethyst Silver Lined AB, Transparent Steel Blue Luster 11 O's, and then your Transparent Teal 8 O's as well. I mean, th this kit has got your name all over it. It's amazing, it. isn't it? So for all of your, your kiss crosses and um, your, your beaded necklaces, because you remember the type of necklace, I didn't make one this time, um, where you have, you have a couple of inches of seed bead and mm. then a gemstone seed, nice. and then you just do you know, 10 foot long, <laughs> And then you just wrap it, multiple wrap necklaces. I love that. Everything to do this. That's a big carrot weight that you're getting within this kit. Can yeah. we do, we'll do some maths in a minute. Let's take the biggest carrot weight of, the, of all the kits, under 50 pounds. I mean, that right there, that's six pound 25 per strand of Jasper and then your Mayuki sea beads. Um, for free, but that straight away, Mark, is you know an artisanal market, isn't absolutely. it? That's a stand. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, the seed beads alone is twenty-one pound. Okay. So if you think so, if you take that off the price of your strands already, so you still got thirty pound between eight strands. Eight strands. So, yeah. I mean, mad. That I mean, okay. Don't so when it, okay, so let's say let's call it thirty pound then mm. for the for the yeah. actual gemstones. Thirty pounds divided by eight. £3.75. <laughs> it's madness. We've just been talking about how this gemstone formed. It takes literally millions of years to create. Obviously, there's different variations and patterns. I think we spoke about that during that lovely, uh, during that very informative article. But just over £3 per strand of a genuine gemstone. But we're not stopping there. This is the biggest carrot weight, all about the blues and purples, which are always one of your most popular here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, I, I mean, I get that. Um, actually, not just here at Jewelry Maker, actually. Blue and purple yeah, is absolutely yeah yeah yeah. It's always my favourite two colours when I was on the when I did the craft store. The most popular. Yeah, I bet. Purple. And Imagine blue. these were something like an amethyst <gasps> or an appetite. Oh no. Now we're talking about <laughs> five pounds per strand, and, and your CBs are free. 
<laughs> it's, that's oh. a giveaway deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's you've got to be see. you've got to be pushing a, a thousand carats yeah. in this kit. So you've got you've got plenty of scope for your marlas on here, for your stretchy bracelets, your memory wire bangles, your kiss cross, your knotted, your pearl knotting. It, the macrame. Absolutely, yeah, macrame is amazing. There's absolutely everything you can do with this. Really, and with with um, jaspers, you get really, really, really good drill holes as well. Oh, do you? So yeah. even some of your thicker uh, cords yeah, yeah. will go through. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll bring the kits. Have a little look on the website. They are available on pre-order because you've actually got what is it? Five more kits mm. um, to have a look at in different sizes. Um, so you can shop ahead. Trust us, they are going super duper low. <laughs> super duper low. Um, Mark, which one of your beautiful... I, I know you already said earlier on, but yeah. which of these designs are you going to create? So I'm going to show... And as I said, I only did this demo a couple of weeks ago. It seems like forever. I did. I've been asked a couple of times on Facebook for people who missed it. Mm -hmm. And I just want... I mentioned on the day, we used six millimetre rounds when I did the demo originally, but I, and I explained to the viewers that you can use any size of gemstone, you just need to add the number of CPs you use. So mm -hmm. I thought I'd show that today with an eight mil round and just show the same technique. And it's such a quick Perfect. technique, but you, you make little motifs. And as you said, we've, we've had lots of Wall of Fames using the yeah, technique, and I've seen it on Facebook. See. I think Sean, lovely Sean, one yeah. of our viewers, um, he's replicated it in a beautiful necklace. And it's, it's really, I mean, you can make a motif in 10 minutes. So it's a really quick, really simple oh, make. Do you know what I'm just thinking mm. as well with the with this with the jasper? Mm. They'd be perfect for Easter because they yeah. look like little birds. They do. Eggs. They look. They do look like little mini little eggs. Nests. <laughs> so sweet. Yes. Okay, yes. take it away. Any questions that you have, of course, then do text us because we are live. Okay, so um, I'm just going to I'm going to show you using four beads. But as you've seen with the there's a snowflake next door with six beads oh, yes, on yes. the necklace there. So that's using six beads, exactly the same technique. You just need to as I said, decide on the number of, of bees you use. And all I've done is I've popped a little pico on the outside edge, which turns them into snowflakes. So again, you've got, you've got your Christmas makes and all sorts of things. But I'm going to use the four, okay? So the first thing, we, what I've got, is I've got a, a needle and I've got a piece of hobnob, the forest green thread. And the first thing we're going to do is we're simply going to, to thread on four of our gemstones. So these are my eight millimeter rounds. One, two, three, four. And we're not putting a seed bead in between. We're, we're simply going to tie a circle using the four gemstones. So I'm going to tie a single knot, first of all, followed by a double knot. And that's my standard go-to when I'm beading. OK, so that's your circle. And I tend to leave the tail just for a few minutes while, while we get started on the design. Then you need two sizes of your seed beads. You need an 8 and an 11 -o. So I've gone for a silver as my 8 and a gunmetal. This, this is transparent steel blue luster, which I think you've got in the kit that we've just seen, actually. So that's perfect. Yeah, but we've got some other... Uh, oh, yes, yeah, got, literally yeah, the yes, same one. Same one, yeah. okay. So you can see where my knot is in between my two gemstones on here. So I'm going to sew away from the knot, so I'm just going to sew through one of the jaspers and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the gaps in between the jaspers with an 8 -0. so simple so one now the reason I'm doing the 8 afterwards is if you had the 8 butted up in between the two gemstones there's not much space to actually get your needle in and we, we're going to be doing three passes okay. to do the design so it's much better if you add the 8 afterwards it stands proud and, and so you're able then to sew in between. You can see that drill hole there as well, because yeah, you were saying, amazing. really yes. roomy. Yeah, really good. You can, get, you can easily get 1.25 wire through this. So one, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew through the next jasper and exit through the first 8 -o. Okay. So that's round one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some little arcs around the edge. So it's, it starts off a bit like Kiss Cross, in effect. And um, with the six mil rounds, I believe it was eight 11 O's. With the eight mil round, it's 11 11. So if you remember, 11 11. So all we're going to do is pick up 11 of our 11 O's. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. And we're just going to go round the outside into the next 8 O. And you can see that that fits perfectly around the outside edge. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. And as I said, this is so simple, this little motif, but really effective. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, going round the jasper into the next 
Ato. So if you haven't done seed beading before and you want to have a, a little practice and a play, this is a really nice simple technique just to, to get used to how seed beads work. It reminds me, Mark, of the um, Van Cleef Alhambra pattern. Yes, we, that's what we were talking about on the last show. Yeah, yeah. it really looks yeah. like that. So we're going to do 11 and then we're going to do the last 11. So one, two, so there's a lot of counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're going to go round and into the first eight o. So that's your first pass, like so. Okay, so you've got your surround of your seed beads. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to do another row of eleven o's all the way around using the same eight o's. So again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's up to you whether you go behind or in front. I, I, I just work in front as it's readily available. So I'm just going to go all the way around. So you can see now we've got we've got two. Okay. So if you want to show the next kit, I'll continue around and do the yeah, next sure, row, and then I'll sure. show you. I'll show you the next. Um, should we do this one? Four tubes. Hang on, we're just going to double check all this. I think they all come with three. One yeah, of them's gone. Off, it's come off of that one there. Has it? That one does look like it belongs over there. Uh, mind you, there's two on that one. Eh. Okay. Would, would, if you'd read out, I'll show the Jemsons. You read out the, the colours of the Mayuki. Um, so this has got a mixture of both your matte and also your high polish. So you've got almost like a very much, uh, um, like a mm. lapis blue. Yeah, so this blue, I made the snowflake necklace. Oh, yes, yes. There. And then the, the purple and the little black 60, I did the Kiss Cross station at the back there. Oh, yes, just there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I love that. And I'd have never thought to use these in the Kiss Cross. No, no. But doesn't it work well? That's a gorgeous necklace, Mark. I love that one. Elegant, That's just beyond it? my peripheral, so yeah. I couldn't see that one. Um, yeah, there we go. So you've got that really beautiful, almost like a phosphorite purple, really deep, beautiful purple, like an Amazonite uh, um, turquoise. You've got a lapis blue, and I'm obviously only saying that these are as colour descriptions. Um, then you've also got um, a lovely variety of your terra jasper just here. Frosted orchid uh, jasper. You've got dyed black terra jasper, which is one I've just put to the back. Amazonite sesame jasper. Uh, blue spot which is fairly obvious that one here and then another um, of your jaspers and this is your fancy um, alongside that we've got your galvanized gold atos and then we've got galvanized pewter in your 11 o's and then silver line sapphire oh we're right <laughs> yes that's a lot the potential mark that's amazing as if that snowflake necklace you only use six so I think you could probably make six or seven of those snowflakes if you want to do a, you know, a big statement necklace. So, I mean, make those. Mm. You could even just suspend yeah. them from sterling yeah. silver, couldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Ross is, gonna, uh, Ross is saying, <clears throat> as one of your favourites, we're going to do an extra special price oh. for all our lovely viewers. Wow. <laughs> really? Wow. Hang on. One, but two, three, four, five. Five pound a strand and then three oh, tubes no. of Mayuki for free. Gosh, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Fancy Jasper is quite, you know, it's one of the more expensive varieties yeah. of your Jasper as well. Well, seed beads are 6 a strand. Yeah. So that's £21. £21 just in so the CB tubes. So you've got 50p, no, 75p a strand. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. We get it all the time, don't we, Mark? Yeah. When people message in saying, oh, are they available on their own? Or is this available on their own? And, you just, and it, actually, most of the time, the, you get the same response where we go, you're better off not buying them on their own. Because, yeah. I mean, 75 pence per strand. Amazing. Silly Amazing. Bit, Back to you. Hollow when you're ready. Well, I've nearly finished. Have you? Okay. So what I've, what I've got now is I've got two rows of 11 O's all the way around. Okay. So you can see we've got uh, a separator cool. down the inside. So you can have a real play. You can, you can do back and front if you like. So it's completely reversible. And then all we're going to do to finish is we're going to do another row in between the two outer rows. So you can see this space, we're going to fill that. And this is where we're going to incorporate some of our eight O's. So I've worked out to do the central section, you pick up three elevens, three eights, and obviously you can make up your own combinations how you see fit. 
and then one, two, three, elevens. And again, we're going to repeat. So we're just going to jump the bead into the eight o. And this is why it's important that, as I mentioned, you have the eight o mm. on the outside rather than in between. Inside. Otherwise, it would be quite a pain to get in the in the eight o. So then, when you pull, you get that nice little covered section going through the centre. And then we're going to do the next. So one, two, three. And as I said, these are this is a combination that I've done for my design, but you can have a real play. You could, if you want to, go 15, 11, 8, 6, 0, and, okay. then, and then do a mirror image off it if you wanted to. So you can have a real play around. Yeah. It's um, such, a, a, <laughs> such a simple little technique, but there's some of the patterns and oh, colors. Um, and and our, so. our viewers have loved it because I've seen so yeah. many different versions and interpretations yeah. of it. No, it's, it's gorgeous. And like you said, something that's, you know, can build quite quickly. And what about if I wanted to do that little star, that little piku at the top? How do I transform it to that? Oh, I, can, I can show you. I can show you in seconds. So one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to jump the gap into the ato that's there. I'm going to try, if I can, not to go pink, not to go through any of the beads. So I'm just going to go through the ato, and there we go, have a wiggle up. So that's the motif finished. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, straight away. So to do the little snowflake, all we're going to do is take our needle, and we're going to continue through the next group, and we're going to come up in the middle of the group of three ato's. So the snowflake has got six beads, exactly the same technique mm -hmm. that I've just shown you. So all we're going to do is come, is we're going to exit through the middle of the group of three, and a pico consists of four beads. The first one is already there. So we're going to pick up another three eight o's. So we're exiting the side of the bead away from me. So I'm just going to go clockwise 360 degrees back through the same bead. And I'm just going to wiggle through all the way around until we get to the next corner, pull, and you have your little snowflake corner oh, at the like end. That's like a pendant now. Yeah. So if I just show you one more. So we're just going to follow the beads all the way around. So through that, it's always important you go through that middle ato that was there originally. And I'm just going to, am I going to be able to do it? Yes, so I've gone through the three elevens. I'm exiting through the middle of the atos. Pull the thread nice and tight. And then I'm going to do my next pico. So one, two, three. The fourth one is already in position. 360 degrees clockwise all the way around. And then you pull and then you get your next little snowflake at the end. So you would just continue all the way around. And what, what this helps with as well is if you're doing those little picots on the corners, it also strengthens the surrounding threading as well. So it's, it, it's a win-win really. That. And then what you do then is you just, can, and when you get to the end is you just tie off, which we've shown you many times on the show before. And then what you can do is you can then join those together. You can have them separately. You can suspend them um, on the square like I've done there or on the diamond. Yeah. So again, for such a little motif that you can make in 10 minutes, you can just just make lots of them and then come up with the design you want to turn They've them into. They've got a really beautiful like a uh, almost Celtic. like a, ke yeah, I was yeah, going to say yeah, Celtic. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah, I, I love yeah, it. I yes. love that. Imagine something that you know, because I know you do these motifs and sometimes mm. arrange them thereafter. Yes. So yeah, yeah gorgeous. So what you could Mara. do, you could start. You could do three, maybe three of four beads and then some five and then a big statement oh, six. It'll be like right. a mayor's chain. It'll be quite. <gasps> be incredible yeah, absolutely lovely. incredible so you need your jasper mm. don't you yes, for this yes. um and yes. even though that one's only using uh, yeah. only using four, four That's right. um yeah I, I if you can whip them up that quickly imagine the yeah. imagine the pieces that you can be creating now this kit is actually quite limited right. um it includes some um colors that we don't see very often so i'll go through those you've got the teal sesame jasper uh arctic jasper sage jasper dyed purple terra jasper um, with this. So in total, you're looking at one, two, three, four strands. And then you have your Mayuki, see if I've got this right, Silver Line Dark Aqua. Hang on. Have you got a photograph? Oh, it's a little tube. We haven't got that one. I haven't got the little tube, yeah, but you do right. get these and a little tube. And another tube. So I'm missing, I'm missing a tube here in the studio. So what you get, you will get mm. this basically. Yes. Yeah. Um, what's on your photograph right there? So three tubes of lovely Mayuki, and they are in the sizes 11s and 8s again. Um, and then five strands of your beautiful uh, Jasper. 
Five pound <laughs> per surrender Jasper and then three tubes of Mayuki for free. Mad, isn't it? It is mad. That's it's really absolute mad. madness. I love that, the, the brown colour. Those, those yes. mixtures of, of browns, they're lovely, aren't they? It's beautiful, isn't it? That's Arctic. the Arctic and it's got ah. this kind of creaminess to it, it's hasn't lovely. it? It's yeah. Yeah, it's quite creamy. It's a little bit different to the other the mm. other varieties of the jasper. It's almost like it's been stirred. Yeah. I think we need to try and get um, Wayne to try and source some fossil jasper. I love fossil Me jasper. Me too. Yeah. Um, do you remember Mariam jasper yes. as well? Yes. I haven't seen that in a while. I haven't seen that in a long time. Um, yeah, we'll get Wayne on the case. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets. We, I think we're saving the best to last. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we've got some lovely kits still to bring. I mean, I'm a green person, that's why I say that. If you're so a green your, person... So order, should, we, should we do this one first, and then we'll do the six millimetre and round? And then that and then, one. And then, should we do that, shall we? Yes. Right, let's do this one next. Now, this yeah. has got a seabed colour that, for me, um, seafoam has always been my number one top seabed ever in Mayuki history. Yeah. But I have to say, it, it's been knocked off its perch. Has it? Which one has knocked the off? The one on the right-hand side. This one? Yeah. So this is pewter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mentioned pewter earlier oh, on. It is amazing. gorgeous. I think it's so even even better for me than than the um, the gunmetal. It's just, got it's an just antique beautiful. vibe to it, hasn't yes, it? It's I must admit, though, I'm loving yeah. all the colours of these sea beads. Yeah. So you see the bracelet with the purple, the second bracelet at the bottom there. I've used pewter. Over. I've used pewter to surround the purple, and it's just so. There's the pewter <gasps> and the gold. It just it is so. I love it. I absolutely love this. Oh, that's cool. I buy the whole kit just for that one just tube. Just for that of one tube. Yeah. I'm loving this one too. Yeah. This one on this side. So you've got your Picasso Montana mat, uh, which I assume is this one. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, then you've got your matte transparent light brown. No, mm -hmm. that's mat. That's got to be the matte transparent light brown, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, and then you've got your silver lined uh, gold AB. Mm -hmm. um, so those three beautiful tubes and look at the look. I love that. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm, I'm sold yeah. on this kit just for yeah. the colours of the Mayuki. Yeah. But then in addition, you get some really beautiful gemstones as well. Um, so a mixture of your jaspers. If I just one, two, three, four, five strands. Oh, my goodness. And then I'll read through the description. So you've got your aqua green terra jasper in your matte eight mil rounds. Um, you've got your dyed black terra jasper in your eight mils. You've got your gray map jasper. Oh, that's a new one um, in eight mil size. Uh, your dragon blood jasper, which is this one here, which is wow. uber cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, the 10 millimeter rounds. And lastly, your frosted blue spot jasper in your 10 mil mm. as well. £24.99. pence. Wait a sec. That's that's five strands and three tubes. That's amazing. So silly. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I like, oh, it's hard to choose. And I, I do like that colorway of kit. Right, let's now do the six colorful mils, ones, shall we? Yeah, so these are the six mil bun. There's one eight mil, I think, all the rest are six mil. So if you're going down the Kiss Cross route, these are perfect. And this, again, you've got your Christmas colors there. You've got your That's silver Santa, lined red. It? Yeah. Yeah, Santa right there. 123 days. Can't wait. I know, I'm excited too. I'm excited. I love Christmas. Best time of year. Uh, wow. Four that strand. That's malachite, doesn't it? That green. Yeah, wow. that was the first colour of Terra yeah. Jasper that we actually yes, um, introduced, right. wasn't it? Yes. Four strands of Terra Jasper, which has got similar kind of mm. patterning that to what you would find on. Um, uh, turquoise, basically. Um, these are all six mils. Uh, with the exception of one strand, beg your pardon. So uh, one strand, okay. this one here, your opaque white. Wow. Uh, no, I've described that wrong. I bet, I'm so sorry. Start again, Al. It's just because there's so many there. <laughs> um, that's your ivory, ivory sesame. I've never seen that. No, isn't that beautiful? No, All about that. the monochromes. Then you've got your orange terra jasper, your forest green terra jasper, your pink terra jasper, and your purple terra jasper. And then if I just slide them closer to me, you've also got um, your lovely festive colors of your Mayuki. So that's your, your uh, silver lined red. Um, you've got your opaque white and also uh, your black opaque as well. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, imagine that one there, the monochrome alongside yeah. those three colours. Mm -hmm. Kiss cross. Oh. Amazing, wouldn't it? Halloween. This would be perfect. Beautiful. £24.99 only to get hold of this lovely colourway. Uh, so purples, monochromes, greens, oranges, uh, hot That's pinks. Fair all in this one kit so that's working out at what five strands three tubes eight components let's do the math 24.99 divided by eight 
three pounds sixteen p, something like that. Third, good maths, three pounds <coughs> thirteen per component. That's amazing. The last right. kit. Have we, we saved go. the best for last? I think we have. I love this one. There oh, are no. only fifty though. <laughs> Another of my favourite seed bead colours, that lime green is incredible. It's real tennis ball green, isn't it? Oh, Gorgeous. it's beautiful. What's it known as? It's known as uh, silver lime dyed yellow. I feel really? like they, I feel like they could have got done so much yeah, they better. They could have done much better. Like a pistachio yeah. or something yes. like that, yes, couldn't they? Yes, Oh. <clears throat> oh, look, that's beautiful. So we have silver lined olive. Oh. Frosted opaque glaze lavender and then silver lined. That's the olive. Yeah. Then silver lined yellow in the Atos. They're beautiful. I love that colorway. Oh, mm -hmm. and then wait until you see the beautiful gemstones that you get alongside it. So obviously varieties of your sesame jasper, mixture of your mats and your uh, high polish. Um, again, I'm going to put them all on the back of my hand just because of time. And then I'll describe the colours to you. Um, very much okay. coordinating. They're beautiful. They're amazing, aren't they? This is, do you know what? All year round I would wear these colours because they're quite positive and cheerful and uplifting. I think it's that, that vibrant green. Uh, so you have your frosted teal sesame jasper in your Atos. Then you've got your pink jasper, frosted olive green jasper, uh, teal. And which one am I missing? I'm missing some, aren't I? Yeah, they said the pink. Is that five strands? Obviously, you've got double yeah. duplicates of those lovely colours as well. £24.99 pence only. I'm fairly sure we should have been higher than that. Um, a lot higher. A lot higher. As I said, the three seed bead tubes are £21. Yeah, £21 for you yeah. to buy those three seed bead tubes, and then you're getting five <laughs> strands of wonderful gemstones literally for free. Honestly. Well done, well done, well done. Um, okay, the oh. single only strand oh. of Jasper, Bumblebee Jasper, that we can bring today is before me. A PR deal. Bit of a PR deal. Mm. From the shallow waters of Indonesia, there are 90 of these available, and it's so beautiful, Bumblebee Jasper. Um, there are lots of different varieties of jasper forming all over, all around the world. These are the shallow waters of Indonesia, and it is naturally beautiful, the colours that you get within this. Oh, imagine this is the spiny oyster that we saw a few moments ago. Oh, yeah. So you've got lovely oranges, uh, beautiful yellows, teamed up perfectly, as we've discussed already, Mark, alongside your sort of soft cashmere greys. You can obviously see where it gets its name from, the inspiration behind it. That's totally beautiful. and utterly natural. No enhancement whatsoever. No enhancement at all. Um, I, I've, brought, I've done one showcase, I think, of Bumblebee Jasper in the past probably two years, in, in all honesty. We don't see it very often. Um, it is very, very, very scarce, um, uh, particularly so on our screens right now. And you do pay a premium for it. It's uh, Of all the Jaspers, I think, alongside your Mukai, I think one of the most distinctive. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. It's you know, gorgeous. Most people recognise yeah. uh, Bumblebee Jasper immediately. Uh, within the strand, you've got a really beautiful graduation. And you spoke earlier on Jasper being one of those gemstones that, you know, is great for ladies and gents. Absolutely. I don't think there's a single strand of Jasper that isn't a unisex strand. Yeah, totally. Without a doubt. Totally. Yeah. Now, we've got a big carrot weight. We're going to take this. <laughs> the only strand we have. And they're big. They're big stones. Should we take it under £20 today? Super simple makes, you know, when you've got a gem that's as visual as Bumblebee Absolutely. Jasper, you don't yeah. have to overcomplicate it. The simple uh, pearl knotting, that's, that's what I would do, just a yeah. simple pearl knot in between, just to separate the stones. Absolutely perfect. And I'd go black, I think. Yeah, me too. Yeah, to make everything stand out. Well, that would maybe define was. the stripes mm. a little bit yeah. more, wouldn't yeah. it, maybe? Uh, and going back to the Wall of Fame, we had um, one of the entries was mm. Bumblebee That's Jasper, right. wasn't that? Yes. Really yeah. cute little Bumblebee. We're effectively looking at it at its, uh, at its shallowest form, because if I were um, to literally double over this strand, you can see then you've got those really beautiful patterns on the inside. The colours are amplified. Keep on dialing through. Under £20, the only one that we have. Um, shall we do our, a metre <laughs> strand of pink terra jasper? <gasps> oh. What's 
the other name for, te for Terra Jasper? There's another name for it, isn't there? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I only know it as Terra Jasper. Yeah. Is um, it? Oh, oh I don't know it. It'll pop into my head. One of the viewers might know and text in. Text in if you know the, uh, yeah, the other name. There's another name we call Terra Jasper. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. You've got a meter here of hot wow. pink Terra Jasper. This with your black gemstones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember first launching Terra Jasper, and literally the, the obsession began, um, because you know we we. We imagine things like malachite, for example. They're, and the reason why they're so popular and why Van Cleef and Arpels and Harrods and Shoppard and Liberties of London, why they all use mm. it, because it's so visually mm, beautiful. No. This is another one of those beautiful gemstones. Instead of having the sort of concentric cir circles in the bands, this is one which is much, I guess, leans towards, leans more towards your turquoise um, in its actual patterns. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, but that is getting a you're getting a meter, um, not thirty-eight centimeters, a full meter. That's the price of a thirty-eight centimeter mm. strand. Yeah, that's right. So I mean, I could get a lot out of a one meter length, can't I? How many bees would that be? So if you did a thousand divided by eight, uh, hundred and twenty-four. So twenty-five bees. So you've got you've got a mala and. You've got a full mala and a bracelet and a pair of earrings in one strand. Wow. And then you can love do different colourways. do different colourways. I love Ooh, that. Well, you said earlier on, Mark, about that one um, with that coral. Mm. Oh, yes. This yes. would be perfect, wouldn't yeah. it? Did you mean varicite? Oh. Mm, no. no. Varicite. Might be Although varicite is a jasper. Varicite. Varicite. Might be varicite. varicite. Actually, come to think. Of I don't it. know. Is it right the price. same stone? I'm not sure. It, it's what I have to say. Jasper's one of those mm. that always throws throws yes, curveballs right. at you, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's so many different varieties and terminologies mm. and names. It's like you, you need a whole book just for the terms yeah. of Jasper. Um, this is the warm red. Oh, that's I love gorgeous. That. That's amazing. I'd use this alongside maybe some of your um, black Mayuki. Mm. I think that would work. Oh. Lots of multi buyers straight away. Full Beautiful. meter, long length again. That's a real autumn colour, isn't it? You've seen autumns come early because of the because it's so dry. All the um, leaves are starting to shed early. I noticed the nights have drawn in really quickly. And the morning. I drove in the dark this morning. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have to put the light on now. I tripped mm. over the cat the other morning, so I was like, oh. right, put the light on. <laughs> put the light on, because they just chill on the stairs yes. and they won't oh, move. Yes. Yeah. No, you, you work around me. That's oh, the rules, goodness. isn't it, if you're a cat? I'd have to put gold with this every time, without a doubt. Oh. Yeah. Bringing summertime back though, isn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. A meter length. Um, that's oh, the blue, it's tropical blue though, isn't it? It's a really beautiful, warm tropical blue. Yeah. And again, Mark, I'm looking across at your fabulous creations for the 12 o'clock mm. hour. Um, I think this particular color would look lovely with your, with your agates. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. 14 pounds and 99 pence. That's two and a half of our usual length strands, yeah, it isn't is. it? Well, it not is. half, yeah, yeah. okay, definitely two. Yeah. Flying out the door, well done everyone. If you love your metre long lengths, we've got some more colours to bring you as well. Purple. <laughs> How many have we got of these? 20. Oh, no. oh, you need to be quick. <sighs> to say purple is, is, is yeah, it's, uh, it's so much more than just purple, isn't like it? Like a vintage. Yeah. You can have vintage purple. It's yeah. an amethyst, yeah, yeah. charite, yes. phosphosiderite, all in one strand. All in one strand. All in one strand. But we only have 20 of these, so make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on these, everyone. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Moving quite quickly so I can bring you all the different varieties. Um, let's do some royal blue. The last of the eight mils, and then we're going to step down into the six. Oh. Oh, we might squeeze something <laughs> in before. Okay. Mm. Something special. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. <laughs> that's a lovely colour, isn't it? That that is literally that's tropical destinations, isn't it? That solitary island yeah. with the white sands and 
crystal clear waters. I can see it, I can visualize it straight away. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence, everybody. Make sure you check out on that. There are only, um, there are only limited quantities of those. Likewise with this next opportunity, and I don't know if I saw these, these earlier and I thought, what are they? Genuine gemstone jump rings. Mini donuts. Little mini donuts. I These haven't been on our screens. It's never been six weeks, has it? Well, these are amazing. So I would do a two-in-one chain using metal jump rings in between. That yeah. would look so cool. Yeah. Oh, look at these. We talk about the complexity of cutting gemstones and then there's something like that. this. You know, again, oh, Stephen said earlier on, just threading them onto a piece of leather. Yeah. That's Gorgeous. That's to do, isn't it? Um, set, you could use them to set your gemstones in as well. Don't have to be just jump That's rings, nice do idea. they? No, not at all. Um, and then actually almost have a Glen Lehrer inspired piece mm. where you where you prong set them. Um, they are limited. We've got, did you say 30? 30 of these available jewelry makers. Please do make sure you're quick. Um, I th oh gosh, I remember them first being launched and how popular they were then. Um, there's only a handful of them left. Tiger's Eye, of course, with all that beautiful chatoyancy, that wonderful migration of light that literally skirts across the surface of this gemstone. Um, yeah, just literally open and close jump rings create a most beautiful, uh, beautiful necklace. Um, use them as solitaires, use them as donuts, use them as mm. high goos. Yeah. Because you could pop a little gemstone. It looks like three mil, doesn't it? The hole in the centre, maybe. Yeah. So pop a little gemstone drilled and have the drill holes going through horizontally. Maybe you might need to glue them in. Yeah. And then um, you can just thread them onto thread through the drill, through the gemstone. Gorgeous. So beautiful, 14 pounds and 99 pence. These are absolutely flying out the door. They haven't been on our screens for a very, in fact, this might be the first time they've been on their own outside of a kit. Oh, they were in a kit, were they? Yeah. Originally, right. Yeah, that's where I saw them. They were in a kit. Mm. So first time you've been able to get them um, um, outside of a kit. Okay, let's do. We'll do one more auction opportunity, and then what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to load all the other colours onto mm. the website so you can still purchase those. Would you like to pick? Would you go red or would you go that blue? blue? Let's go the blue. Yeah. And if you're thinking kiss cross, Mark. Be perfect. What so you need, you need nine for a station. I mean, you've got 100. Well, that would be more than that. It would probably be about... How many in this strand, then? A 1,000 divided by six. Yeah. 166 divided by nine. I should know that. So you can make 18 over just Are over 18 stations. 18 Kiss Cross stations, yeah. which is this, by the I way. I think in this necklace, there are two, four... Five in this necklace. So that's, oh, an wow. that's an over the head. So. Wow. So yeah. you can make that necklace repeatedly Easily. then. Yep. If you want to know how to make the kiss cross, then uh, Mark's your man. Give him a drop him a message. I'm mm. sure there's countless mm -hmm. tutorials on any yes, of the DVDs. Yeah, yeah. 12 pounds and 99 <laughs> pence only. All the other colours we're going to upload to the web. So um, there's red, you've pink, purple. Oh, brilliant. All different Amazing varieties. value for money, those yeah. six mil rounds. Oh, this oh. Some, some four mil. So would that then be micro? micro. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Now, um, Mark, you're coming back for your masterclass, and it's all the mm. colours of our gates. I've got brand new cords that I've not had in a kit before, and brand new bobbins. Brand, I saw these bobbins. Smith. Yeah, That's yeah. Really, non tangle bobbins. Non tangle bobbins. That's yeah. exciting. So make sure you tune in. Uh, stay with us, though, because yeah, Mark's back at 12 o'clock. But coming up um, after a very short break, we have Jake Thompson bringing you the beauty, the work of art, the legacy. That is Jade, all brand new pieces. Do not go anywhere, we'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Make sure you join us this weekend on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. Your deal of the day on Saturday is the most amazing strand of Tanzanite. Uh, your deal of the day on Sunday, we've got the most beautiful selection of diamonds. Plus, also on Saturday with Xena, we've got a big reveal. It's going to be a really special surprise. It's all coming this weekend on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I'm so excited because it has literally felt like an age since I've had a show uh, with this wonderful gentleman educating us in the wonderful world that is Jade. It's an, a huge pleasure to welcome back into the jewellery maker studio, Jake Thompson. Good morning. Good morning, Elle. Good morning to you as well. It has been a long time. There, there yeah. is no getting around that. It has been a long time. I will apologise. I've been here. I've been there. I've been everywhere trying to bring you extraordinary gemstones. If we've never met before, my name is Jake Thompson. I'm the lead gem investor here at the Gemporia Partnership. But my goodness me, what a show yeah. we have. Why do I go traveling? I go traveling to get you the finest, the rarest, the most exotic. And this morning's show, well, where do we begin? This morning's show features a brand new variety of natural type A jadeite. You love it, you know it. We're gonna introduce a brand new variety of it to you in this morning's Extraordinary Show. And that is really the cherry on the most extraordinary cake that we're gonna be sharing this morning. Because I think if there's one way to sum up what this morning is all about, it is simply this, Jade, the Su Zhu edit. Today, we're gonna to hear all about 
the Suju is to jadeite what Edar Oberstein is to colored stones. It is the mecca of the, the finest craftsman in the world. And what we have for you in this trunk is nothing short of the most intricate, the most challenging, the most demanding jadeite carvings we have ever attempted. And it will be up to you to judge whether or not we have succeeded. I can promise you one thing, you have never, ever seen anything like what we have this morning's show. Now, in this morning, look, you know I could talk for days on Jade 8. I don't have them. I have less than two hours. So I, I'm going to give a very brief, I, I, and I'm going to apologize in advance because this is nowhere near as comprehensive as I like to be. You know what I like to do. I like to try and level the playing field so that everyone is starting from the same place of knowledge. I can't really do that too much today, except to share with you. There are three factors that have never come together in over 4,000 years of jade connoisseurship. These three factors have never come together until today, this year, and they are having a profound impact on the jadeite world. The first of those is that whilst the Far East have valued jade for literally millennia, it has, been, it has been a great big blind spot for us Western gemologists and gem enthusiasts. That is no longer the case. Western demand for jade has never been higher. It has never been appreciated more valuably. And I mean that by both collectors and crucially by appraisers as well. And how do I know this? Well, we know this because open your eyes, look around you. We are seeing more literature aimed at jewelers, at appraisers who are taking your jadeite pieces and scratching their head going, hang on a second. My dad never told me about jade. My grandfather never told me about jade. How am I supposed to value it? One of those is this jade, a gemologist guide. It is literally coming off the printing press as we speak. And writing about this piece as a book review, Dr. Lula, one of the most qualified doctors in gemology in the world, says appraisers and valuers are not left alone in their jade quest. This book, what does this do, a gemologist guide? There are two chapters to answer the majority of Western appraisers' questions on jade, one of which is grading an appraisal of jadeite by Roland Schleusel, the Swiss gemologist. Jade is not simply an Eastern treasure, I have come to realize it is the world's treasure. Now, if Dr. Lula came to realize that having read Jade, a gemologist's guide, what do you think is gonna happen the moment that book hits the wider market? Jade demand in the Western world has never been higher, but it is nowhere near peaking right now. And that's why these kind of books are being written. Now, who is Roland Schleusel? He's the author of Jade, a gemologist's guide. He's written numerous covers and articles for, for, for publications like In Colour, uh, which is the, the, the magazine of the International Coloured Stone Association. And I had the good pleasure of meeting Roland this year. In my conversations with Roland, it became quite apparent that what we are going through, Roland has not, Roland is Mr. Jade. What he has to say on Jade, everyone stops and listens to. That's why you know, when we talk about quality and assessment of natural jadeite, who was the author? Roland Schleusel. You talk about the jades of Myanmar and Burma because we have different colors. We're exploring some of those colors, including a brand new color and grade today. Who was the author of this article? It is Mr. Roland Schleusel. So when Roland talks, the world listens and he has had to pen a jadeite appraising guide because so many of you are taking your jadeite portfolios, you're taking your jadeite collections, be they the pieces you acquired today and in previous weeks, or indeed the piece, the finished jewelry that you have crafted yourself, you're taking them to some of the highest end appraisers in the world. And the truth is, they have never seen jewelry like it until now. So fact number one, that we cannot get away from, 
which is why the GIA go and put museum exhibits together. I went to this museum exhibit in Tucson, in Tucson in February. I went to see the exhibit. I was expecting to see all the mines of Arizona, you know, turquoise, it's a mine a museum based in Arizona. They said they had a whole section dedicated to jadeite. I was not expecting to see this. And as I spoke to the curator of the exhibit, they said, look, this is a modern museum. It is reflecting modern jewellery trends. And there's no doubt about it, jade is the modern jewellery trend in the Western world. So we know fact number one of this historic window, Western demand for jadeite has never been higher. And we can track this with new museum collections and expanding literature aimed at the appraisers who are going to be commissioned by you to value your jade that you get today. I spoke to this gentleman as well, of the Gem World, of the Gem Guide. This is Dr. Richard Drucker, another GIA trained gemologist. And I spoke to him about the Gem Guide and how it tracks market trends. And when we spoke about the Tucson Gem Show, which has historically been a gem show, which is dominated not by diamonds, not by pearls, not by any other Eastern gems, but by coloured stones, Richard Drucker had this to say, and Stuart Robertson as well. He said, look, the postponed March Hong Kong show helped persuade big firms to invest now. That's why Tucson was so busy, because Hong Kong was not happening. Now, a variety of gems were in demand, but what dominated interest was the big three gems plus jade. We have here the Western jewellery market, the Western trading market, picking up the opportunity that the Hong Kong show being closed, being cancelled, is creating. Now, I owe you an update on this. Because what I'm about to tell you, I've never shared on TV before. I've told you before how the Hong Kong government and the Chinese government are locked in this struggle. And they are desperate to re... Hong Kong is desperate to reopen the jade markets. At the same time, the Chinese government's view is, no, keep the jade markets closed. Let's keep this an internal treasure. Mm -hmm. Well, the Hong Kong Jewellery Council have now moved the show out of Hong Kong. They're hosting it in Singapore in just three weeks' time. So the Hong Kong show is happening, but it's happening in Singapore. What is the one gem that you will not find at the Singapore Gem Show? It is jade. Because the reason, the reason that Hong Kong Gem Show became what it did isn't because it was based in Hong Kong. The, the, the tanzanite that is sold at Hong Kong didn't come through Hong Kong, wasn't cut in Hong Kong. The sapphires weren't cut there, they were cut in Bangkok. The emeralds weren't cut there, they were cut in Jaipur. The reason Hong Kong had jade is because it was cut predominantly in Kowloon and the new territories just across the water in the Guangzhou markets. There will not be jade available at Singapore because this is the Chinese government's move to prevent this material from being exported anymore. So we had this once in a lifetime opportunity. The closure of these traditional markets in Hong Kong it disrupted that trade, that, that, that three-point trade. Pakant to Kowloon to Suzhou, it disrupted this trade route. We're going to talk about Suzhou a little bit more. But the Chinese are manoeuvring countermeasures to restore the closed network just for themselves. So you have Western demand, never higher. You have a Chinese government mobilising to prevent this jade from leaving the market. And that is affecting what I'd call apparent rarity. How much of material is, is, is apparent on the market? But there is something else that is working in the Chinese government's favour on this. And I want to be absolutely clear here. The jade you see today is from rough I acquired back in November 2019 on my historic once-in-a-lifetime pilgrimage to Myanmar, Burma. Since then, the situation has changed. Back then, it looked like the Myanmar government were opening up 
they're empowering their people, they're re-engaging with the international world. That has now, unfortunately, and, and I find it heartbreaking because I've been there, I've met the Burmese people, are wonderful, wonderful people, incredibly friendly and hospitable. But since then, the, the Myanmar government have reversed what looked like a path to progress. And so rightly so, the US are leading sanctions, banning Burmese gemstones from being traded. Here is JCK reporting on that. Now, I want to be absolutely clear here. I support those sanctions. I support anything which helps nudge the Myanmar government to properly empower their people so that their people are reaping the rewards of their national treasures. And that's what this sanction is designed to do. These are not, these are not new mine jade. This is old mine jade. And why is this so key? It's so key because Doug, Doug Hooker, who is the CEO of the American Gem Trade Association, says Burmese gems that were already purchased and are currently in sellers' inventory prior to this action are not impacted. In other words, this jadeite is some of the last jadeite available on the open market. If you want jadeite after today, and I'm going to put quite a big prediction out here, I don't think you'll see me with another jadeite show moving forward. This jadeite here represents one of the last opportunities to acquire it. And I've got absolutely no qualms with telling you I have saved the best until last. Because what we have here is my final shipment from the storehouses of Suzhou, China. Now, what is so special about Suzhou? When we talk about jade, we talk about it being China's gift to the world, and we imagine the most extraordinary detailed sculptures. Where is the, where is the center of excellence here? It is in Suzhou, the city of Suzhou. Suzhou is one of the cradles of Chinese jade carving. When you go to the British Museum and you see Ming artifacts, you see Qing dynasty artifacts, it was during these dynasties' rule that Suzhou became the manufacturing centre for Chinese jade. If you want simple carvings, you want a simple round, you want, you, 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 you want little, little uh, you know, strands of this material, then you can get that from Guangzhou in southern China. But if you want a sculpture, if you want a piece of jadeite art, if you want your piece carved by the descendants of those who cut those imperial seals for the Ming Dynasty, those who cut those extraordinary sculptures for the Qing Dynasty, if you want to tap in to this tradition of excellence, you have to work with Suzhou. And in this trunk is about half a dozen sculptures from those master artisans in Suzhou. You have never seen the like of this before. I'm going to open this trunk for the first time this show. Since I saw these a little earlier, this will be the first time we see them. L. I'm holding my breath. I'm not even going to show you the full collection. I'm not going to be showing the full collection today. I'm going to bring you the size. You can see the size from here. The detail you have in this medallion. It can only be described as a medallion. We are in the Chinese zodiac year of the tiger. I wanted to launch these with you around Chinese New Year in February. And we commissioned them in March 2021. 
17 months later. It is time for us to unveil the Tigris Master Carving. Oh, wow. It is a two inch solid type A jadeite medallion. We talk about pieces of art. It doesn't get more artistic than this one. Are you ready? Really, this captures the year, the moment that we're in right now. It is an absolute work of art. Take a look at your portrait. It is one of the most limited. Look at the, my wow. goodness me. Can you see the waxy luster? It yeah. looks wet. It yeah. is it's completely dry. This is talking to the quality of the polish that only Suze you can deliver. You are seeing this is a step up from anything we have brought wow. before. Now, what I'm going to ask for is just a 30 second clock. I want to just, before the phone lines start dialing, before the race commences for this, let's just talk through the detail you've got here. On the far right of the sculpture, you can see the tigress in all her glory. And, and Elle's got her phone there to show you the translucency. Let's exhibit that, Elle. You can put this, it's, it, this is some of the most glass-like material we've ever been able to share with you. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. It looks like a moon, and at the same time a moon with the most extraordinary tigress exploding off. Your time to appreciate is over. Your time to act is now. I need to let you know we have hardly any of these sculptures. In the end, oh, I said to the team, look, if it's too challenging, stop, send us what you have what already. You have. Yeah. Because otherwise yeah. we're gonna end up, we'd be all out of the year of the tiger. Yeah. That's why I was just said to the team, look, I know I wanted that many. You're gonna have to send me about half of them because I just don't, I don't have time. No. We don't wanna launch this next year. It needs to happen this year. It is the most extraordinary two inch coming. You can see, can you see this? You can literally see the fur of the tiger. The, the me muscle definition, the yes. prowess, the ferocity. I can't even draw a tiger, let alone carve it into one of the world's hardest materials. It is extraordinary. You're looking at 150 carats on this master carving. Amazing. Two inches as we celebrate the year of the tiger. You have a proud tigress there stalking. You see a tree is on the left. This is very wow. much talking to that. The first few, a couple of these have already been spoken for. Sonia, huge congratulations. London, Staffordshire, Lucy, Oxfordshire is just about to try and join this one as well. Now, what I'm going to say, Al, for something like this, it's very difficult to try and place a value on this. Yeah. Even with, even with Roland Schlüssel, my conversations with Roland Schlüssel, even with the increasing literature that is coming out to help appraisers appraise something like this, the reality is that there are very few pieces like this in the world. Like a sculpture like this in the Western world, mm. very few. With that Shuzu province. You, you've got Suzu provenance on this, you're absolutely right. Coming from that master carving, it's got exactly that wax-like luster that you are, you know, it, it looks like it's been dipped. It's not, this is just, a, it's talking to that high quality diamond wow. polishing we have on this. Now, in terms of getting this appraised, I wouldn't be surprised. And, and in fact, I'm so confident on these. Guys, if, send me, when you do get this appraised, make sure you go to someone who has been learning from people like Roland Schleusel, Dr. Yeah. Lula. When you get this appraised, sh please share your valuation with me. Absolutely. I want to hear it. And so much so that the moment I share it on TV, I will pay you the different, what your valuation costs. Essentially, you're getting your Jade portfolio valued for free. First crash on this one, please. 1,450 pounds. Which is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I, I say this quite often when I'm talking about, uh, about jade. I've never seen anything like this before, so just so we don't get misinterpret what I'm about to say. But um, when I worked in the jewellers some 20-odd years ago, Jake, there was one single jade carving, nowhere near the quality in terms of translucency. Yeah. And I'll be honest, it was a bit of an eyesore. Really small, two and a half thousand pounds. I'm going back 20-odd years ago. What's changed since then? Demand has increased. Absolutely. You know when demand increases, that always drives 
price. That's why yeah. I've got no problem saying, look, go and get this value. I want to hear your valuations right now. We've opened Split Pay to make this kind of Suju Master Carving a possibility yeah. for you today. But I do want to reassure everyone. I want to reassure Irene, Pamela, Richard, Dorothy, Lee, it, it, from East Sussex to West Lothian, Hertfordshire. I want to reassure everyone we are nowhere near finished here. That's incredible that we can say that. Nowhere near. And we're at... I think if you were to go to Suju itself yeah. to get certified type A jadeite of this quality, knowing, like capturing, that it's like a full moon medallion, but you have the tigress there. It's a piece of art with layers to it. Yeah. This is the thing, like with, uh, you know, and I'm seeing it with the Suju, it, it is those layers. It's, the, it's that light and shade. <coughs> Next crash, we're going to take over a £1,000 off. Three, nine, nine, please. We're going to make those split pays wow. £100 wow. only. Um, my goodness, me! and you are one of very few people that would be the custodian yeah. of something like this. Uh, and custodian is exactly the word. Yeah. I don't think you ever own something like no. this. You never own it. You're just looking after it. You're merely a custodian for the next generation. Quality like this. If you're buying multiples of these, you're, you're going to be buying... I, I think it's very viable to buy two of these, mm -hmm. craft a piece of jewellery, yep. sell that on, sell that on, and essentially you, you, you're about to sell it for more than double the price that you paid for it. Absolutely. You will have your own master carving essentially yep. for free, paid for by the piece that you have now gone and sold on. But we're still not finished here. We're still not finished here. I want you to ask yourself, for Suju provenance, wow. from the very families that carved for the Ming and the King, how do you place a value on this? For a carving where you can see the silken fibers of this tiger as she stalks a moonlit forest, the detail, the craftsmanship, it can only be Suzu. For the scale, a two inch moonlit medallion. Where should something like this be? Significantly more than what's on our screens. <laughs> Ross. Next crash, please. 99.99. Pardon? 99.99. Everyone who's already confirmed. Even Director an investor, Rathen, who is a man of few words, had a reaction to that. An day. investor in Staffordshire is there. Sonia, Pamela, Irene, Dorothy, an investor in Hatton Garden. We've got Bev, we've got Staffordshire, East Sussex, Richard, Lee, Lucy. Staffordshire, the investors just doubled their order right now. They can't believe it. This should, know. you know, this should be £200 all day long here at oh Jewelry Maker. Gosh, yeah. I've been very honest with you. I've said, look, I don't think I'm going to be bringing you more jade. This is from my Suju stores, okay? This is carved by those master craftsmen. It's really the last piece I have. Sonia in London in very early has just doubled her order. This is what people are doing. You go, hang on a second, Jake, you're absolutely right. Of course. Of course. It's one of the easiest things to do. On Etsy, you make a piece like this, craft it. Maybe you're going to put on a wonderful strand. It's got the drill hole at the top. Yeah. It's the easiest piece to make jewellery with. It's got the drill hole. There, look, I need to let you know there's about a four minute wait on the phone lines. Okay. There's a four minute yeah. wait on those four phone lines. I can't really do anything about that. It, it just is what it is. We are racing to a sellout. Marie has, dub has doubled her order. Alison in Bristol has tripled her order because you've never seen value for money like this on a type A jadeite master carving. We are talking about 150 carats of the gem of the year right now. This is incredible. We are racing to a sellout. Of course we are. We told you we didn't have many of these um, it, 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 and it was always going to be this way. It was Absolutely. always going to be this uh, way. And when we're talking about jade, uh, jade like Jake, it, you know, it's, it's what? Translucency, texture, 
uh, colour, but also artistry, right? Uh, it's the art. How do you yeah. how do you place a value exactly. on art? Exactly. How on exactly. earth do you place a value on art? Let me come and show you those who are placing a value on art. And I'm going to say, dare I say, almost undervaluing art. Huge well done to <laughs> Patricia, to Maker and Meath, to Jennifer, another anonymous maker. M London, you've got Gary, Richard. If you want to join these people, you have to be so quick right now. Patricia's done it. Marie's done it. You've got Gloucestershire. Suja's done it. East Sussex. And it just keeps on yeah. going down below the fold. Good luck getting involved in this. We are racing to a sellout. Yeah, um, wow, what a piece of art that you can get home for an absolutely crazy £24.99. pence. Madness, isn't it? £24.99. Uh, so this is even broken down into bite size, even more, even more manageable bite size chunks over, what, four monthly payments. What a work of art. Yeah. And to have the, 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 the Suju legacy behind it as well. You, having that provenance, and you can see the provenance, because this works in two different ways. You can see that when you show off the translucency of this material, yeah. it looks like a moon. It look, you've got yeah. this incredible, and we know the significance of the lunar calendar in Chinese culture. You've got this moonlight, and, and, but the moon looks ever so different because you've got the tigress there in, 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 in essentially in cameo. Uh, and you've got the tigress there reaching yes, over, yes. and you've got the forest in the left-hand side, the tree, the cliff edge. It is a living landscape that has been immortalized on, on, on what you could argue is a tablet yeah. of type A uh, yeah. jadeite. Now, normally, these kind of carvings, Suju typically work in nephrite jade okay. because the boulders are bigger, right. the stones are bigger. So you can create those landscape art forms in, in, in nephrite. This isn't. This is certified type A jadeite. And you are significantly, it almost feels wrong for me to say this. You've got 150 carats. We are well under mm. a pound a carat. It, 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 the mind boggles. Look, we're down to our final seven chances. So many people consider that a lucky number. The question is, if you are, it, it is only a lucky number if you are one of those yes, seven. Sorry, true. six now. Under we, these master carvings, I don't think we've ever taken under a hundred pounds for. The suju provenance is extraordinary. Here's the challenge I've got. We've got five chances available on screen right now. And our contact centre, they are taking it out of unchecked out baskets. So Suzanne, Cumbria, Angela, Susan in Essex, Janice, Maker in East Sussex. You know, I'm, uh, it's absolutely fine. In I can see some of you trying to check out too. You have to be so quick. A phone bidder right now dialing in, it's getting taken out of that unchecked out basket. And that's just how it works. I want to be completely transparent with you because mm -hmm. we've got nothing else like this. There is nothing else like this here. There's nothing else like this in Suju. You know, I had to rush. I had to say to him, look, don't carve all of the ones that I wanted. Send me what you have. I want to say well done to every single person who's been successful there. Amazing. It really is incredible. The depth, the layers, the translucency. Like I said, to sketch something like this is, is incredible, but to actually achieve it in one of the, the hardest materials and certainly one of the most valuable, amazing. Well done. I think we've got There's one. There's one final opportunity. Good wow. luck Let me pass this acquiring. That's one between 34. Thank you so much. I will take that back off you because it is just... Yes. Please. Priceless, <laughs> in my view. You see the detail. You see the teeth. I know. I can't wait for you to get that, this one home. Um, Okay, Ross, the next piece I'd like to bring to you, the next lot, it's lot number three, Ross. Oh, sorry, lot number eight, forgive me, lot number eight. You've never seen anything like this. You have never seen anything like this. <gasps> you know when we show you the traditional round pie, the, the, the pie discs? Elle's just had a, <gasps> literally a third of a second glimpse. Oh We're not going to show it goodness. you yet. The, you can hear Elle's reactions here. Okay. We talk about you're paying for what you're not getting in a traditional pie, pie form disc. It's just, I can. I can't even get my head around how that's achieved. The architecture of jadeite carving you have here. It is the most complex carving we've ever undertaken. Oh my goodness. There you go. Can I, yeah, I, I, I hear, hear. Yeah. 
I've never seen anything like that. No. This is, this is the pinnacle of Suju art in Jadeite. What I'm going to do, I, I'm going to ask for a 60 second clock to be poised ready because you need more than 30 seconds to appreciate this. Do not dial until that 60 second clock finishes. Do not try and put it in your basket. You've been bidding for the previous piece. Just use this 60 seconds with no stress, no pressure. Let's just appreciate art. A single hololith sculpture inspired by the samsara beliefs of the arts and craftsmen. I will talk you through those. The quality you have here, it's another level. It, it, it really is. Hollowed out. This is as close to ice jade as we have ever witnessed to date. I'm, I'm, I'm actually speechless, Jake. I've never seen anything like that before. And I've n it's time to appreciate it is over. Your time to act. It is now. It is right now for you. We are talking. We are talking an extraordinary wow. size on this. 45 carats or some of those premium jade, but I've got to be honest with you. You're not, it's not about the carat weight because a lot of what you're getting right now is you're paying for what you don't yeah. see. Yeah. You're paying for those lost pieces of carat weight all the way through. Look how symmetrical this carving is. It, we've never seen an art form like it. No. Each one of those arches are completely Hollow. Um, Grace has just messaged in. I can't. I actually caught my breath. I with know. This yeah. Piece. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Isn't That's it? Grace messaging in right now. We've got. Look, you're all absolutely loving this. So many. Caroline's messaging. Hi guys. This piece has completed my childhood collection. Thank you. Oh. We're talking wow. about portfolio. We're talking about. So the reaction is huge. Stunning. Uh, uh, Suzanne, in Hertfordshire, Suzanne in Hertfordshire has typed in stunning, quite a short message because she's also just achieved yeah, it as well. well. I don't and Suzanne, it. I absolutely, I think you're doing the right thing. Suzanne there has gone, hang on a second. Look, I, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out. No, I'm, I'm going to quickly write stunning. I'm going to secure this right now. Look, we haven't got many of these, okay? We haven't got many of these pieces. But those of us who have got this in your collection, I mean, it's, it's unlike anything we've ever witnessed before. Now, I've got a couple of design ideas I want to talk you through with this one, okay? There's two, there's two, really, there's two ways of doing this. There's two ways of doing this. You could go what I've called really simple, really easy to make, no challenge whatsoever. Every, even I can do this, okay? And I, I, uh. I, I've already told you before, I'm not a talented jewellery maker. I've got ideas, but I just lack the techniques to be able to do them. But even I can do this one. It's very simple. Piece of black jade, one of our small donuts yeah. that we brought you before. A little great green jade bead there. And then it's all about the centerpiece. And because the whole thing's hollow and solid, you can hang it off any one yeah. of those. Yeah. So it's, so it, it, it's incredibly versatile. Do a single, do a double, however you want to do it. Another way I do this, by the way, a little bit more complex, would to treat this like a Taurus ring, like Glenn oh Lehrer's Taurus gosh, ring. Oh gosh, yeah, drop a stone in the center. Drop a stone oh. in the center. A any gem you wanted to. Oh. It, it's just, it's just incredible. The opportunities you get with this. Now, now what is, by the way, I need to let you know, 50% of the stock is already yeah, gone. I'm We're calling this a type A jade, white jadeite Samsara Master Carving. What is Samsara? Thank you so much, Kath, for your kind words. Phenomenal. Um, and we have actually just had another message come through as well. I've never seen anything like this before. Wonderful. I'm going to apologise to those of you who... You, we, we're reading your messages. There's just... <laughs> there's been over 50 messages in the last two minutes. I'm not and, surprised. Uh, we'll talk about the you? messages. Let me show you who's already involved in this one as well. Yeah. Because, because so many of you are going, no, actually, 
we haven't seen anything like it. Okay, I'm going to talk to two parts of the board. Let me talk to the people who have done it first. Let's stay positive. I've got Heather, Caroline, uh, Kipiatu, beautiful name, Cheryl, Ann, Margaret, Linda, Erica. Sonia's picked up two of these. Excellent work. Richard, Meath, Dorothy, Gloucestershire, Nottinghamshire, me, uh, Suzanne, and it just keeps going down. Well, if you saw your name on that side of the board, huge congratulations. Now, I want to talk to you about this line. Okay, this line is the line of fate. And if you can see your name right now, you are on the wrong side of the line of fate, okay? This is people who are waiting to try and get hold of this. It's in unchecked out baskets. Patricia, don't you worry. You're talking to the contact centre right now. The contact centre will take it out of an unchecked out basket for you, Patricia. So don't you panic. Uh, in fact, Patricia is over here. Look, Patricia from Lincolnshire. You if you it. can, follow, follow over with done. me, Stephen. Follow my finger. Follow my finger. Here we go. All the way over to Patricia, who's just crossed to the right-hand side of the line of fate. Let's jump back over here. And everyone's paying the final low price member. That's why everyone's getting involved early doors. Okay, what is samsara? Samsara, is, it, it, it's linked to the, to the Buddhist faith that is the prevailing faith and, and belief system of these Suju carvers. Samsara is the idea of constant renewal, constant rebirth, resurrection. And, and that's why you've got almost these infinity arches and they just keep going around. You can almost trace your way around it. And in fact, actually, could I, could I have the, um, the, the, the wonderful shot where we show off the translucency just here? Because I want to show you those arches. Just They constantly ribbon around, almost like an athlete, uh, you know, the, the gymnastics uh, ribbons. And they do. Look, the arch comes over here. It crosses over the centre. It loops back in. It crosses over. And it is, it's just... Infinity after infinity after infinity carved from a single piece of extraordinary grade jade. I might have a Ross, favorite. This has got to be up there with my favorites. Mm. Ross, first crash. 1,450 again, please. That's unbelievable. Three dimensional. Yeah, three dimensional art. And that is one of the key hallmarks, by the way of the difference between jewellery and fine jewellery. Fine jewellery pushes beyond and it creates that three dimension. Look at the depth of this carving. Look at the depth of the carving. You talk about, see how it and, and, and it is, it's, it's actually on both sides. There you go. So it's a 3D piece. Yeah. I've so if you wanted to, I, I, know, um, I know some designers have created almost a pin that would, yeah, you'd thread, thread a little bit of wire that goes through there and you could rotate this. Yeah. You could turn it into a rotating spinner. Or you could spin it like in the clockwork direction or anti-clockwork direction. There's so, there's so many different options with this. Ross, we're about to sell out on this. We've only, we've only just shown a price. N Next price, please, Ross. I'm actually going to match the 99.99. What? Oh, there's, I'm just might seeing my chance of getting Nick fly out the window. Oh, my goodness, Jake. 99.99. This is... Some of the specialties of Shuju brought to Jewelry Maker for the first ever time. But we are not asking Suju prices right now. This is Jewelry Maker. This is what Jewelry Maker does. We travel the world. We cut out those middlemen. I went and secured this rough for you over three. Sorry, it'll be three years in a couple of months time. In October 2019, I was there. Nearly three years on to be able to get the network to carve these kind of skills, and you're loving it. This is what, we've just had Liz in Surrey messaging. That piece of jade must be one of the most beautiful jade carvings that I have ever seen. Mm. Absolutely magnificent. That's coming from Liz. Let's see if we can spot Liz. My only challenge with spotting Liz is there are just so many names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a look at yeah. this. We've got two full columns now, um, and, and it just keeps on going beyond. But let's see if we can spot Liz. I've got a lot of multi buyers. Staffordshire's taken two, Gloucestershire's taken two, Essex two, Sonia's two. A lot of people, once they saw that price come in, yeah. go, hang on, Straight no, no. I, I thought this would be a lot more expensive. Yeah, totally. Than it is. Of course you do. Because look at the quality of the yeah. carving. This isn't, let's be really clear, this is not a 99.99 carving. Absolutely not. But like, like, like before we even we even we even suggested price or spoke about graphics or any of those kind of things, the reaction that we all had was wow. Wow. I and I read an article not so long ago about, you know, that's that's it really. It's the wow factor in JD. The, the the treasures that are in this okay, sorry. Sold out. Amazing. Let me show you everyone who's missed out. N not, not to be mean, I want to be really clear. I'm not, I'm not trying to be unfair here. From wish list. Use the wish list service. It's a no obligation, no fee service. 
I just, I want to reassure everyone because this breaks my heart. Seeing this many people miss out on the jade of their dreams, no one takes pleasure in this. Please get involved early. 150 people missed out on that last piece. Uh, I am going to have to insist I take that back from you. Uh, yeah. Wrap it in cotton wool because idea. it's going straight to you at home if you are fortunate. Okay. <laughs> Ready for my next treasure? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. I think you're really going to love this one. This is a form we've brought you before. Oh. But we've never seen it this big. We've never seen it in exactly this carving. And we have never seen the level of detail. But it is one of the most universally loved forms of its type. Those of you who are familiar with the iconography, the symbolism, you'll know this as the Maitreya Buddha. And here oh, they are. Oh, wow. The weight on yeah, this piece. It is the largest, it's the largest sculpture of our show. Are you ready in there with our 60 seconds so we can appreciate the detail with no pressures? I mean, you need two hands to carry this. Yeah, one. you do. He's, yeah, it's heavy. Have a look at this. The Maitreya oh. Buddha, the laughing Buddha in all his glory. He's got the jade strand that is traditionally pictured with the Buddha. We've never been able to get this level of detail. No. We've never been able to get this detail before. The sleeve, the fingers, the toes, now, everything. I've got to warn everyone at home, this is the single most limited one of the show. Okay. Because the carrot weight involved. Yeah. You're nearly double the carrot weight of the largest carrot weight of our show here. Yeah. The level of detail. Yeah. Look at how deep the carving actually yeah. drops down. The depth on this, it, and that's, what, that's really where the value is on this piece, because the depth you have here is extraordinary. This is the most celebrated form of our jade carvings historically. We've never been able to do one of these master carvings. What do I mean by a master carving? I'm talking about our one and a half inch plus medallions. That's really what makes those master mm. carving pieces. Your time to act is over. Your time to appreciate is right now. Look at the folds of the robe. Look at the smile, the eyes, everything about this. <gasps> You're loving this one. The Look at the carrot weight. Look at the detail you have here in this. The Maitreya Buddha, but in the larger scale. This is the level of art we've got here on this one. To have that level of translucency, Jake, with something that is that deep. You have to start with extraordinary material. Yeah. Because normally, you know, when you have jade this with this depth, 10, 15% have already been spoken for between Bev, between Meath, Staffordshire, Sonia, so many more. 35 seconds, these are already flying out. The quality you have here. Now listen, what I'm going to, we, we, by the way, less than 40 of these ever carved. Uh, well, and, and the reason is simple. The reason is simple. When we're carving this, this is one of the first, when we're setting out the rough and, and laying all that, this one really took precedent over the top grade rough because you need extraordinary rough to be able to get any kind of translucency at this size yes. of carving. It's, it, it's pretty much double the carrot weight of anything else in this show. Look at him. I, I like, again, that just the level of detail. If you double the carrot weight, you could expect double the value. Yes. And I know Kath, Sonia, Bev, Janice, Staffordshire, Meath, Irene, Marie, Suzanne, Susan, so many of you are taking leaps of faith right now. So I want to I I allay some fears. Ross, first crash today, 999. Straight into I want to reassure everyone this morning that the Shu Zhu standard is not being asked for Suju pricing on this. Now, I've brought you a Maitreya before. I brought you a Maitreya before. I brought it to you when it looked like this. Yes, I remember. Do you remember the Maitreya Buddha? I do, yes. It's from Roland, from Roland Schlüssel. Maitreya Buddha there. 
And this one from Roland, from Mr. Jade himself, was over a thousand dollars. Okay. So today's exchange rate, you can get his for about a thousand pounds. Okay. So you got a thousand pounds here for one that is twenty-eight by twenty-two millimeters. Just ask yourself the question: Do you want the the, the matraya that is in the centre of this carving, beautiful as it is, or do you want this one? This one. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the difference of Suju and everywhere else. Have a look one more time. I would say this has been this, this has most likely been sculpted in Guangzhou for me. Okay. There's the Guangzhou standard. Here's yours. They're leagues apart. Yeah. Anyone ever wanted to understand what was the difference? Why, why does the carving provenance matter? Have a look at theirs. For a thousand pounds, and now have a look at yours. Artistry. This is the Shuju standard. Ross. Our largest carrot weight of the whole show. The most exclusive of our entire trunk. Ross. 200 pounds, please. Wow. It's almost, it's, I mean, it's 290 carats. Yeah. And like you said, to get. We could that stop at 290, but I'm not. To, pardon? We could stop at 290. 290 carats, but not. We're going straight there, 199 for you. Wow. 50 pounds on split pay. Wow. I mean, it, it, again, it's that translucency. Yeah. To get that translucency with a stone that's this deep, this heavy, effectively. The weight. It, yeah, and, and you do notice that weight, don't you? Uh, and by the way, way, this does have, if you, if you rock this forward for me, Al. Sure. You do have a drill hole. Yeah. You can't see it really from the front. From face no. up view, it's it hidden. Is. It's hidden behind the carving. But for ease of jewellery making, that's what we're here to do. We well, put that drill hole. It doesn't disturb the carving, does it? Doesn't it? So disturb really, the carving. Really, uh, what? A really cleverly so um, positioned. Oh my goodness me! And again, he doesn't. He just put a smile on your face. Now we're not finished there. I. Okay. Let's be clear. You have here. 290 carats of type A Burmese jadeite. It's double the size of Roland's jadeite, which is yeah. an inferior carving. Call me out. If you disagree, message live on the show. Ross, I want to hear it if they do. But there is no way that this is, in my view, this is as skilled and intricate a carving as the one you have on screen. This is a thousand pounds in the trade wholesale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. By the time it got put into finished jewelry, by Lika Bahar, they were offering this for $4,000 plus. Yeah. So you tell me, for £200, this is a steal. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Ross, half the price. Oh, my goodness. Half the price this morning. He went very quiet with that. All of a sudden, all of a sudden. Oh, my goodness. Again, it's... Prov provenance that you're getting here. It is that artistry behind, and you can see it visually, obviously, but knowing that it has the Suju provenance. I mean, how exciting is that? Every single detail. I don't think anyone was expecting no, that. I we are priced per carat around 50% of the already crazy things we've done. Staffordshire, Staffordshire was elated at 200 pounds. We've just gone to 100, so they, do you know what Staffordshire's gone? Okay, I'll have, I'll have two then. Have and two. that's absolutely fine there. So is Marie in South Yorkshire. These are now racing to a sellout. The maths is really, really simple for you, isn't it? Venetia in Lancashire, Maker in Cumbria, so many joining in this. You look at what's happening in the trade. You see from Mr. Jade himself, a Matraya Buddha of inferior quality sculpting at a thousand pounds wholesale. It's clearly selling at a thousand pounds wholesale because Lika Bahar has added a rim of gold on it and asked for $4,000 yeah. retail on this. Exactly. So if those are the values that you're getting for a piece half the size, you tell me, what is the actual what is the true value of a jadeite like this? This is the provenance, the quality of the art 
This is incredible. And this is the reason why you now have a full column of names from Sonia to Janice and everyone else in between. You don't have to worry. That seven left, that doesn't talk to you. You've already got yours and I'm over the moon for you. If you do want to join Susan, Brian, Alison, Linda, there's a reason so many people are jumping on this. They know the opportunity that is on offer right now. The, if you do want to join these, the, these collectors yeah. of the highest quality we have, you've got to be doing it quickly. You have to be doing this very quickly indeed. Uh, and, and again, you know, when we start... We, when we start thinking about uh, um, sort of uh, these acquisitions, which like custodians was the word that we, uh, that we used a few moments ago, you know, I buy, I, I will grab each and every single one of these opportunities as much as I can physically afford, because I know that my children, when they get older, they're not going to get this chance. Absolutely today. not. We talked about that at the beginning of the show. Yeah. We talked about how there's a unique opportunity in the Western world right now. Yeah. We talked about how the Chinese government are aggressively manoeuvring they are aggressively maneuvering to prevent this material leaving the Chinese market. Yep. I'm going to leave those last two opportunities there. So one, one, Anne in Hampshire just picked up that penultimate one. Good luck. Good luck on this one. Can I have that one back? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. What to do next? So many treasures in here. Oh, um, so I want to come over and have a little sneaky peek. But I, 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 I've still got for you, by the way, the new grade of jade. Ooh. I'm going to say somewhere between half 11 and 20 to 12 we'll be bringing that. Okay. I'm intrigued. I, and just so people don't, so everyone at home knows, I'm, I'm, this you is don't all, know. I don't know, do I? Nope. I haven't seen Jake in a while, so this is really exciting for me too. But taking us there, there are two design motifs that are really prevalent in, in high, high, high grade sculptures. Mm -hmm. And they both, they both actually uh, surround by the idea of the hand. The, yes. the hand that gives, the hand that takes. Uh, the hands are so powerful. So the first one of those I want to bring you is a sculpture I've never, ever, ever given before. This is the 1,000-handed Maitreya. Uh, 1,000-handed -hand Guanyin, apologies. The 1,000-hand Guanyin. It's a motif I think we'll all be familiar with. Yes, well, Guanyin, but not the 1,000-hand one. But not the 1,000-hand. We've done a yeah. Guanyin before. She was incredibly popular. This is a 1,000-hand Guanyin for the first time I've ever been able to share this with you. Again, I'm going to ask for 30 seconds, if I can, on this one for us to appreciate this piece. Look at the detail yeah. you've got here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah can see the thousand arms here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've had Guan Yin, but not the thousand arms. Never the thousand arms. And I guess much more skillful. It, it just, it's so much detail to try and fit into the portrait. It comes with a drill hole at the top. You've got a big size on this one, 50 millimeters at the top. Your length is 50 millimeters. Your time to appreciate is over. Your time to act is right now. You've seen how quick these sellouts are happening today. You've seen how this is a very, very special show. One of the first things I want to point out is can you see how the surface of this material, because the high polish, the diamond lead yeah. polishing that the Suzhou craftsmen use, see how the surface, it looks wet. Yeah, totally. It looks wet. Like I'm going to ask, sorry, melting. can someone go and get me a tissue? Seriously, I, I need to show you this because at home you're probably looking at this going, yeah, but it must be wet. It must, you probably, is that why it's all being stored in the trunk, Jake? So it's all been stored in the trunk because it's full of water to give it that really waxy lustre. Absolutely not. Nope. Have a look at it. You look, you look at it, you go, no, no, I can see the liquid, Jake. I can see it. Here's one of the most absorbive, absorbing, absorbing materials known to man. Blue roll. Blue roll. We all know it. We all love it. It's wonderfully absorbent. Just run it over for me, Al. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing, because it isn't, it's nothing to do with liquid. It looks like it is. Yeah, it's it looks like wet ice polish. Nothing. It's not. 
This is just the high diamond grade. This oh. is it's talking to the quality of material Amazing. you have here. Oh my goodness. Let me, me. show you your 1000 hand Guan Yin. Look at the detail. That's unbelievable. That you can see coming through. Look at where she sat. You know, I, I mean, I don't know whether it's like a plinth, some form of, some form of plinth. Look at that detail. This is Suju art at its absolute finest. And that's why Bev's there. That's why Staffordshire's there. Jane's getting involved as well. Wow. Wow, she's absolutely beautiful, isn't she? First crash, please, Ross. Let's go 1,250. That much. Yeah, okay. Again, I've got absolutely no qualms with saying this. This, if you go and get your piece appraised, yeah, I wouldn't be hugely shocked. I'd be over the moon for you. I'd be very, very happy, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's around this area, because a much smaller piece of jade was wholesaling. Yeah. For around this value. So yeah, that's the thing. That's wholesale. That's wholesale. So I would not be surprised at all if your appraisals are coming in around this area. Wow. That's the, this is what's crazy about this opportunity right now. This is why these kind of shows, we don't do them often. I've, I've said... Or, I've said already that I think that I, I, I think that this is probably going to be my final Jade show because we haven't got much rough left and I can't get new rough. And this is the Suju masterclass. This is, you know, this is yeah. the Suju edit. And, the, and then everything else that you explained earlier on about how the Chinese are literally... The Chinese government have just, um, they've actually just legislated calling art, Jade art from Suju an intrinsic national treasure wow they're trying to keep it internal they're trying to keep this uh, restore really the monopoly that the chinese once enjoyed over this gem ross next crash please 99 99 let's go straight down on this one i've got so many wow. treasures my, my the thing i'm most worried about is running out of time for you on this yeah this this is this sculpture. It's all about compassion. It's all about mercy. It's all about compassion. And if we, we all could do with more compassion in their lives, that's what this gem. The, the reason they carve this onto jade is because they believe it will attract compassion into your life. Whether you're doing it because you want to attract compassion, whether you want the jewelry you create to be compassionate jewelry, whether you actually just are, are doing it from from a portfolio perspective and going look. It's a hundred carats of type A jadeite carved from Suju at a hundred pounds. Yeah, it's imagine. an absolutely no brainer. It's twenty four ninety nine on split pay. Yeah. I don't know how the team have been able to get that for you because that's nothing to do with me. No. Twenty four ninety nine on split pay is just. I mean, Jake, if 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 if, if I went to uh, I don't know, say the stand where you saw uh, the carving earlier, pillar and stone, pillar and stone, and said, okay, oh, I love that. I love the thousand hand carving. Yeah. Um, uh, and not to, not necessarily comparing prices now, but just just use that. Yeah, price. yeah. One thousand. Can I pay for it, please, on split pay? No, oh, absolutely not. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> the, trade, the trade don't offer split pay. It's just, no, it's, it's not a thing. Look, when I saw Roland. I, this was the most intricate carving they had at the booth. Yeah. It's a beautiful carving. I don't want to knock the carving. I've brought you Matraya Buddha's very similar. So please don't think I'm disrespecting it. I'm not at all. Mm -hmm. But it's not anywhere near on the scale of the intricacy that we have here. And that's from Mr. James. Exactly. Himself. Even down to, I mean, uh, even down to the tools that she's wearing, the folding of the knees. Each you know, hand, hand, you'll notice placement. each hand is holding something different. Yes. So for, if you take the hand at the three o'clock position, it's holding what looks to be a bow and arrow. Yeah. You take the hand, uh, you know, the hand that's at the four o'clock position, it's holding, it looks to be almost like a clock or something like that. You take the hand at the nine o'clock, it's holding the bow that goes with the arrow at three o'clock. The hand at two o'clock looks like it's holding a paintbrush or something. Every hand has a huge amount of importance. 
Yeah, Ross, I can see a spoon. This isn't going quickly enough for me. Ross, we're going to go to our lowest price of the show. Oh my word, even... I know, I know. Well, yeah, we have been at double figures on all of them, which is pretty amazing. Can you, can, can you remind me the cost of this one? We really are close. Okay. Um, Ross? Ross? Seventy nine ninety nine. Oh my goodness! Let's me. push our split pay under twenty wow. pounds. This shouldn't happen. This shouldn't happen. Four times split pay kicks in when prices are supposed to go over three hundred pounds. Is my understanding? Oh my goodness me! I, I, I'm actually speechless that they're anywhere near a double figure price point for that level of detail. Again, just imagine sketching something like this. The symbolism, the meaning, it's yeah. that, that, that represented, of course, sort of, sort of well, being uh, moral and, and having integrity. Uh, and again, it is a medallion size yes. master carving here. Yes. You've got over two, well, two inches on the nose <laughs> on the drop of this. It's scale. You need a big canvas to do this with. And that means you need to have ultra high quality jadeite, not yep. just for a portion of the carving, yep. throughout the entirety of the carving. And this is old jade. That old mine jade. This Another is old reason mine why we won't be able to get a jader. Everything is working against us for the jader and none of those factors look to be changing anytime no. soon. That's why, yes, we've had these, we, we, we've been blessed really yeah. with so many sculptures. We've taken advantage here at Jewelry Maker. The question is, are you going to be taking advantage at home right now like Maker in London is doing, like Margaret in West Yorkshire is doing, Dahlia in Newport. You saw how many people missed out last time. Don't be one of those. Heather, Patricia, Kay, Linda's bought three. Absolutely loving your style, Linda. Anne, Irene, Brian, Meath, Justin, Alison. Meath, I'm, Meath's really building a collection today. Absolutely the right way to shop, Meath. Well done. Staffordshire's bought two. Jane, Bev in South Yorkshire. It's still not going quickly enough for me. Ross, 69.99. Pardon? Um, split pay? I, I've well and truly crossed that Rubicon already. I'm in trouble. So <laughs> it, it, at this point, it just becomes about making sure that you at home, you at home know what you are potentially missing out on. Oh, my word. Never expect this again. I mean, this is, they won't let me do a Jade show after this. A hundred, no, no, sorry, 69. I was about to say 169. Sh That's should be, should be. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think you're missing a digit there. Goodness me. So wearable as well. If you, if you are purchasing uh, your, your pieces of jade to wear, I mean, Susie, one of our designers, of course, you know, she's, she's been brought up around this beautiful gemstone. Yeah. Brought up around. When you know... When you know, yeah. you know this gem and, and yeah. you, you jump for it every single time. Absolutely. Um, but we have never before, ever, ever, ever done, um, not just the Lady of Mercy, but the Thousand Hands. Yeah. That intricacy is just literally mind-blowing. And, and, and I guess that's the provenance that we keep right. talking about. Al, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Stop everything. Guys, stop everything because I... Has a major news story just broke or something? What's happening? What's, we got a hundred carats of Suzu carved, master carving in one of the most desired motifs globally. Yeah. We're at 69.99. The opportunity right now beggars belief. Yeah. Ross, I want 60 seconds just to gather my thoughts, please. I am going to go again. I am going to go again. 
But I do just need a bit of time to think about what, what's happening here because I'm looking at this. It's a beautiful carving. It it's got exactly that, that, that you know, that, that finest water finish that you yeah. only get from Suju diamond polishing. The quality is it's, it's another level. Yeah. Really We've is. never brought you anything like this before. Look at the translucency of the jadeite. And you can see how that relief, that carving in three dimensions, unlocks the beauty when you get this in light. Doesn't it? And you don't need a torch to do that. You, you know, if you literally hold this up to natural sunlight, say a window in your yeah. home, you'll see that magic. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my word. The folds, if you like, of her dress. Ross. Fifty-nine ninety-nine. Oh. <laughs> We've broken Jake. It's split pay under fifteen pounds. I know. Pop to the shop. It's split pay under fifteen pounds. You can get Susan. the one thousand hand Guan Yin at home in your hands mm. to ex. To witness for the first time Suju Master Carving yeah. for $14.99 as your first payment. Yeah. That's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. But, you can get this home, have sold the piece. Yeah. And then pay off the remainder and made significant profit in that time. Oh my goodness me. Fourteen pounds and nine. I really regret pounds. doing that, Ross. Sixty seconds, and I'm taking that deal away. That was that was that, that was silly of me. That really was. That was bad. That was bad. Let's, oh, yeah. let's get that off. Think about the worry about the consequences later. It's all good. I'm worried about them right now. <laughs> I'm worried about them right now. I, it's all good. I don't know why I did that. I should. I, we should have just. Yeah. We should have just left that up at ninety nine ninety nine. It's the right. It's the right price for carving like this. It, it totally. It's a hundred carats. It's more than the right price, because something like this, you just well, you over in Tucson wholesale, one thousand two hundred pounds, and there's not the level of intricacy that I'm seeing here. I I don't know why I did. I'll be. Honest, I really don't know why I did that. That was. This was. This we've had sellout after sellout after sellout, and that was. That was me just wanting to keep that run going, but it, it was the wrong thing to do. That was, we won't do that again. That's all right. 59.99. I mean, our lovely viewers are making the most of it now. There was a hundred of these, and they, and, and, and what, what did you say in terms of stock levels? 30 remain. People Let's multiply. take it off, take that deal off. The sec six seconds what, are done. That with like a, a knotted long line pearl rope. Hmm. Oh. I know, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give it back to you. Let's move, let's let's, move that let's one move on. on. Let's move that one um, on. I don't know if I want to play this next piece now. No, please do. No, I really don't know. Ross, can I have... Can, I have, um, can we just show everyone how to get involved? I just need a little, I just need a little bit of time because I don't <laughs> know if it's the right thing to do to play this next piece. It's a, it's a, completely, it's a completely new technique. Well, what we're about to share, if we share, I don't know if we will. That's, that's I, I, I don't know, I'm feeling in a funny place after that last auction. This technique is the most expensive technique when it hits auction houses. And that's why I just want a little bit of time just to think if we do bring it today. We'll be back in about 30 seconds time with something. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We are doing it. And I'm gonna try my hardest to put that last auction out of our mind, okay? And you, I want you to do the same. Last auction out of our minds. Right, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever shared this technique here at Jewelry Maker. 
It's never been done before. Never had a chance to talk to you about it. It's always been the thing for me that has blown me away when it comes to jade carvings. Always been the thing where I just, I struggle to compute it. I've seen them done and I still struggle to compute it because it, it's just, it's so beyond the, it's so beyond anything I'm familiar with from the, from the coloured gemstone world. Because in the coloured gemstone world, for instance, you think of, um, you can think of cameos yeah. and intaglio carvings. And a lot of the jade master carvings are, are, are really an evolution of that. And it's harder on jade because we're talking about one of the hardest minerals on the planet. But it's the same technique just applied on a harder canvas. When we talk about jade, we know it's been appreciated for thousands of years, mm. four to 5,000 years. And there's a really helpful article. Uh, it, was, it was done actually by the GIA in Gems and Gemology. Uh, and really it was done because Westerners are demanding jade in higher numbers than ever before. Yep. And so because of this, there's this great demand for knowledge. We don't just want to have jade. We want to understand jade. We want to, we want to really become experts in jade as much as we can do in the West. And so two, um, two, bilingual, two bilingual authors, um, uh, Min Ying Wang, and Guang Gai Shi um, wrote for the GIA in English a complete write-up on the evolution of Chinese jade carving. You know, so, so what were the great steps, the great hallmarks that defined that defined jade carving? Uh, and, 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 and incredibly grateful to Min Ying Wang and Guang Gai Shi for this, because really this is one of the great articles that allow us to understand and appreciate jade as they do. Spring 2020. As part of this article, they analysed the jade that goes to auctions. Not to auctions on Jewelry Maker, let's be clear. Not to auctions on our sister channel, Gems TV. I'm talking about the jade that goes to Bonhams. The jade that goes to Christie's. The jade that goes to Sotheby's. And they analysed years worth of auctions. They also analysed as part of this museum samples as well. Okay. Pieces that are in, reside in museums. And they said, of all of them, what techniques were applied? Because we can use those techniques to work out the date of the cut, the, those pieces or, or, uh, or, or the prestige of those pieces. So for instance, uh, of all of the jade that goes to museums and to auctions, 46.1% features a technique known as chaos. And chaos is this idea where we know jade has multiple colours. We know jade has multiple colours. So we're going to, rather than trying to cut all the greens and cut all the whites and cut all the purples, we're going to use those natural colour variations to enhance the sculpture. We're talking about high level pieces here. We're talking about Bonham, Sotheby's, British Museum. So, for example, you have a piece of jade boulder which has green in the centre and mm. red at the edge. That's quite typical because the red is where it oxidises. So what this carver might do is rather than cutting a red jade and a green jade, if they were applying Chow's technique, they would have the, gr the green be like a grassy verge and the red be a little mouse sat on the grassy verge. So same piece of jade yep. using the two, two colours. That is Charles technique. And that accounts for about 46.1%, nearly half of all the pieces that feature in, uh, in, in, in those, kind of, the, 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 those kind of museum pieces. You've got 24.6%, another quarter, feature a technique called piercing, where basically you do a little drill hole in, 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 in the piece. And we'll talk to that one a little bit later. Okay. 18% so nearly a quarter. So you've got about three quarters that are attributed yeah. to just those. One of the rarest, one of the rarest techniques that hits an auction house is chain carving. What is chain carving? Well, here's an example of it at Sotheby's for 95,000. Wow. Very, very blown up piece there. So it's quite small. But very, but you can see, see those loose rings? Yeah. They are, they are jade chains. Amazing. 
Here's another one. Wow. Very finely carved pair of imperial white jade interlocking rings. Now, the magic here for me is that unlike gold or silver, you can't create two rings by making a ring, making another open ring and closing the jump ring. Can't do that. We're talking about solid jade. So how do you do something like this? The only way you do it is you start with a single block of jade. You carve one ring. And then out of that same block of jade, you've still got the other half of it, you have to carve out an entirely separate, no touching ring. It accounts for just 3% of all the jade that hits an auction house or museum. Wow. This is the only time I've ever brought it here at Jewelry Maker. But let me share with you the chain carved hand. Have a look at this piece. 60 oh, seconds, please, please, Ross, on this one. It's absolutely unbelievable. 60 seconds to appreciate. Just imagine, this was a single block of jade. And that ring, by the way, Al, if we could, can we show how that moves into... Look, it's completely sure. separate. It is... It, they, they were a single piece of jade, and through the most detailed, through the most intricate carving technique I know of when it comes to jade, you've got a chain link hand, individually articulated, not with metal. And look at the detail of the hand you've got here, the fingers detail over the hand that gives. That's what we've got here, a carving of the hand that gives. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. that chain. But it, for me, it's the chain technique. Totally. It's the chain carved from a single piece of jade. And, and, and every single time we bring, we see these hit auctions, they hit tens, if not hundreds of yep. thousands of dollars. These jade rings, these jade rings, they were $216,000. Yeah, wow. I, I actually found this one halfway through a Sotheby's auction. $95,000. And that was a current. <laughs> and that was back in June. Okay. That was a current bid. It had another three days to run on it. Our phone lines have now opened for this piece. Wow, immediately. So this, this... It's the most technically challenging carving we've seen so far in the show. It's unbelievable. And I remember speaking to Ellis next door about this piece, and she was, again, speechless. Yeah. No, could never imagine, could never imagine that that's even achievable for one single piece. There's no way of actually creating a chain in, in a solid gemstone, unless it's... In unless you use this technique. Yeah. This is why it's it's almost always the preserve of an auction house of Bonhams, so, yeah. or, or, or a museum. Bonhams, Sotheby's, uh, Christie's, take your pick. And, and believe me, they do. They try, they compete yeah. for pieces to be able to auction a piece like this. It, it's a real privilege to be able to offer chain carved jades and that yeah we have got the same technique using the same material as they're able to offer here and rather than just doing two simple interlocking rings i love them i'm not knocking them but they're two uh, they're two simple interlocking rings we have got for you an interlocking ring and a full hand carved out of solid jade for you and that's beautiful as well isn't it that's a really lovely sentiment behind the intricacy again just to carve a hand on its own i mean that's a difficult thing to sculpt a difficult thing to actually sculpt and then imagine doing it in a beautiful gemstone with that chain detail at the top given that this is the most challenging carving we've had today look at the detail you've got so simple it's beautiful look, at $200,000 was the interlocking rings. Mm -hmm. Ross, let's start at £2,000, please. Yeah. That's amazing. £2,000 to start. Absolutely amazing. I'll turn my hands around so you can see. Interlocking ring. Look at the elegance of that hand. Wow. Now, I'm not stopping here. But I'm going to take a very big pause here and just really reflect on the quality of what we have for you today. Yeah. Yeah, the movement that you get. Oh, my word. It, it is a work of art, isn't it? And we always say that. It's, it, it's, it is a work of art. London, Linda, London... I mean, I can imagine there's going to be a few people, maybe. These may be going along to places like Hatton Garden and 
bottoms and so Oh my gosh, absolutely. They, they would love to have access to a piece like this. Ross, Ross. I'm very surprised at what you've just said. Me too. Okay. I know what you think. Let, 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 me, let, let, me, let me let you know what Ross just said. He has said that this has previously featured here at Jewelry Maker for £129. Mm. Ross, pop that on screen for me. Six months ago. Yeah. Six months ago, £129. That's now, I really want to address the elephant in the room. Okay, because in the last six months, we have seen the price of fuel rise. Yeah. We have seen the price of bread rise. Yeah. We've seen the price of olive oil rise. Yes. And those of you who pay attention in the gem world, you'd have seen the price of jade rise hugely. So I'm going to do something that flies in the face of all of that. I'm going to tell you now, at a time where everything else you acquire, everything else you buy, the things you want to buy, the things you have to buy, at a time they're all going up in price, I'm going to do the opposite. You're going to have to get involved in this one. We are going to go. We're going to take this piece and I'm going to bring it to you for an all time wow. low this wow. morning. And that does actually run contrary to most of what I believe. But we all need a bit of good news. And this, every single time you've seen this, it has always been £129. Yeah. Uh, 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 and the, the detailing that goes within, I've never seen anything i wish i could take off that chain link because that's where the value is i wish i could almost go right okay yeah. guys i'm going to drop the price but i'm going to take off the chain link you just get a lovely hand where you can you make charms or necklaces or whatever you want to make out of i'm not i'm keeping the chain link on there Unbelievable. ross we're going to give a 60 second clock because i've got something quite dramatic planned on this one okay 60 seconds time you're going to see how hard I'm working to get to make you able to acquire a true portfolio of jade. You've got your landscape carvings. You've got your medallions this show. You've got your pieces of huge importance. You've got that incredible, incredible hollow ring, uh, the, you know, the, the samsara ring. But you've not yet got a chain carving your collection. That's changing today and it's changing in 30 seconds time. Look, you can wait if you want to. That's absolutely fine. A lot of you are. But you're risking missing out on this one because I'm yeah. going to be offering you value that should never, ever be repeated. I'm, and I'm just wondering, uh, Jake, like the percentage of people in this world that can actually achieve something like this. Well, 3% of those that get to a Bonhams auction yeah. get to be able to do that. 3%. Okay. So we are talking extreme rarity, not just in the gemstone, but in the artistry here. Ross. Take off 50 pounds. Wow. Take off, let's save Bev, who's multi-bought, 100 pounds. I'm not even stopping at 99.99. I know that's what Cheryl was thinking. I know that's what Linda thought, Susan thought, Kay saw, Janice saw, yep. Margaret, Tracy, Janice in, uh, Janice in Lincolnshire, the other Janice was in London, Linda. I know that's what you all thought. You all thought 99.99. Absolutely not. We're at 79 pounds. That's less than 20 pounds on your split pay. And this is going to sell out today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th that is just... Just absolutely incredible. Is she holding the pearl? Looks like she's holding the pearl. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You've got that symbolism as You've well. You've got the symbolism. They're holding a pearl or a very, very precious gold coin. Wow. Uh, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. But to get that jadeite link. I... I uh, Elle, I know, I know so many people thought we were going to stop at 99 I thought you were going to stop there. Do you know why, how I know this? Because Linda has just doubled her order. Yeah. Uh, 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 Amila, beautiful name, just double the order. 
Frida just doubled their order. If you want to jump in, we've got a full column of names as it keeps on going down for you. If you want to jump in on this opportunity, like so many of yeah. your peers are, you've got to be quick on this one. We've never offered a chain link carving this low before. This um, kind of value, it's never been achieved. Not just here at Jewelry Maker, I'm talking across the partnership. Yeah, exactly. I have offered a chain link carving, but it was more than this. Of course. Because it's chain link carving. Of course. It's, it's the most demanding technique I know of in the jade world. Yeah. Of course. You would expect to pay more than £79 or, or what, £19 and 75 pence on split pay. You would absolutely be expecting that, wouldn't you? And rightfully so. What an amazing work of art. Seriously, £19.75, what a piece. What an amazing piece. The elegance, I can't even draw a hand, let alone actually sort of carved one. And, and I can't even get my hand, head around how you Ross, it out. Ross, are you Carving for real? It. Sorry, Al, I shouldn't no, have interrupted you. No, you carry on. I, I, no, I shouldn't have interrupted you like that. Ross, are you... <laughs> Am I missing something here? This is chain link carving. Yeah. We've taken £50 off the lowest previous price and there's still opportunities available. Mm. Okay, Ross. Take another £10 off. £69.99. I'm not leaving no. here till we have got a sellout. Literally just feed that onto a chain. Never been any lower than £129. I would literally just put that on a 14 carat gold chain or something like oh that. Oh my gosh, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Stick it on a 14 carat, 18 carat, if you get your hands on one, we don't do them, but if you can get your hands on one, a 22 carat gold chain. Yes. And, and, and job done. You don't need to do yeah. any more. It's the easiest piece of jewellery you've ever crafted. It's also, incidentally, one of the most valuable pieces of jewellery you've yeah, ever crafted. Totally. 69, that's a £60 pound saving compared to where we have ever been before. Six Talk pounds. about value for money. At a time when everything, including jade, is going up in the world, we're saying, OK, we're, we're, we're reversing it. We're single-handedly doing our thing to try and tackle that cost of living crisis because look at what's happening right I now. Know, I know. Talk about, uh, I've never been part of something like this. Do you, I mean, can you ever imagine Christie's or Sotheby's or Bottoms going, oh, I'll tell you what, no, no, no. Let's go, let's go lower, just for kicks. Ross, talk to me. 50 pounds lower. Oh my goodness me. Right, I'm taking Ross out. You do realise if we take another five pounds off, we have halved the previous closing price. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. It's terrifying. Yeah. For us as a business, this. Let's do it, Ross. $64.99. I know every pound matters at this level. I know, of course it does. Of course it does. £129 was a steal. We are now today at half the value, and I probably am going to get absolutely hung, drawn and quartered for this. But we have just halved our previous closing price. And we started this show having a lot of fun. This is now becoming <laughs> very, very painful. For um, us yeah, 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 totally. Unbelievable. I mean, I can't even begin can you imagine the conversation if you were with Roland Luso and you said, oh, yeah, we've got link carving, jadeite, link carving, and yeah, Roland, oh, just, it'd be £65 pounds today. I, there's a reason I don't talk about what we do here at Dre Show. <laughs> yeah, 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 because he surely would be, th well, who knows what he would have to say in terms of his reaction, but that is incredible. Um, there are a lot of multi-buyers getting involved and a phone line, uh, the queue is building on the phone line. Well done. Uh, Midlothian, Margaret, Sheila, Amila, Barbara, Amory, Dorothy, Staffordshire, Patricia, Gabrielle, Irene, London, Patricia, Jackie, hello to you. Um, Bev, Cap I mean, Jake, you've gone very quiet. Are you okay? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. We're at half the value. You're the hand that's giving right now. 
I feel quite like this one that I'm just drifting and I, I, I don't know what's happening right now. I'm finding it hard to compute. Um, oh, I, I promised myself I wasn't leaving here though. Oh my goodness. Well done, Julie. Well done, London. Literally just put this on a high right. end. Right, Ross. Ross. Not doing that a lot. No, it's the wrong day to do that. We're not doing that a lot. We're not doing that one. Oh. Ross, 49.99. I said I was not leaving here until we have sold this out. It is now an 80 pound saving. You're saving more than you're spending. You are literally saving more than you're spending yeah. against our own jewellery maker pricing. Look at the split pay too. Ah, oh, 12 pounds. This split pay is why there's a very good chance I will not be on your screens again. <laughs> Seriously. I'm not laughing at that, by the way, but that 12 pounds 50. Thank you for... <laughs> so, so, such public schadenfreude there. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. I don't want that to be the case. 12 pounds 50, though. £12.50. Oh my goodness me. On a gold chain, and like you said, invest in something like 22 if you can. I know it's an indulgence, but you've made massive... Oh my gosh. I, 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 this, is, this is simply a question of how many can you possibly add? Yeah, true. That's a, yeah, that's how a really many good can you way possibly of, add? of wording because, it. Because nothing else matters. At 49.99. Mervyn King couldn't print money like that. <laughs> yeah. Of course, people have taken you up on that as well, and an uh, multi-bought on that. Yeah, I mean, it was little, this, is what, this is what should have happened, by the way. At 79 99 two full columns of names, full of multi-bidders. All around the Because the, the world. opportunity, global interest, because the yeah. opportunity here, it, it, it is. I, I, I've been to the Suzhou markets. I've been to the, the Picante J Trail. I regularly go to Kowloon mm. and I have never seen anywhere that offers value like this. I think it's it, like as an artist as well, the hand itself is... Oh, it's, it, the it, sculpting is incredible on the hand. The hand alone, I'd say 49.99, great steal. But the chain, chain yeah. the chain technique, it, it, that's what really pushes this up a level. Look at that. Right, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave those there. They have sold out. Amazing, Jake, absolutely amazing. I, I need to sit down somewhere. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to you about a grade of jade we have never shared before. In fact, a couple of messages have come through. I'll thank you very much. A couple of you have messaged in. You've never seen anything like this before. Because if I could just come back a few slides. We talked about Roland Schlussel and we talked about how he talked to us about the different types of jade. Yep, so mm. you've got ideal color, ideal texture, ideal transparency. And there are two types of jade that sit outside of this, tri of, of, of this triangle. You've got black jade, which we've brought you before, yeah. and you've got white jade, which we have brought you before. What I have for you today actually sits along this triangle, probably here, because it is the perfect transparency. Wow. Now, very few jades get made naturally like this. Very, very few jades indeed. And that's why you hear more about imperial jade than you do this kind of jade. Now, we've brought you white jade before. Here's white jade being, being sculpted, being carved right now. What I'm about to share with you is not a white jade. Okay. It is, though, from that Suju center. Okay. From the Suju master craftsman. And... Around the, around the time of the 20th century, time of the 20th century, you had the first real exchange of jade with the Western world. That was really the first time 
jade started to enter the Western world around the turn of the 20th century. And at that time, art forms were exchanged. It was a period of great global exchange of ideas and art forms. What this jade does here is really the, the pinnacle of that journey. And I've only ever historically shared with you a single piece of this type of art form before. If you cast your minds back, probably about six months ago, I brought you a single carving of Chantilly Jade. Chantilly is the technique. It's named after the French lace, Chantilly lace. And Chantilly lace is so, is so sought after the world over for two reasons. One, the floral motifs are just next level. The universal desire for those. And two, it is the level of detail that we wow. see with the, with, with the, Chantilly, uh, the Chantilly lace. The detail is extraordinary. You've got beautiful little circles in there. It's, it's, it's famed world over. What I have for you right now is Suju Chantilly Jadeite. But this time in a grade of jade known as ice jade. Last time we had this, it sold out in seconds. This is an even more defined and more sophisticated sculpture. Have a look. Wow. That literally is lace. Have a look at your ice jade here. This is brand new. You've never seen anything like this before. The last time I brought you this, it was, it was in white jade. This is ice jade. You can see the difference right now. Let me show you that transparency and you can see how it is like ice. The light wow. moves through it. This, this is your ice jade. Wow. We have never featured ice jade here at the channel before. It is your first witnessing of this quality. From Suju, this is guaranteed fine jade quality. And what do I mean by that? I'm saying you create jewelry out of this, you are making fine jewelry. It is, Stephen, I'm so sorry to challenge you on cameras. Once we've got a recording of this, what I'd love you to do is bring the camera over around by me because I'm looking at this jade from the side. Yeah. It looks like a strip light. It is so, the, the translucency of this material, the transparency, this is next level. Ross, let's have a 30 second clock till we open those phone lines. The first time we have ever featured Ice Jade here on the program. And it is literally luminous, isn't it? it, 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 it well, you, you want to talk about luminosity, Al? We're not even seeing the light of the camera. We are now looking at this oh from the side. Goodness. Look at that. Luminosity. Yeah. This, this is something else. We've never been able to do this for you. 30 seconds. I brought you Chantilly before. I, by, my own, by my own confession, that sold out in seconds, by the way. And I've got to tell you now, I've got to tell you now, this is a more sophisticated carving of that technique, L. Yeah. They learned the lessons from that last time. This is now a more sophisticated. It combines, remember I talked to you about piercing techniques. Yeah. You've got piercing in here. You marry that with fine detailing including the floral motif towards the bottom. This is what gives you the Chantilly. Let's open those phone lines. The first time historically here at Jewelry Maker, we have Ice Jade. We have never, I've never been able to bring you this before. It is from that Suju Center of Excellence, that carving mecca. It's using that Chantilly technique. It's an elongated teardrop. And I'm gonna to suggest to you, don't buy one, buy two, yeah. buy three. I'll look after you on price. Do not worry about the price but you need to be acquiring as many of these as you possibly can. I'm thinking pairs of these, pairs of these elongated pairs, you're gonna be making earrings. Oh, here's one we made earlier. Take a look at these. You tell me this is not ultra fine jewelry. Oh gosh, 
In, just incredible, absolutely incredible. I remember I was fortunate enough to actually be with you, Jake, when you first introduced Chantilly Lace Jade um, and saw that sell out. They are unbelievable. The elegance of this drop, well, the elegance of Chantilly, all captured. Yeah. Out. I need to show you. This is why this is going to be a very quick auction. Even though we've we've we've, we've cut as many of these as we possibly could in the ice shade. Okay, but look at this. Staffordshire. You've multi bought. You're getting the pair of earrings. Make it in Meath. Getting the pair of earrings. Lancashire, my home county. Getting the pair of earrings. Linda in Hampshire. Susie in Wiltshire. You've taken it a step further. You've got the full suite. Let me show you what that full suite looks like here. <laughs> this is what you can create. Literally, it can be the most simple of designs, can't it? Yeah. Literally, the most simple of designs. This, this is incredible. This is incredibly simple. You can see against the black, the ice quality of this jade. Now, El, we've gone very simple in these. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Let me give you a couple of other design ideas if I could right now. I would be pairing this. If you've got a little connector mm. that can take colored gemstones, yeah. can you imagine a tanzanite sitting in as a station before you like drop down? Like a quad A tanzanite. Yeah, any, triple A, double A, it's gonna, it's gonna look fantastic. I'll tell you what, I'll use my jade hand of the last auctions to show you. I'm talking about taking a little step around here. Yeah. So drop this, drop this about to this level. You just have a little connector, <gasps> little connector just here of a tanzanite. That would look extraordinary. I'll tell you the other thing you could do with this, you could go for a rubelite. Oh, sat beautiful. just there. It's going to sit Mandarin garnet? What Ma about that? Oh, yeah, mandarin garnet. That'd be a lovely colour combination. If you've ever bought a zavarite from me as well, yeah. any, any kind of bold colour will give you a real, a real injection um, there for you. And or you go the other way. Let's stay in the jade family. What about just a little simple black bead of jade yeah, just there, beautiful. articulate it again, and then you've got this lovely monochrome that Coco Chanel would absolutely oh, be they? envious of. Wouldn't um, they? You know, if what? Coco had been around when, when we had this kind of access to jade, I wouldn't, have had a, I wouldn't have had a shot at this. This is extraordinary. The technique required. So what, have you, what is it that goes into Chantilly? It's actually a combination of three different techniques. Can you see the ice? See how... Again, you've got here a really fine detail. See the arc, the curve? It goes yeah. from around the top right of the pair, comes, cuts through the middle, and then goes down towards the bottom. There's wonderful sweeping forms. That's part of the Chantilly design. It's this idea where you have relief within the jade, but it also shows you the quality of your ice jade. You've got piercing. See those tiny holes that yeah. feature through the jadeite? Now, those... The, 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 those tiny, those tiny little holes, they're, they're called piercing technique. And piercing, you can see, it accounts for about a quarter of all the jade that hits Bonhams, yeah. that hits auctions, that hits Sotheby's like Christie's and elsewhere. It accounts for about a quarter of those auctions, which tells you there is major demand for this. Yeah. There is major, major demand for this kind of material. I mean, the intricacy of something like this, because We've obviously the Chantilly is very... It, it, it's... A, it's, it's Delicate. Well, it is. So, what it combines is it combines that with a second type of, of carving. And, and that type of carving is, is what I describe here, this, this calligraphy carving. Yeah. And calligraphy carving can be either writing full-on scripture into jade, yeah. or it can be a little bit more basic, which is what we're seeing here, which is you know, that sweeping line. So rather than it forming a full, a full letter in Chinese calligraphy, you're taking one of those sweeping lines uh, and, and build it into here. And then of course you've got the carved flower towards the bottom there. You'll see at the bottom, oh in the bottom center, there is no piercing. That's because that's where a flower motif has been painstakingly carved into what your ice jade that? for you. Now, Ross, something, yeah. something like this, I, find, I do find it incredibly hard to value. Yeah. The reason I find it really hard to value is because despite Roland Schleusel writing lots and lots of uh, literature on this, this calligraphy type of carving on ice jade, yeah. it's a combination of two of the rarest types, rarest treatments. And I don't mean enhancement, this is type A. I mean, it, it approaches to jade one can have. So if I was to say something like this, 1,500 pounds, I don't think anyone would balk in, no. in, in the fine jewellery world. No, because I, I mean, 
The only other Chantilly, uh, Chantilly lace jade that I've seen was that one with you. Yes. And one of Roland Schlusso's, which was about £12,000. Roland Schlusso's are about 12000 I've only ever seen it. And what I'll do, actually, Al, you've just reminded me, I have got some colour combinations from Roland. So let me see if I can find those. Look at that. Hello, Susie. Guest designer Susie's got hers. I'm not surprised. I knew I'd see you on this opportunity. She well, the, Al, she actually got the whole suite. I don't blame her. Absolutely the right alone. thing to do. A lot of, I can see a lot of beautiful Chantilly jadeite sweets. That's incredible to be able to say that's something you can achieve today. Let me share with you some combinations that you could do with this. Okay, if we come over here. Ah, oh, yeah. Pairing it, pairing it with Moonstone. Uh, you can see here, yeah. Rubelite pair. Rubelite. Just a lavender. You see how these, this is the staple of the fine, fine yeah. jewellery world. These are all about, by the way, £1,500 right now. Wow. Wholesale. 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 Look at yours, though. The last time I bought you Chantilly... Sold out. It sold out in seconds. Mm. It sold out in seconds. It was a smaller canvas, by the way. Yeah. It was a smaller canvas and it sold out in seconds at 79.99. Ross, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to match the price of our previous Chantilly piece. I absolutely what? love the idea of marrying this with Tanzanite or Nilamani. Anything yes. blue for me, because I think the Ice Jade just has a really subtle secondary blue hue. Yeah, it does. So marrying it with a blue, I think that blue and white combination absolutely works. Amazing. If you've got any black gemstones in your combination, we're at £20 oh, pounds like only it. on split pay. I, I might be wrong. Forgive me if I am. I, I don't remember there being a four split pay on our last piece because it was a smaller canvas. If it's a smaller canvas... We have matched the price when we probably shouldn't have matched the price for you. Look at the quality that you're looking at. This does not look like 79.99 Jade. You can go to Kowloon in Hong Kong. In fact, I, I, in fact, I don't believe it was offered on Split Bay at all at 79.99. No. Still sold up. I don't believe you can go to Kowloon, the Jade Trading Center in Hong Kong, and find this technique. You won't find it. It's a marriage of Western ideas with, with, with Far Eastern techniques. If you don't have the ideas, you don't get this. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm not stopping here. Ross, <laughs> Ross has just said to me, Jake, 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 stop. 100 <laughs> yeah. of these have already gone. And the reason, we don't have 100 callers. Let me show you what's happening, though. Hardly anyone is buying one because you want to create the pair of earrings or, or, or you yeah, want to do what Susie's doing and create that suite. Yeah. Justin's got two. Kay's got two. Sharon's got two. Suzanne's gone and picked up three. Kim's picked up two. Zoe's picked up two. Janice has picked up two. And yep. it keeps on going down. Ross, 60 seconds. I'm not stopping anywhere near here. Unbelievable. I mean, the fact that even... Did you say Christie's? Is this Christie's, Bonhams or Sotheby's? Uh, it's, or? it's an amount... It's data from all three. All three. So, I mean, 4.4% of their jadeite carvings equates to what's on our screens right now. That's the level of rarity that you are getting. That's the level of artistry that you are getting right now. Beautiful, natural, pure, ice white. Oh, my goodness. And, and again, to, I love your idea. This is the kind of opportunity that I would, I would make sure I'm investing in a fine-coloured stone to go alongside it. A high uh, I, I, I would be top premium rubellite. Yeah. I'd be thinking top grade tanzanite yeah. uh, or indeed top grade um, kyanite or iolite. So you, you want a real punch of yeah. colour here. Or go the other way, go black jadeite. Yeah. That'd be my two. Michael and Staffordshire, Michael, uh, Maker and Staffordshire and Michael, uh, I'm not sure where in the world you are, Michael, perhaps international. 
Guys, my 60 seconds is over, okay? The last time I brought you a Chantilly carving, it was a smaller canvas of artwork that you were getting, and it was at this value. No split pay. Ross, half the price. What? $39.99 for our first ever ice jadeite. Good luck right now. It's Shizu ice it's jadeite too. It, you can only get this material from Suzu. Nowhere else in the world do they have the oh skills required goodness, to be able to do this. Now, I think everyone who thought, oh, do you know what? Look, I don't know where this is going to end. I'm just going to get one, but make that pendant, make that pendant of dreams. You're going to have to pick up two now. For £10 on split pay, the value for money... Yeah, crazy. The value for money is catching headlines everywhere in the world right now. I will. I will go to Tucson next year for you. I will revisit Roland Schlüssel. I will get photos of the wholesale value mm. of his Chantilly collection for you. And you can share those with your appraisers. Because if you just move those double digits, if you move that decimal point yep. two times to the right, £4,000, I don't think we're far off where these should be appraising for. No. 9 99 is absolutely history making. Unbelievable. I, I, I am generally gobsmacked that you went even remotely close to £50. A double figure price point. Yeah. Because that, I was expecting these to actually be one, uh, you know, when you when I heard a rumour that uh, about the Chantilly, I wasn't expecting it to be the ice. The, 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 these, oh my goodness, these absolute, they should be probably one of the most these, expensive. These absolutely should be stopping at ninety nine ninety nine. And let, let me be really honest with you, this isn't a ninety nine. This isn't a thirty nine ninety nine no. piece of jade carving. You know that. I know that. You don't have to be a gem investor to see that. You look at the quality of the artwork. Mm. You look at the quality of the ice jadeite material. This is why we have two full columns of names. Names. But as you look through this full column of name, I want you to notice how many of them have bought one. Yeah. Try and find someone who's bought one. It's actually quite hard to do. Most people are buying threes, twos, fours yeah. now because the value is this good. Look, we've got a four minute wait on the phone lines. I'm not apologizing for that. Look at your screen. Yeah. This is why there is a four minute wait on the phone lines. Jacqueline from Tennessee has just doubled her order. Jacqueline, I saw Jacqueline having two of these earlier on. She's just gone, look, hey, this is special. Thank you very I'm much. I'm buying four of these. Jacqueline, it's wonderful to see you. I don't know if it's really late in the evening for you or it's a really early morning, but it's great to have your company. Yeah. Look, everyone who's doing this, huge congratulations. That four-minute wait on the phone line I told you about is now five minutes. You have Tap the app. Do me a favor. Download the app. Tap the app. It's two taps. It's yours. That's the quickest way to get hold of this. That's the most surefire way. If you want to jump ahead of that five-minute wait on the phone lines, do you enjoy queuing? I don't. I'll be honest, I do it, I'm not a queue jumper, I'm not rude, but if, I, if there's a legitimate way of me not having to queue, I will do that because I don't want to risk missing out. And at 39.99, do you? No, 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 because I mean, the okay, let me ask you is a just, silly question, Jake. Please. Are you likely to get this again? Chantilly Lace. I, I, I am working hard, but I've also at the same time yeah. told you I don't think I'm going to be here on Jewelry Maker again with Jadeite, which tells you how hard, how much fruit that hard work is yielding currently. Um, I mean, uh, here you go. You can see, literally, super simple uh, creations. Anne and Sue won't mind me actually saying that. Literally just showcasing the Chantilly. It's all about the stone. But yeah, if you wanted to, you could frame it. You could, could oh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, halo yeah. of diamonds. And when, please don't anyone, please don't anyone think. Oh, yeah. Golden Salsi Pearls and Red Jade for me. Uh, guess, oh, that's what, yeah, that's what guest designer Susie, who we saw earlier on in the yep. show, getting hold of these. That's what Susie's intending to do with yeah, them. Yeah, totally. Perhaps coming to a masterclass near you soon will be Golden South Sea Pearls. That's a lovely combination, yeah, and isn't red, it? And, and red then jade, a little bit of Red Jade, just that, that colour combination. I love it. Red, white, and gold. I absolutely love that coming from Susie. And, and just like Susie, I want you to message in. Are you going to pair the, what are you going to do? Are you going to do what Anne and Sue have done? And we love it. Keep it really simple. It's all about that canvas. It's all about that piece of art. Are you going to do this? Or are you going to flip it on its head? Are you going to inject that colour in? I've got to say, this is, this is wonderful fine jewellery, really paired back. It's letting the gemstones do the, mar do, do the work. The other injection of colour, at the minute, there's a real trend in the market for fusing different types yeah. of gem, different colours and also different textures. So with the jadeite, you get this oh. semi-translucent. Yeah. With, 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 with coloured stones, you tend to get absolute top transparency. 
mixing those two different Beautiful. types of light to the eye. Well, Harry Winston's doing it, isn't he? It was you that showed me that piece with, yes. with turquoise and a, a mandrigan. Exactly I the same thing. That. Let's combine opaque with transparent, yeah. blues with oranges. It's a real design trend right now. Beyond Angela's stunning. just messaged in. Got the Chantilly Jade last time. It's beyond stunning. That's yeah. from Angela in East Sussex. Angela, I love that piece. And huge congratulations getting for it. If you loved it, give this a try. You'll see. We're learning this technique. It is improving piece after piece. Let me show you the quantity. Now, we started with over 250. That's so 90, 90 shouldn't be a comfort. Don't let it be a comfort. It is racing down. Let me show you the names as well, because right now, Ross, how many people are in an unchecked out basket? 142. Mm. Mm. 90 into 142. Doesn't quite work. Plus, plus, plus multi buyers. Yeah. Mm. And that's it. It doesn't need 90 people. It doesn't need 90 people nope. because we look three full, well, sorry, two and a half full comms and names. This is racing to it. But again, Suzanne bought two. Linda's bought one. Amila, Ami, Ami, beautiful name, three times. Jane, one. Angela, three. Paula, one. Sheila, three. Ivy, one. Michael, six. This is the pattern that's happening right now. Caroline joining there as well. Perhaps you're going to make a sweet for you and a sweet for someone else. Oh. Again, it doesn't saying, matter to me if that other person is paying or not. It's also, we have this, I've had this conversation, obviously not with this opportunity, but before with our lovely viewers who have said, you know, I'm buying this because for my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, we know we're not going to get the opportunity. Well, 99. I, I look, I never say we, never. No, I never say never. Unlikely. But the, when it comes to your rough, imagine how much, you, how much of our rough do you think is suitable for cutting things like this? Exactly. It's not going to be the lion's it's share. I've only ever bought never, one parcel and I'm not unlikely. that good. <laughs> you just, you, you never know. We've got 22 genuine opportunities. Especially at 39.99. Yeah. Jake, what did you do? Uh, I worry what I've done, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely worry. I do definitely worry. But I, I, I know that once you get this at home, this is the kind of piece that you, you, you just gonna, you want. It's the kind of piece where you go, I need more. Yeah. I need yeah, more totally. in the collection. You know, I, I, I want to see this in different colours. I want to see in different shapes. Hi, Jake. I got to put four a.m. to watch, and I am so glad I did. Um, I got the samsara as well. Thank you so much, oh, Jacqueline. Cool. Thank you so much. Bless you for getting up early. It's wonderful to have you with us this morning. Uh, however early it is in the morning for you right now. We're massive congratulations to getting the Samsara as well. That was a complete sellout. Uh, we've just had a message from Caroline in Manchester. Caroline, I saw your name on here, actually. Guys, I bought six so both my daughter and I can match. Um, thanks, you, Jake. Oh, no, Caroline, idea. you're the best. You're absolutely the best mum, uh, and you're definitely one, one of our best collectors as well, acquiring that. Let's find Caroline on the board. It's going to be hard, guys, because yes, there's so yes, many there's names there. Uh, in fact, actually, I know exactly where Caroline is because Caroline is just below Michael. So Caroline is below the fold. She's probably around about here on the <laughs> list right now. Uh, so if people keep on, you might just join, Dag might have just doubled their order. As more and more you come in, Caroline will eventually pop back up here. But we have got, in fact, there's guest designer Susie as well. First Susie was one the first one in, in yeah. Picking up three. Yeah, Susie, first one Susie's in. had years of understanding and appreciating Jade. Yep. It's right and proper that she was the first one jumping in. We've got less than 10 chances available. Best of luck, All around everyone. the world. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Um, 178 people have got it still in the baskets. Yeah. Again, I'm rubbish at maths. It's very hard to divide nine, sorry, seven by 178. Mm. It just doesn't work. No, Good luck. It well done, everyone who has been successful, though. Oh, my goodness me, Jake. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. No problem. No, thank you. It, it's been great. The last two weeks, I've enjoyed, uh, enjoyed joining you and Drew Maker. I'm not going to be here next week um, because we are preparing to go to Bangkok um, for, yeah, for a gem show. What's on the radar? Uh... I I've th I've don't want to say okay. because I'm very aware that some of our competitors do watch this program. Okay. Um, so I don't really want to give a, a, a too many clues. Um, what I will say is there are gems you'd expect to come from Bangkok coming from there. So that's not a surprise. So, so I've got some sapphire deals that are on the radar yeah. and that's absolutely fine. Uh, but there is a gem I'm hoping to get out there that is not normally associated with Bangkok. But I need to keep that a bit of a mystery um, because I don't want to get pissed. exciting. The post. Um, but huge congratulations, everyone. I will be joining you again soon at some point in the future. But keep safe, keep well, and thank you so much for all your lovely messages.
Oh, wasn't that wonderful? As I'm such a treat to have Jake on our screens once again, especially when he brings with such beautiful, beautiful treasures like this. Um, well done to each and every single one of you. Do not go anywhere because lovely Mark is stepping back into the studio for a, a masterclass full of colour and inspiration. I'll be back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Make sure you join us this weekend on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. Your deal of the day on Saturday is the most amazing strand of tanzanite. Uh, your deal of the day on Sunday, we've got the most beautiful selection of diamonds. Plus, also on Saturday with Xena, we've got a big reveal. It's going to be a really special surprise. It's all coming this weekend on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers and look who it is. Lovely oh, Mark's oh. back. They've had me upstairs. They won't. They won't mind me um, telling mm -hmm. you. They've had me filming a TikTok reel. Okay. Or an Instagram reel. Or I mean, I know what TikTok no is. I know what Instagram is, but I'm I'm not up to speed with these I've reels. Had to put it on my story. Does okay. that mean anything? Yeah, I know what my story is. Reels is a whole new thing, but apparently. Right. All these. So if you go onto, I didn't even know I had an Instagram page, but I've got an Instagram page apparently. So if you go onto my Instagram page, I've just put a reel onto my story. Now, if that means anything to any of you, <laughs> you have my <laughs> utmost respect. Don't worry I'm if you don't, because I don't. I this. haven't got a clue either. No. I haven't got a clue. It was Gemma Crow that was saying to me the other day, actually. She was uh, that Tom, her son, was like, "Oh no, Mum, you've got to be putting everything on reels." I haven't got a clue what that is. No. Don't know. No. Anyway. For, we do, yeah. If not, good, we can just watch the box. We'll just there we do go. That. Just, just do, do it. That. Watch the telly box much easier. Yes. Um, Mark, this is exciting. Favourite things? Kumihima and bobbins. What? Why? I love Kumihima. To somebody bobbins. that's new, yeah, they'd yeah. go, "Why are you getting so excited about that?" <laughs> but there is a reason, isn't there? There is a reason. So we're going to be showing you all about Kumihima, which is one of my favourite things which is where we got it on today's show. And I'm going to be showing you all about the Kumihimo disc, okay? Now, to do your Kumihimo braids, which I'll show you and talk about as the hour progresses, you're going to have at least eight threads coming out of your disc to do your braiding. Now, imagine eight loose threads, lots of turning, lots of swapping. You're going to have a massive tangle. You're going to have a spider's web of messy, horrible. Okay, so, you need so that's infuriating. Some, yeah. So you need something to attach your cords to, to stop them from tangling. It sounds a really simple thing, but tangle threads when you're kumahimoing is the biggest pain in jewelry making that there is. Right. These will stop your these cords from tangling up. Really? Absolutely. So you loop your cords inside the bobbins? Absolutely. Reel all your cord Reel up, all your wind cord the bobbin up. up. Wind the bobbin Absolutely. up. Pop it closed and away you go. And away That's you go. It. So I've got a bag of bobbins, which I've got for the demoing. And I don't think I've done it on air before, but I normally when I'm um, demonstrating, I use eight bobbins. Yeah. I'm using 12. Ooh. I'm going up to the next level. So without bobbins, you'd have been a big tangled mess. I'd have been mess. a real mess. Righto. Yes. Um, and I mean, then... We've not had these for such a long time. Such a long time. Yeah. We've had various sorts of bobbins. You know, the Years, cotton reel style bobbins. And we've, yep. and we've had um, MDF bobbins. Mm. I've not seen the proper easy to use. But these come from Beadsmith as well. We know how amazing company Yeah, Beadsmith exactly. Um, and they're reusable, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't... It must have been years since mm. I've seen these. Yeah, yeah. Then also to go alongside your uh, non -tang non tangable I can't say it. N non tangle bobbins. That's the one. There you go. I had to concentrate on that. Um, which are again, you get you get how many of those? Three, uh, eight. six, eight. Yeah. And we've never ever had these on the show before. This 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 type. We've had bobbins, but we've never had these before. Oh. 
never. They're brand new to us to date. So the other bobbins weren't non they were, they, they, they were the same. They were the same shape and size. They, they were the same shape, but they were larger. Right. And you, do you remember you, they came in a, in a starter kit yeah. with the bag and yes. the cords and the glue and yes, that sort of thing. So we've never that. had these. These are brand new. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've also got what? How many strands? Ten, I believe. Ten strands yes. of beautiful six millimetre agate. Oh, Mark, that's gorgeous. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm we all, with know, you we all know how popular the six millimetre well, you saw this are. morning. Well, we know, yeah, yeah, this morning. And also, I mean, look at that. Joyous colours. All the big designers are working with big colour at the moment. Yeah, which, absolutely. I, I, which is lovely. It was kind of post-pandemic, wasn't it? Mm. Right? Where we, I guess, had we're looking for positivity and uh, a bit of... Um, yeah, well, that's it. Positivity mm. and something and whole, that's kind um, of uplifting. The whole colour blocking mm -hmm. trend started, didn't it? And oh, my it's, word. It's just uh, amazing. And that's a lot of jewellery, isn't it? We'll show some of your lovely yeah. makes in a second. Also, you've got uh, your cord. By the way, if you want yeah. more cord, then we've got more coming up in uh, within yes. this hour as well. Yeah. How many do I have of this kit? First time oh, ever, no. ever, ever introducing the non-tangle bobbins. We're going to have to do a 60-second clock. I've no idea what this is, what this price this kit's going to either. Um, I've not been told. Not me, actually. Mm. Ross. Is there a reason that you're keeping... Oh, it's a sharp intake of breath then. You did, you went... <gasps> what? Oh, my goodness, yeah. No. Non-tangle bobbins. <laughs> Brand you in. If you've got a Kumihimo disc and you've literally put it away because you're so frustrated with all your cords threading up and getting in a knot and... Yeah. Nah, you haven't got to worry about that anymore if you get hold of this kit. Not only that, you're getting all of your beautiful colours. Um, of wow. agate. Oh, Mark, talk us through these lovely designs whilst that clock is ticking away. So, what, the, what I've done here is, is I've used the cords because we've got these amazing new cords mm. coming up later on. So I've done pearl knotting, I've done macrame, I've done kumihimo, I've done, can you see at the back there, that I've, I've done a kumihimo braid. If I bring oh, this yeah. across, I'll just bring this one across. So this is a kumihimo braid that I've used the beads, Kiss Cross Abacus <gasps> beads, so they actually slide, you can Ooh, move them. Oh so, if you want, so if you wanted one large bead at the bottom of your necklace, like so, they all join together, or you can separate them into it little... It looks like a totally different little, piece of jewellery. Yeah, into little abacus beads. So they're Kiss Cross um, stations in effect, but I've actually Kiss Crossed them over the braid that you can see underneath there. Amazing. Is that yeah. a new technique? Because I've not seen I've them done it on once a... a couple of times on the show. It but, looks gorgeous. Yeah. And again, um, so you can, you can decide how you, you can be asymmetric, you can be symmetric, yeah. you, can, you can separate the bees, you can do all sorts of amazing things. Now, you were a bit surprised by the price point you just heard Incredibly in your ear. Ten surprised. strands of gorgeous, colourful agate, yeah. eight non-tangle bobbins, and your Eslon, which is this really lovely, um, what's well, called Nile Blue, which is pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. This is the 0.5, which is my number one. This is my, no, if I had a top 10 of chords in Jewelry Maker Stable, this would be Your number one. my 0.5 S long, right yeah. at the top by miles. Is that yeah. just because you can do so much with it? Masses with it. So you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two demos if I've got time. I'm gonna show you my quick and easy pearl knotting with two threads, which is, is just fantastic. Yeah. And then I'm gonna show you the 12 warp <laughs> Love that. Well, yes, you can absolutely, you know, we'll show the kits and you can have as long as you need. That's five pounds per strand of beautiful wow. agate and everything else for free. Your non-tangle bobbins, your Eslan, which is like gold dust. Mm, I love this piece of jewellery. This, <laughs> this is my mala for men, which is just, it's just beautiful. Absolutely that beautiful. is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I love Direct, it. Director Ollie has got one of my makes for men malas, a tiger's eye. Nice. Yeah, tiger's eye. Oh, look now. You've and and, uh, and when he goes Adam's out, and, feeling very left and when he goes out wearing everyone, he's, he's telling everyone that it's Thomas Sabo. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Do you know what I would say? Yeah. It's Mark Smith. Oh. <laughs> That's what I would say. Right. Absolutely. By the yeah. way, Adam's feeling very put out. I now. heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean next price? <laughs> so, I mean, uh, this is a difficult question because I know we have 10 strands of beautiful agate here, mm. but that, that's a lot of jewellery potential, masses, isn't it? Masses, absolutely masses. Well, we saw earlier that, the, you know, it's nine beads for a station, for a Kiss Cross station. Wow. Yeah. 
Nine. Nine. And you uh, you could just have one, couldn't you, on a Kumahima mm. braid if yeah, you wanted absolutely. to. Yeah. All that colour in your six millimetre rounds, which as we saw earlier on in the show, literally is, it's the desert island. It's the go-to. It's the most popular size of round that we can uh, we can offer you. I'm loving that orange. Look at the orange. It really ooh, jumps out at me. It? It's just beautiful. Look at it. He's playing with this, isn't he? Yes, he is. It's literally <laughs> like a... Like a kitten with a little ball, he's toying with us, Mark. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Wait, so that's three pounds a strand. Your bobbins for free and the cord for free. Amazing. Unbelievable. What I made, my first piece. If I can, I bring this piece over here. Yeah, please. Is what I did is I've used no beads as well. One malachite bead, and I'll tell you why is I've used the Estelon from this kit, and then I've used one of the colors from the thicker cord we've got coming up. And when I made the, when I made the necklace and the bracelet, it just reminded me of malachite colors. Yeah. So wait, you can mix the thicknesses yeah. of the cords yeah. with, with, with Kumihimo. This is probably one of my favorite sets I've ever made with Kumihimo. <clears throat> and if you get, can you get slightly closer in, you can see, because I've used two sizes of cord, you get this sort of like a lattice with the thicker cord poking through his little windows. It's just, it's just beautiful. Oh, lovely. It reminds me a little yeah. bit of a, a sort of a fabric um, spiral that you yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, what I've, and so the bracelet I've made, um, and then I've popped on a little extender chain, and then I've just used this little malachite bead just to finish it off. Beautiful, beautiful. £29.99. <laughs> We're not even stopping there. Seriously, there's, a, there's 10 strands of beautiful gemstones here. Genuine gemstones, not plastic. You got your not, for the first time ever, 12 years we've been broadcasting. 12. Mm. First time we've done the non tangle yep, bobbins. Of this size, yep. Save yourself it's the an, aggro. I'm pretty sure it's a new Beadsmith product, actually, because I've not seen it before on okay. the Beadsmith website either. So I think it's quite a new Genius, product. then. What a yeah, genius idea, amazing. because that must be every every Kumihimo uh, yeah. nightmare, is the more tangling up. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it. I'd lose my head, then. If that happened, I'd lose my head and I wouldn't yeah, be able to, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't go on with it. Well done, everybody, because the clock is ticking and we're going even lower. So whether you're one of the first to join us on Mark's favourite kits or, or you're one of the last, everyone pays that final low. Um, sorry, some names have just disappeared off the screen, but Sandra, Vivian, Kamartha, Caroline, Susan, Patricia, Anne, Liz, Beverly, Anna, London, Alison, Jean, Barbara, hello to you, Janet, Conway, Ma uh, Michelle, Margaret. Full of colour. This beautiful. We've got all your, your seven chakra colours plus your, your male colours as well. Ah, twenty four ninety nine. I'm about to go on a plane. In an ideal world, I would I would be thinking, oh, I need to keep myself entertained. I'll take Makuma Hemo with me. I won't. I'll have I'll have Tiggy to keep entertained mm. for that. But you know, if you do things like, if you do things like, uh, um, yes, yeah, exactly. We spend more on snacks and things. Yeah, but if you do yeah. long journeys, car journeys, it's brilliant. Kumihimo is so portable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's no tools either. So you set your disc up before you go anywhere and then you just take it with you and um, no, it's amazing. Away you go. On holiday, actually. You can literally just pop it in, uh, you can literally just pop it in your, in yeah. your, in your travel bag absolutely. with you. No, no, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. And one of the most ancient um, forms of jewellery, mm. isn't it? Yeah, is it Japanese? In Japanese, that's right, yeah. yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of years. They used to make little belts around their kimonos to hang what's called netskis made of jade. So all those little jade carvings that, uh, that wow. you and Jake bought to air recently. I mean, that was the sort of thing that it was designed for. I, I mean, seriously, mm. that's £2.50 per strand of genuine It does an island strand. So for, for Kiss Crossing, it would be amazing. Um, amazing. I'll keep you up to mm. speed on uh, the quantities. Half the stock has already gone and there's still loads. We had 150, yeah. So clearly you're all about the lovely colours as well. We have got, as you can see just before, Mark, slightly thicker cord, which I've just learned can also go into yep. um, Kumihimo. We've also got a really lovely purple, purple here version. and some more yep. beautiful, beautiful agates. Any questions that you have for Mark, then message us because we are live here in the studio. But um, I'll move those out of the way so we can see what you're doing. What, what are you going to demo? So I'm, I'm going to show you two demo so I'm going to do the Kumihimo demo a bit later when we've bought the thicker cords to air okay because I've set up my demo with the thicker cords okay so I'm going to show you I've done this so many times but <laughs> but you very kindly humor me today so I'm going to do it again 
and, it, and, it's, and it's the fail-safe way, particularly when you're using, this is why I love agate so much, because they've got such a good drill hole, and because we've got the 0.5 Eslon. Well, they're perfect. We're going they? to do the most perfect fail-safe pearl knotting. Show me, because I need to pearl knot You'll love this. some of these. You will love this. You will love this. I've got some strands that I need. Like I okay. said to you, I yeah, want yeah. to make a piece of jewellery for me to go on holiday with. Uh, I bought the components, I just haven't had the time yet. Okay. So, I'll just use some random, random six mil. This is, this is why I love agar, and you could do this with the jaspers as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our 0.5. Now you can do this with 0 0.5, 0 0.4, mm -hmm. 0.9 is too thick, but if you, as I said, you'll, you'll see what, how simple this is. It's absolutely lovely. Okay, so I've got my piece of thread. Now you did that at an angle, didn't you? Yep, so what I do when I'm, when I'm using Eslon, is I cut at a 45 degree angle and you can see we've got a really sharp point. Mm. Now, if I was at home and doing a lot of knotting, maybe for 10 minutes before I start, I would cut at an angle and then I would just run some nail varnish over the last inch okay. until, and, th and then it goes nice and stiff and you can use those, those ends as a needle. Ah, oh, top Okay. Tip. Okay. So no, I, what I normally do when I'm pearl knotting a marla length necklace, you need six foot, six foot of thread. You fold it in half and then you leave maybe six inches, which you're then going to attach your guru bead to or your tassel top or, okay. your, or your, your charm, whatever. Okay, so this is lovely. You'll love this. This is so cool. So we're gonna take our first bead and because they're so large, the drill holes, you can get two pieces of your 0.5 through. Wow. Okay, you slide the bead down and then, <laughs> you've not seen this before. No, I don't think I have. Okay. So you, you separate the two strands. Yeah. You tie a single and a double knot, so yeah. a double knot. You slide the knot down, and all you do is you, you pull and you wiggle, just like so, okay? And that knot is pulled up nice and tightly against the bead. Then you take your two ends, you take your next bead, you can pop both of the threads through. So one and two, see how easily they go through the agates? Yeah. You slide it down, make sure that it's sat nice and neatly up against your knot. You take the two ends, you separate them, you do a double knot. <gasps> you slide, I've, I've literally never seen this You before. slide it down, pull nice and tight, so pull the two threads in opposite directions, and as you're doing that, give it a wiggle, and then you'll guarantee that knot will sit in the centre. So can I do the same technique with things like silk? Yes, absolutely. So this will work with your pearls. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you're doing it with pearls, I would take two pieces of silk, silk thread with a needle yeah. and put both the needles through. Yeah. And then one at a time, obviously, and then you'll get your two silks through. Amazing. Okay, so you take your next bead, you slide it down. That's a perfect, see how perfect those knots are? Yeah. And then we take the two ends, separate, double knot. So I'm not using any tools, I've got no T-pin, I've got no um, bead all. And this is why agates and quartzes and jaspers are fantastic for knotting. So if I pass that across to you, look how perfect those knots yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed every single time. So if I, if I bring this over here. Oh my word. How perfect those knots are. You're guaranteed a perfect knot every single time. No, no bagginess. No. Nope. Literally no, right no up. No slip knots. No. Nope. <laughs> And all you're doing genius. is just the double knot, pulling nice and tight. Absolutely yeah. genius, isn't it? And, and I think mm. everyone can do like a double knot. Yeah. Amazing. Willow would love this. Give Willow some, some Eslon and a strand of beads and you, she could do your knotting. She could. She, <laughs> yeah, she could. Absolutely. Um, no, it's, it's lovely. Oh, my word. Mm. Amazing, Mark. Amazing. Um, and what else are we going to demo then? So we've And this, I'm sorry, I, I was going to ask you a question. Mm. So if we're going to do a long line necklace, yep. so you keep going and you yep. said, what, you've got six feet. Yeah, yeah. So you keep going to the desired length. And yep. then what do we do when we get here? So when you get there, if I bring... So when you come to the front or yep, by the I bring, tassel. So if I bring... This is done, this is done with this, exactly the same. This is the dense marla. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've knotted all the way to the length of the necklace, okay? So do you remember at the beginning, I tied the two ends off? Yeah. So when you do your completed necklace, you'll also have another two ends this side. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see, I've got one bead in the center here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I've done is you're going to have 
Let me do it, shall I? If I yeah. quickly just tie, if I, if I just tie this off. So I've only done three beads, but imagine it's a, it's a full length piece. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. So you've got your two ends that you started with. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to cut that down the center. So now you have two separate cords. You're going to do the same over here. So we'll, we'll say we've got six inches again. Okay, so we've knotted. So what, can we do it? Yes, we can. We might just be able to. I should have done maybe another couple of beads. So at the moment, you've got four strands. Yeah. So what we're going to do is the two that are outermost, we're going to cut off. So one and two. So instead of having four cords now, we've got back to two again. Right. So we're going to do the same. We're going to take our next gemstone. We're going to slide our two cords through. So if you pull it, so this is just to make sure that it sits nice and neat. It just about closes. So at this point here, you can see my white bead here. So those ends there, so I've made a, a Wags Y cone, cone yep. ending using the, the Y cone tool. The two ends go down through the cone. And then these, I, I, I do this all the time, are some silks from my tapestry, from my cross stitching that I had left over. So you take one of your, your tapestry cords, so you lay it out flat, and then the ends, which are down inside the cone, you tie in a double knot, nice and tight. It then it brings all of your, that middle section of your cord up. Mm -hmm. so, so probably about here is where your silk threads are all nice and snugged in. So when you look at your tassel, there's no gaps. You've got really nice solid tassel. And then all I've done, which is the best bit, is you just go into your, into your silks and you just cut all the way through. Now, if you don't have any of these, these silks at home, if you go onto the Sewing Street website, they sell them all individually on there. Oh, so you can, even, you can even choose the color you want for your beads as well. Perfect. But, um, but no, it's fantastic. And it's all done with that really simple knotting technique. I'm really it's grateful just, to you for showing me that just bit. Fail safe. I did it, wonder. It really like, is. Amazing. Yeah. Now we have got more, yeah. haven't we? We have, um, But yes. should we just quickly do uh, your next kit? Yes, yes. Um, because actually you could create tassels out of this, couldn't you? Yeah. Or you can do exactly what I've just done here with knotting as well. <laughs> Look at that. So you're getting a full on spool. And I'm not sure how, what the meterage is on that spool. I think it's quite a lot. Um, it is lots, lots and lots and lots. And, you can, uh, and again, perfect, not just with your agates, but with lo lots, of your, uh, lots of your gemstones, like your jaspers that we mm. had earlier on. There's nothing stopping you no. using this for things like pearls um, or other gemstones. Again, 10 colors of your agates. I mean, these are welcome additions to anyone's stash. Because even if you're thinking, oh gosh, that's a lot of colour, <laughs> you don't have to use it all together, do you? No, and because the way that they're all they're all dyed, you can actually ombre mm. each strand as well. Oh, nice, yeah. So you've got real pale mm. purples, you've got the vivid purples, the magenta purples, and you can ombre if you want to as well. And as, as we mentioned earlier, you've got your seven chakra colours in this bundle, plus then you've got the neutrals. This 200 metres, did I hear it say? You did, yeah, that's amazing. 200 metres <laughs> of, this, of this cord... Gosh, that's a lot of knotting. There's a lot of knotting. A lot of knotting. Yeah. Um, that's tassels as well. If you wanted to yes. make tassels yeah. out of this, you could. And Hannah actually showed you how to do a tassel. Uh, I guess it's not oh. Hannah actually I think showed. Susie has shown this a couple of times as well. I think Alison has. Yeah. Mm. Top tip with, with the wet paper, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How what to keep that? your tassels all neat and tidy. Oh. So you so you roll it in a bit of paper, nice and tight. This comes from Alan Sue, apparently. Yeah. Uh, slightly wet it, leave it to dry, and your tassel's perfect. There you go, Alan Sue. Alan Sue showed that with oh, uh, with Hannah. Amazing. How to how to tame your tassel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so ten strands of beautiful, beautiful agate plus two hundred meters of this wow. lovely cord. Real Cadbury purple, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Twenty. Wow. £2.50 per strand of agate. We, we, we spoke mm. about jaspers earlier on, but what is it about agate particularly? Again, again I've, I've always had a, a soft spot for agate and jaspers because they are so readily available. Um, yeah. And you, they're pretty much mined in every single country. And it's, it's an abundance mineral in, in the world. 
um, that it just it just gets left behind a little bit. But, but as you can see, the dying process, the, you, you can't dye gemstones better than you can agates. And if it wasn't for the dying process, you wouldn't see any of those banding patterns no, no, at no, all. No, that's so, true. Um, it's I a favourite favorite it, yeah. Steve's as well. Is, Steve is likes, yeah, Steve right. loves his agate. For yeah. Probably for similar reasons. I mean, it shows yeah. Mother Nature, doesn't it? it and also, you, 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 as we mentioned, you tend to get really substantial drill holes. Yeah. But people, people, they're not, they're not sort of as precious with it as they would do with rarer gemstones. Yeah. So that's why you get larger drill holes. And well, for, this is fun. for knotting and kumihimo and macrame, yeah. is they're absolutely perfect. This is fun jewelry making, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Mark, do you fancy being rebellious? <laughs> Am I going to get the blame for this? No. no, nobody's blaming Mark for this though, Roscoe. Okay. He says he'll take the rap. He says he'll take the rap for it. How many do we have? Oh, because there's 150. Right. I mean, wow. what a great way to start people kumahimoing. Absolutely. Yeah, what a great yeah. way to start people knotting. Marla, even if you, mm. even if, I mean, that is foolproof. That, that technique that you've just Absolutely. shown. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can confident, confidently do that. And you've got enough in this bundle for at least five full Marlas. Five? Yeah. So you've got plenty of micro Marlas. I mean, Willow and Micro Marla, do you remember? She's packed it already to go on holiday, by the way. She was like, I must get my jewellery. Oh. Out comes Willow's Marla. She looks oh. super sweet wearing it. Super sweet. Oh, I mean, they are joyous colours. They're lovely, yeah. And we're just coming to autumn, aren't we? And you've got those oranges and reds and yellows. Yeah. And, uh, it's just lovely. Because, yes, I know some people might think, oh, no, that's too much colour. But you don't have to use them no. all together, do you? Absolutely not. You know, on no. the back of my hand, they look very colourful. But you can always, always substitute them down, mix them with other gemstones or sea beads, as you said yeah, earlier on. We're being naughty. What's he doing then? I think I know. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were going to... It's two pounds. Two pounds a strand. Two pounds for agate, beautiful agate. It was a translucency, beautiful concentric yeah. bands, wonderful colour. I'd pay, I'd pay, that seems like a good price for 200 metres. 200 metres, metres, yeah. 200 metres of threading material. Unreal. Again, any questions that you might have, then do message us. We are live here in the studio. But it's going to cross, these are going to cross mm. multiple mediums, Absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely. So, as you said, we've got kumahimo, knotting, macrame. General beading, yeah. tassel making. I mean, there's so much you can do with these cores. They're lovely. Well, you, you don't have the time anymore, Mark, to actually um, no. to do your uh, markets anymore because we keep mm. you very busy here at Jewelry Maker. But if you were, how much would one of those necklaces be? Like, so let's go, let's go for the gents one. I yeah. would, I'd have that on my stall for forty-five pound. That's an amazing price. And that's that's two strands in there. Okay. And what did we just say, a strand? £2.50? Two pounds. Two, two, pound. two pounds. Two pounds so it's cost me £4, plus a pound for my silk, because that's a fiver. Okay. So and that's probably it. taken me two hours to knot that. Once, wow. you, once you get into that rhythm with that knotting, it's, yeah. so, it's so easy. No, it's Amazing. Yeah. That's a fantastic return, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. An amazing yeah. return. Um, okay, um, mm. don't forget we've got the thicker cords coming up well, as we, well. Did you want to do those first as I'm demoing with them? Yeah, or, that makes sense. Yeah? Is that that right? just makes sense. Keep dialing through for this uh, for this kit. Let's do... I love these. There are only oh, 50. No. Why, why, why would I choose... When would I choose a thicker cord and finer cord? So if you're kumahimoing with a fine cord, yeah. you're going to end up with a finer braid yeah. and it's going to take a lot longer okay. as well. So with the thicker cord, as I'm going to show you, you can do multiple layers. You can mix different um, thicknesses of cord as well as with the, with the kumahimo necklace. Um, so this is the demo I'm going to show you. I love this. So this is with, this is with the 12 warp. And you get this amazing layered three-dimensional twist. Oh, so, that's so cool. Yeah. So if you did this with the with a 0.5 Eslon, it would be very, very thin. Yeah, tiny. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be as, as, as substantial. Do you know that uh, all the chaps are, oh, yeah. This is my Captain America bracelet. Captain America, <laughs> love it. Yeah, so, I'm, so this, is, this is what I'm going to demo. So as I said, if, if you were doing this with, with 0.5, a, a smaller gauge, mm. it would take a lot longer because you're using a finer gauge and yeah. also it wouldn't be as, as chunky as substantial. What you could do is use maybe the white and the blue could be 0.5 yeah. and then the red, the one mil, so it would really stand out. So just have a mix, have a mix and play around with the different gauges in one piece of jewellery. So thicker cord, fairly self-explanatory, means yeah. thicker braids. Yes, thicker and quicker braids and, quicker and much mates. quicker. Much quicker mates, um, am yeah. I meant to yeah. have, which one am I doing now? 
You get, get both, both of them. them. There are only 50, though. Uh, They're wow. Amazing. They're amazing. I love One millimetre in its thickness. Yep. So I think... Before I went away, we launched these on the show, and mm. there was a, there was a one millimeter and a half millimeter, and we've managed to get some. They, they all sold out on the show, and we've managed yeah. to get the one millimeter. So I'm a bit confused why we're having two in a bundle and not selling them separately. Know. But I don't know. That's Ross. Anyhow, that's Ross <laughs> for you, isn't it? And the colours are just amazing. He's an absolute rotter. Yeah. Is our so Ross. you've got so you've got the, you've got the black, grey, and white, and then you've got again you've got the chakra <laughs> colours, pretty much, and that, the the two bottom colours are my favourite. I just love them. Yeah, do you know that's so I was looking green. at those, and I actually the tops. Oh, I don't know. It's hard yeah. to pick. The, those three look lovely together, but I also really like that orange. That orange is amazing. Oh. And um, if you do the, the, the technique that I pointed out where you cut the thread at a 45 mm. degree and then use your nail varnish to stiffen the end, okay. this will go through your agates as well. Really? So this mil. will work with, the, with, yeah, with both with your agates. kits? Yeah. Um, yeah. They are selling out. They're flying out the door already. We've managed to get these back in stock. But should we take these under £20? Really? How many do we have there, Ross? Oh, no. 50, oh yeah, you did say, 50. Anybody that, that, that is an aspiring kumahi mower, mm -hmm. not a macramea, tassel, tasseler? Tasseler. <laughs> kumahi mower, I like that, kumahi mower. 20 pounds, and that's obviously going to make a, a huge amount of jewellery, isn't it? Yeah, masses. So I think on each reel, ooh, I can't remember how much you get on a reel, is it four metres, I think? Is it four metres? 32. <coughs> 32 on nine reels. Uh, so 64, you've got three 64 metres in total, is that yeah, right? Three and a half metres on each reel. That's amazing. Wow, That's Six, brilliant. 64 metres. Yeah, and for a, for a macrame friendship bracelet, you need a metre and a half. Wow, so it's going to make a lot then. Yeah. It yeah. is on the verge of selling out. That's amazing. Um, what was the other uh, other technique? Are you using the non-tangle yes. bobbins? Yes, so. Keep on dialing through for this one, everybody. It will be a sellout today. So if I just... Non-tangle bobbins. Yep. First time ever on Jewelry Maker. So what I've got is, I've because you get eight, and obviously, if you multi-bought, you'd have a couple of sets. So. You, as on the disc, you, you can have up to 32 cords if you wanted to. 12 is the most I've ever, I've ever gone to. Oh, but you can, have, you can have 32 if I'm, you want. I, I mean, four's yeah. my limit at the moment. So you will notice in here, I've got four of the larger size. So this is, this is the original bobbin size that Beadsmith launched. And then this is, the, this is the brand new one. So it's slightly smaller. So if you do want to do multiple braids okay. with lots more cords. Is it easier? It's, it's a lot easier. Not, so um, if I just. Oh, you've done a smiley face there, Mark. Look, <laughs> there's a little smiley face with your cord. <laughs> so let me just bring these. So what I've got, it's got, f oh, well done. Okay, so I've got four of my original size bobbin. And what I've done is I've taken the cord out of the, the reels that we've just had on the, on air. I've folded it in half, cut it, folded it in half, cut it. So from one length, you get four lengths of okay. cord. Okay. So if I just, if I take one of the new bobbins, so I've got four of the dark green, put those to one side. I've got four of the gray using the smaller brand new bobbins. Mm -hmm. And then I've got four of the yellow. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. What you do with the bobbins is you simply, I didn't even, I didn't even bother knotting this, you, you pop it open and I find it easier to hold the curved side in my thumb and finger because it sits nice yeah. and neatly. And then you take your thread and can you see at the end, I've used the cigarette lighter just to, just to melt the end to stop yeah. it from fraying. Okay, you can just see on the end, stop it from fraying. And then all I'm going to do is just place the thread in the center of the bobbin and I'm just simply gonna wind it up. And after two or three winds, it actually catches the loose end. So you can just carry on and wind up like so, and then leave a little tail, okay? So normally you do an eight warp, today I'm gonna to do a 12, okay? So I've, I don't think I've ever done a 12 on air before. So this could go either of two ways. I've, I've, got, I've got confidence in you, so I couldn't help but sing wind the bobbin oh, in my head whilst you were. Okay, so in this bracelet here, which colour would you like to be the dominant one? So it's red in here. Would you like green, yellow, or grey? Oh, green. As green as the green. dominant. Okay. So we'll take our green. And we just need to gather all of these 
the 12 chords up. This is quite a nice thing to do. So did I notice, um, Ross, that we had a weight, a Kumihimo weight? I'm sure I saw it earlier. Oh, gosh, they're like gold dust. I can't they remember are. the last time I even oh, saw a, a weight. Oh, OK. Oh, we've got the, the disc as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, let's do that. So all I'm doing is I'm just take, taking all of my 12 threads mm -hmm. and I'm bringing them all up to meet. This is why you need the, the weight. So I'm just going to bring all these up. Oh, it's all in one bundle, Mark. Brilliant bundle, yeah. So. Oh, this is this is the you've got, that's the square disc. So this is for doing your flat braids. Okay. Now, I've never done flat braiding on the show. I must have a, an experiment. It doesn't change, does it? In terms. Oh, sorry. We're using. Th we're doing oh, this okay. one first. Oh, okay. Right. Two pound ninety nine. For it's, the disc. It's slightly that's, different that's to Mark's. This is the one where. Oh, yeah, go. so this is the beadsmith, and then we've we've brought in our own yes. branded jewellery maker. With the north, south, east and west. Yeah. £2.99 to get hold of that, and look, it does, the centre pops it out. pops out, very therapeutic, yeah. There you and go. So it's the same material that your macrame board are made out of, the memory foam. There which you is go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. There you are, £2.99, sorted. Fantastic. So tie them all together. Yeah, so I've taken my 12 cords and I've tied them all together in a knot. Then you would take your weight. Now I've got the drag, the crocodile clip style. Um, if you have this style, which we're going to bring shortly, what you would do is you would hook one of these little ends in your knot before you pulled it tight. Oh, and that, okay. that, that, would, that would hook it in place. So I'm going to use my crocodile clip. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed that from the front of the disc down through. So the weight is hanging down. Now you said you wanted green, didn't you, as the main spiral. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two green east and west. Okay, so we're going to take east across and then west across. So let me just try not to... Okay, so you have two green and you have two green. So this is going to give you the dominant spiral pattern all the way through. Okay, so you're just going to use the little slots east and west. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the silver cords on the left hand side and the yellow cords on the right. So instead of, if we're doing a, an eight warp um, braid, you'd have two either side of north, two south, east and west, but this is slightly different. So we're going to take two gray and we're going to leave two spaces from north. Then we're going to take our next one. Let's do the yellow. This is why, this is me again, I like to untangle. So we're going to leave two spaces. So the yellow is going to be on one side and the grey on the other. So we've got two over here, and then we've got two over here. Make sure they don't cover up each other. There we go. Like so. Make sure that comes across. And you can adjust your cords because you want to be nice and central. And then we're going to do the same with the silver. So we're going to have two to the left of north, yeah. and then two to the left of south. I'm just right. going to go in and reposition, make sure that's nice and central. Okay, so that's, this is how you're, if we, could we go a little tiny tad closer, Adam? Sorry, because, you, because what you can do is you can, you can screenshot the setup. Okay, so we've got the yellow on one side, so in this disc, we're not using north and south, we're just using east and west, and then we're using two groups, one to the right, let's do the same up here, and then one to the top up here. Okay, so that's your disc setup. So if you want to do a screenshot of that to get started or pause it if you're watching on the video. So what we're going to do next doesn't matter which side you start, but as long as you, you repeat the same pattern. So we're going to start with the grey. And what you need to remember is right to right, left to left. Okay? okay, so we'll do that. So you take right, you swing it across to the right. So you're always going to stay in the same colour. So right across to right. So you take your left cord and you take it around to left. Then you do the same with the yellow. So right to right, left, to left, okay? And then you turn the disc 
90 degrees, and we do the same with the green. So left across, right across, you turn the disc. We repeat, so we're going to start right to right, left to left. So right, across the disc to right, and then left across to left. Turn onto the gray, right to right, left to left, turn the disc, then we do the same with the green. We turn the disc right to right, left to left, right to right, left to left. And it's in the doing, isn't turn it? Turn the disc, yeah. Because so many times I look around the room when I'm seeing Kumihimo being demonstrated and we've all got this look on our face, like a complex, <laughs> puzzled look. But when you actually start doing it... Yeah, yeah, no, it makes, it makes sense. So as long as you remember, you've got, you've got your two sets of yellow, so you always stay on that side. Yeah. You've got two sets of grey, which always stay on that side. And as, you, as long as you remember, right across to right, and then left across to left, oops, took two there, there we go, and then left across to left. You're not going to go from left and cross to right, you're always going to stay on the same side. So you pick up left and you go round to the left. And you take your silver, right to the right, left to the left, then we turn our disc and we do the crossover. Does it matter if I go left, right or right, left? You need to do the same each right. time, otherwise you start unpicking it. You're going in reverse and oh, undoing yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So we go right to right, left, right to right, left to left, turn the disc and then you do your green. And you just keep going and going and going. And, and then if I bring the, the red across, and then you'll see that instead of having the red on here, that would be the green, and then the yellow and the silver, would be the two oh, colours going beautiful. in between. Okay, and it makes like a three three dimensional spiral. And what you can do is on your green cords on the disc or your red cords on the bracelet, you can actually put Ato seed beads. Oh, so you'd have a beaded spine going down the centre as well. You can do that as well. And then you've, you've seen me finish off Kumihimo before on the show quite a few times. I've used bell caps that I had in my stash here, which we're desperately trying to bring onto the show. And all I've done is I use the glue that's super, if I just turn this around, is the glue that's super, and all I do is I glue the end, cut off the knot, and then glue the, 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 the glued section mm. into the bell cap, and then I've done the same the other end as well. But this, this will build up really quickly. It'll be built up really quickly. So this is, this is your 12, and as I mentioned, you can go right up to 32 if you want to. Awesome. I mean, no, um, no, yeah. no, no, I was actually thinking perhaps I'll just stick to four for right. now. Now, if you've only got one set of eight bobbins, okay. what I'd recommend doing is your two silver and your two yellow attached to the bobbins. Okay. And then your green don't put on a bobbin. Because they're a bit lazier, because aren't they're, they? they're a bit lazier. And because they're at the opposite ends and you only use them occasionally, they're not going to tangle up underneath as okay. well. So you can do that. So they're like the equivalent the of a lazy eight. strand then yeah. in the pharmacy. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, that absolutely. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. No, absolutely. Um, make sure you do check out on well. those kits. First time ever with your, uh, with your uh. uh, non-tangle bobbins. Now, you mentioned about a weight. You also meant to mentioned about these. Where did these come from? This is a bundle, but there are only 40. I'm so sorry. Let me just pop oh that out no. the center. So this does a different Kumihimo braid, right? Yes, yeah, so this does a flat braid. So you can use, so it, it resembles watch bracelets. So it's oh flat nice. rather than, than tubes. Nice. And um, we don't bring the square. I might have to try and organize a show to do the square because we, we haven't got a designer on air that does a, a flat braid at the moment. No, um, and also just yeah. here you can see Oh, yeah, you can yeah. put watch faces, watch faces on there. and all sorts, yeah. And what you can do, these, um, this little flat disc key, if you don't want to use it for your kumahim wing, you can use it to do your pearl knotting. You know, if you use the, the yeah, tea yeah. pin That's or a something, idea. you can use it as a, as a mat. A big board. Or if you're making macrame earrings and you don't want to waste so much cord, you can use this to do your earrings on. So you've got your lazy you've still got the grooves. You've still it? got the grooves, absolutely. That's a great idea, yeah. you know, um, to do things sort of like knotting of your gemstones. Mm. If just a, it's yeah, it's just more manageable. You can chuck it yeah. in your handbag, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So you've and got, you've got the bell weights caps as well. and the bell caps and also your kumahimo. Uh. 
uh, square disc this is. Works in exactly the same concept that Mark just demonstrated. £14.99. Wow. And as long as you don't lose it, what do you mean? Okay. As long as you don't lose it, you're not going to need to replace that weight, are you? No. Never. I've had, I've had my weights all the about 10 years plus, I think. I've never had to change them. But as I said, I use the crocodile style, which you attach to the knot. With this one here, you actually hook that into the knot before you pull it tight. Yeah. And, that, and it will hang in place there. Yeah, just ignore that, that part of the photograph. Just, yeah, literally tie yes. onto that. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Six ninety nine. What? That's for the weight. That's pretty mega, isn't it? I love those bell caps. They're filigree as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're I wish we had more. There's only 40 of this oh. bundle available. Oh, no. All you're going to have to be, literally, Usain Bolt to get hold of this. Don't let that put you off dialing through, though, of course. Um, Vivian, Louise, Marion, Janice, hello to you, Nancy, West Midland, Cheryl, Linda, Veronica, Karen. And any age can do this, can't you? Absolutely. Willow could do Kumahimo easily. I think she could. Yeah. Because she's pretty creative. Yeah. Um... I mean, yeah, if, I, if, the, if we didn't have little Tiggy sat next to us, Willow and I would happily Kumahimo. Um, we would happily sit in Kumahimo. Uh, Kumahimo uh, uh, when, we're, when we're on the, on the flight. Absolutely. You could yeah. actually, she could do a really nice braid. Oh, I'll keep no, it quiet, easily. wouldn't it? Perfect. Yeah. And she's getting creative. Six ninety nine. going to be a sellout. Um, going to be a set opportunity. Gets you the artistic wire weight. It gets you your bell caps and also the square um, Kumahimo disc. Um, anything else to add? Mm -hmm. Nope, I think so. There we go. It's sold out. Oh, it's well done. Well done, well done, well done. I'll put this. Uh, also, you get the satisfaction of being able to pop that centre bit out. Back in again. It's so good, isn't it? Can I just do it now? Just. <laughs> But as I said, if you didn't if you didn't have a macrame board at home, you can use this to do your pearl knotting, all sorts of knotting. And then, as I said, if you've just got little projects to do, yeah. like macrame earrings or something like that, then um, you can use the little square board. But I'm, I must, I must, because I don't actually, I've never, I've never made kumahima with a square disc before. So maybe we could do a square show and yeah, I like that because it lends itself really well to wire work as well. The square Does board. Does it? So mm. you can kumahima with, with wire. wire? Yeah. Is there anything, oh, so Kumahima, wire, thread. Yeah, what's really nice is if you had the round disc, the one that we've been using here, and you get one of our five metre lengths of sterling silver chain, oh. cut that length into eight pieces, Kumahima oh. with it, treat it as a cord, and you get the most amazing Kumahima braided sterling silver bracelet. That sounds very yeah. posh, doesn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. Very, very posh. Right, we've got literally a couple of minutes. Oh. Should, we do, should we do one more? Oh. Mad deal. You said you were missing you were missing your uh, fossil, jasper. fossil jasper. Now it's not fossil jasper. Okay. But it is similar. Wow. We will um we will uh, have a chat with a wonderful way. And I heard yes. his voice. Yeah. I heard he is in the building, he is in, isn't he? Yes. I'd love to do a showcase on fossil jasper. Yeah, me too. Moment. We're getting that in the diary. Oh look. look. This. Oh, it's got delicious sort of banana and caramel and vanilla tones. A hundred carats crazy of lace. crazy lace, Viewers all natural love crazy formations. Lace, don't they? Yeah, because oh. these colours, you know, you said earlier on, Mark, that the, you know, the bundles earlier, they're dyed. They are dyed. Mm. They're beautiful, yep. and we should never turn our nose up at that. This isn't there. No, no. We're not stopping at nine ninety nine. I think we need to do a finale deal. They're eight mil rounds. Mm, they're just beautiful, aren't they? It is that yellow and grey that we mm. were discussing. Yeah, it was, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. No, is he thinking? Is he, he thinking, is thinking what to do? You can almost imagine the cogs in his brain, can't you? Literally ticking over. A... Are you all right there, Ross? Don't think too hard. Uh, you know, it's you and me on Tuesday. Yes. We've got a brand new launch never seen before. Are you going to tell us more? Oh. Masterclass. Masterclass, right. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Can't and then wait. I've got you again on Friday. You've got me again on Friday. Yes. Oh, that's good. Mm. I'm excited about that. So Tuesday, make sure you make a note in your diary. £7.99 right now for Crazy Lace Agate. To put it into perspective, Crazy Lace is like your Blue Lace and your Botswana. Right. They are the most expensive, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. This is beautiful. It shouldn't be £7.99. Shouldn't be. Really beautiful. And compliments so many of the cords that we've actually had. Mm -hmm. Um, throughout today's show, the Jaspers that we had in the nine o'clock hour. <clears throat> if you want to multi-buy on this, how many do we have? Oh, oh. we have.
about 150, but uh, uh, well, about 50% of you have chosen to multi-buy. Uh, Penny, <coughs> excuse me, Yvonne, Linda, Agnes, Jane, uh, Lincolnshire, Helen, Mandy, June, London, Vivian, Linda, oh, another wow. Penny, Jean. It's been busy, busy, busy from start to finish today. What a way to bow out one of a, a gems wow. that we don't see very often. No, no, absolutely not. It, can, it, it, can, it goes back to the uh, Jasper, doesn't it? You can lose yourself in the patterns. Oh. Mark, it's been so lovely to have you with me today. Thank well, you thank so you much. Thank you for all your kind help and support and those amazing flowers. Thank oh, you. You're very welcome. Thank you. It's beautiful. We, uh, we, have, yeah. li we have missed you, but you look thank after you. yourself. So I've got a tough couple of days, but then I'm back with you on Tuesday, as I said, for a brand new launch. Very, very, and very the Friday. exciting. And I can't wait. Well, give us a cuddle. Thank you. We love you. Love you too. Thank, Thank you, you so, much so much for joining Thank us. You. I hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we have. Um, yeah, when Tuesday, you, when brand are you new back on, uh, Tomorrow. 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 Oh, you've got hematite, haven't you? Hematite, those lovely tubes. Um, yeah. And Alison. And Alison. Oh, that'd be lovely. So that'd be a nice show, wouldn't it? That'd be mm. nice. Yeah, the day of the day tomorrow is wonderful, full of beautiful mm. shapes of hematite. Some that I don't think we've actually seen before. Um, we've got some more of your lovely jade carvings. Wow. We've got, I can't remember. I can't remember. We're running out of time anyway. So I'll be back with you bright and early in the morning. Have a, a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Take care. Mm.